Okay, now possibly with more sound, we will we will hopefully hear the uh, dulcet tones here of Dominions momentarily. It's amazing how uh, something as simple as audio is so complex when you're uh, switching between different things. All right, grabbing my other different things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My Always other... good to hear your own voice. Oh, yeah. That makes you feel good about yourself. Okay, let me throw up a notification here. All right, I'm certain that that's working though. It was an audio track setting issue that should be corrected now. So let me just make sure that stream health looks excellent. And it does look like it's okay. And we'll see if we're showing up. And we are, okay, excellent, excellent. And we are, okay, excellent, excellent. And we are, okay, excellent, excellent. Go ahead and close that so I'm not hearing myself. All right, throw that on my other screen. And throw that on my other screen. It's amazing how much screen real estate you uh, suddenly need when you need to have 50 things open while you're streaming. Okay, so today we are gonna be checking out Dominion 6. Uh, it has just released the last couple days, and it has so far been excellent. Uh, I've only been able to put in 10-ish hours into it. I had work this week, unfortunately, and you know, needs must on that, I suppose. But uh, a lot of people were complaining about, oh, well, there's not a lot of new content in it, or I don't know if this is worth a... A whole new game. It, it should have been a DLC. Okay, bottom line, it's like a two guy studio. They're not going to be putting out little DLCs. In Dominions 5, I believe it's been five or six years since it's come out, there have been countless bug fix patches, balance patches, and I believe five to seven whole new nations, which in another game would be a DLC pack. And nowadays they probably would charge you $10 for that. So the fact that people are saying there's no new content, is it's just not true. A lot of the mechanical changes in Dominions between versions are under the hood changes that end up meaning a whole lot. So in this one, they've decided to split mounts from their riders. And that sounds really simple, like, okay, what, you have two pieces of art and that's it? No, that's a lot of mechanical changes because now you can have things like the rider can be sacred and the mount's not, or maybe they're both sacred. Uh, the rider can die and the mount can fight on. The mount can die and the rider can fight on. It, it has a lot of changes in a lot of systems. In addition to that, there are several new nations. Um, We'll see if we see some in here. I already know we're going to play early era Yomi. I've done one practice game with them, so it probably will be a little rough with the expansion, but we'll see. We're going to go with just a standard kind of comp stomp here. We're going to go medium size, rivers, east-west wraparound, and north-south wraparound. I am going to tell it that I want bigger caves, though. I think we'll do the one cave setting. I didn't like the donut setting that it gave me when I ran my practice game. Otherwise, we'll leave it on the standard, just random map and hope we get something decent. Um, from the four or five little test games I've pulled up, then it seems like the random thing, random map generator is a little bit better than it used to be, but it's not going to be the same as if you use an external program like Map Nuke, which is designed to make balanced multiplayer games. It's just going to give you a random map. But so far they seem decent. Um, I, I do like just the complete randomness of it rather than perfect multiplayer balance when I'm playing single player. So we're just going to go with that. Uh, if you've never seen Dominions before, 
The game itself is split into three ages, early, middle, and late. Early era is like the time of myths, mythology, gods walking on the land, elves, things like that. There's a lot of magic. There's a lot of magic sites, which is where you get gems, which fuel your magic. Mages tend to be really powerful. There's a lot of non-human nations or big monsters that are around. In the Middle Ages, it's starting to slide more towards humans. There's less magic. The populations in the world are much larger. There's better armor and weapon technology. A lot more nations are now using iron or steel in the Middle Ages. The crossbow has been invented and has become not widespread, but more and more nations are adopting it. And crossbows are very powerful. Um, they really change the dynamic between really tough monsters or heavily armored troops and ranged. Because ranged in the early eras, you're looking mostly at like short bows or slingers. And if you're fighting an armored target, like a decently armored target, they just bounce off of that. I mean, that's why you'd want armor, right? But the crossbow has a lot more punching power, so it starts to change that dynamic. In the late ages, you have huge human populations. A lot of the non-human groups have all died off, and magic has started to wither from the world, but you tend to have more organized magic schools. So if you still have magic, you're probably a little better at what you can do, but what you can do is rather limited. Uh, you also see a lot of death magic and a lot of blood magic in the late ages. Blood magic requires blood slaves, which are like your virgin sacrifices, and you get those from your population. Late age has a large population, so it's very powerful. We are gonna be in the early ages. I'm going to just set this up really simple. I'm gonna hit Shift L for random land nation, I am going to make myself be Yomi. We can see here, these are all the nations that are playable in early era. Um, some of them are a little similar. Some of them are very different. Some of these nations survive through the middle and late eras, and other ones die out. Yomi, the Oni Kings, which is what we're going to play, there's a version of them in every age but the Oni Kings die out in the early age. They do not make it on. Uh, for these other ones, I'm just gonna leave them completely random. We'll just see what we get. All right, this is Yomi, the Oni Kings. Yomi is a land of inhospitable mountains, streaming sulfuric pools and sudden volcanic eruptions. At the center of this unforgiving land lies a great cone-shaped mountain, at the top of which is the entrance to the netherworld. From this gate, the Oni have come, one by one or in small groups. Onis are demons of the wild, ugly, pot-bellied, and mischievous. They are ruled by the Oni kings, who have occasionally emerged from the netherworld to wreak havoc on the land of the living. Oni are almost immortal and must be killed in their spirit as well as body if they are to stay dead. They are worshipped by human priests who build profane temple gates through which more Oni can enter the land. So these are our national features. Our race are demons. We have re reduced income. Halved income effects of heat and cold scales. We'll look at those in a second. Extra gold and resources in cave forts. So if we can find some caves, we would love to settle in there. Our military is semi-immortal Oni. We have Bakamono and human servants. We're mostly made up of light infantry, medium infantry, and we have no sacred troops. Now that's not totally true. A sacred troop is basically like the true warrior believers of your god. And you can take what's called a bless on your god and give them power. Like you can give them, you believe so hard in god that you have a flaming sword or your skin turns into stone, so you're hard to damage. We don't have any just recruitable ones. However, several of our Oni are gonna be sacred, and we can actually summon some units that are sacred, which hopefully we'll be able to do here. Our magic paths that we're good at are death, fire, earth. We have some air 
and some nature. We have pretty good access to our little bit of nature. We have a troop that can use that. Our air, I believe, is only coming off of some random magic paths, so very unreliable, but also very powerful if we can really get into it. We have powerful mages, but we're bad at research. I want to underline how bad we're going to be at research. Uh, in my test game on turn 16 or 20, I had like 100 research, which is garbage. Absolute garbage. And I'll show you why that's the case when we get in there. Uh, we have some national summons. That means we have special troops that only we can summon. Our priests are weak, and our provinces with temples will spawn... Uh, Oni, so those are like free demons that we can get. Uh, new in Dominion 6, we have Scales and Blesses. So our scale limit for Turmoil is plus one, and we'll look at that here in a second. Our buildings, we can only build primitive forts, and that's part of the problem with our research. Uh, the bigger and better designed your forts are, the more commanders you can recruit, and we only get the very basic. This is like a palisade or a little earthenwork uh, structure that we put up. We do, however, get cheap temples, so that's going to help because we need those temples to spawn our Oni. We'll look at our troops when we get into the game, I think. Um, yeah, let's look at our site. So we start with the Mountain of the Oni Kings. That's going to enable us to recruit our Dai Oni, which is our really big demon troop that we're going to focus on. And our mountain gives us three death gems, one fire, one earth, and one air. So decent site. Um, it's nice to have a spread. Some nations only get, like, one type of magic gem, which kind of limits you a bit more. Okay, so on this screen, if you already have a Pretender design from the Pretender creation tool, you can do Shift-L, or no, excuse me, Control-L, and you could load them. This is who we're going to play, but I think I'm going to show designing him so that people can just kind of see what I'm doing here. So we have design points, and that is our point-by system for all of our stats. We can change what's called the chassis, and that's your physical manifestation of your god. So these are all the different ones that are available to Yomi, and this is like not even a drip in the bucket of how many are in this game. There are, I believe, 101 nations. Now, a lot of those nations do share a lot of these, like this snake. Everyone loves the snake, so everyone gets the snake, basically. But a lot of them are also different. Like, these ones here are kind of like the Eastern culture block ones. So different nations that were inspired by those cultures will have those available. Same with these kind of Eastern dragons and maybe the tigers and the phoenix type stuff. And other ones are very generic, like these wizards down here at the bottom. Almost everybody has them. Or we have like the Master Lich or, like I said, the snake. Everyone, everyone loves Earth Serpent. So... I was originally going to go with an idol of sorcery because magic scales would help a little bit with our abysmal research, but I couldn't quite get the point by system to give me what I needed to try to have somewhat of an economy because we're also going to struggle on that. So I decided to go with the Statue of War, which is kind of an old classic for Yomi. The reason is that he gives you Monster Summoner. He's going to summon in like some rowdy barbarians that will fight for us. It's essentially just free troops. They're kind of garbage, but so are most of our non-demon troops, so they'll fit right in. Uh, the reason I like him is he's got two magic paths already that are going to be useful for us that I wanted. And he starts with four dominion. We only need to have dominion in a providence that we want Oni to spawn in, but having a stronger dominion makes it easier to spread. Also, if your dominion gets extinguished from the world, which is like your ability to manipulate the physical realm slash how many people believe in you, then you lose the game. You just, nobody believes in you, you stop existing. So it's important that we have enough domain that that doesn't happen, and that we can spread out our domain enough that we can get some of those free spawns. Uh, the other thing I like about him is that he's going to be an okay researcher once we add the other paths we want. And he can't move, so I'm not going to be tempted to go get him killed like I normally would. And doubly so, while I'm streaming, I'm sure I would end up just getting him killed. So this way he can't move, so I can't mess it up. So big bonus there. All right, so... Oh, th because I loaded that other guy, it's kind of giving you a hint what I'm going to do here. We are going to have... I believe it's going to end up being six there, and six there, and two Earth Paths. Okay, so... We need fire magic because 
one of our special spells we can get is in, I believe it's Alteration. No, that's End of Weakness. End of Weakness is another one of our special spells. It's going to basically let us make all of our demons way, way less vulnerable to uh, like mundane weapons, which is really important because our guys are kind of trash and they need that buff. Uh, Thermaturgy then, I think. Yeah, End of Culture. This is a ritual spell, and it's really, really important for us because it will make the rate that our Oni spawn go up quite noticeably, and it will also spread chaos in the world. And our demons get extra strength when they're in areas of high chaos. So if we need to fight outside of our own dominion, there's a chance that this will help us push that uh, chaos up, and thus we'll be able to have a higher bonus on that. Um, the other one that we can get, uh, well, there's a lot of good fire rituals that we'll look at when it becomes relevant. I don't want to get stuck on the magic schools. Uh, I will say, if you've never seen the game, there are hundreds of spells in this game. And so as you become familiar with the game, it all starts making way more sense. And you'll start being able to see combos, even from just looking at your mages that when you first start playing, just seem esoteric. So it's it's really cool. It's got one of the best magic systems I think I've ever seen in a strategy game. Okay, for our Bless, the main thing I wanted was Awe. And Awe basically is, you have this divine splendor to you, so much so that mere mortals just shrink in your presence. And the reason that that's going to be important is for this guy, our Dai Oni. These are our big Oni kings that crawl out from the netherworld to wreak havoc. They start with fear, which scares people and lowers their morale. And in order to overcome somebody's awe, you have to make a morale check. So the synergy there is our fear will lower their morale. With their low morale, they won't be able to pass the awe check. So they'll just stand there in our fear aura, getting lower and lower. These guys are also our best casters by far. They have two fire, two earth, three death, and they random into some extras. And I think that's our only air availability. So that's the other spot where we can get that. They also have our Chaos Power. So when we are in areas that have turmoil or extra unrest, we get extra stats. I believe it's Strength, Attack, and Defense. And it's noticeable. It's quite noticeable when you have that. It'll also help us as our encumbrance goes up, which makes our defense go down. It'll help keep our defense high enough that if they overcome awe and our fear and they're swinging at us, we have a chance to at least block the weapon. Um, well, I guess it's more of a dodge the weapon mechanic, but can be important. Um, other things of note, these guys are actually demons, like they're true demons. So spells that target demons will affect us. Uh, it also means that anyone who is a demon also has perfect dark vision. Another one of the new additions in Dominion 6 was the cave layer of the map. And of course, in the cave, it's very dark. So having dark vision will allow us to fight down there at full effectiveness. So I'm kind of hoping we start near a cave entrance and we can get down there and either beat up whoever started in, in there or just take over the caves for ourselves. That would be a nice little bonus. We also get that extra money if we're building our infrastructure down there. So that another reason that we would want to be down and in there. Um, yeah, we'll look at those troops in there. So, and we don't have um, enough points to get another big bless, really. So I took Heroism. That's another new one. Um, these purple ones are Glamour. That's our Glamour magic here. And Glamour's about Glamour. So changing your appearance, trickery, luck. Um, if you think of like, like minus the nature side of it, but like Tricky Fae, that's that's their kind of magic where like they misdirect you, they give you illusions, things like that. We don't have any native glamour magic that I'm aware of on any of our troops, but this gives us awe, which like I said is going to be really nice for our troops. The heroism gives us extra experience for our troops, so having our big tough dudes be able to level up faster gets them extra hit points and extra skills. That'll be really important because our other troops are going to take a long time to come online, so we need something that can fight in the early game, and that's who we're going to go with. Uh, and I need a couple extra points, um, so I went with 
reinvigoration, which will just give us reinvigoration one, which lowers our fatigue, how tired we are when fighting. Uh, one of the weaknesses of our Dione, they're, they're huge and they're heavily armored and they wield a big magic Nodachi, which tires them out really badly. So this will just help a little bit with that. Um, our mages aren't really going to get anything out of it because we don't have sacred mages, but it's decent for what it is. Um, and he started with one point in earth magic anyway, so there was no loss there. And just to spend the last of our design points, we're going to up our dominion to six. That's just our maximum we can have in a province. And these are the scales that I went with. So we are going to go turmoil three. So that's going to make us get less money. Things are more chaotic. We get more random events. We get less recruitment points, which is like, think like, that's like your recruitment drive. So we're not going to be able to drum up enough people to volunteer to fight for us, but that's going to be totally fine because we're not going to count on those types of troops. We're going to take two points in sloth, which is basically how uh, the, the opposite would be production, or excuse me, the opposite, yeah, is production. So sloth is like your people are just really lazy. They don't want to work very hard. So that's going to lower our income, but our income is going to suck a whole bunch anyways, so that's not going to change too much. We are going to go with heat scales, so the land is very hot. Normally, we, we come in as a heat zero nation, but I'm going to up that because I want the design points. And our free spawn are also influenced by whether it's hot or cold, where they're coming in at, and I, the hot ones are just better. Plus, having the heat means we know that places inside of our domain will not have the river freeze over in the winter, so we can just count on that uh, not being a place that enemies could sneak over. We're going to take two points in growth. So the population in our area will hopefully be positively growing and not dying out. We're going to have a lot of chaos stuff going on and unrest. So people are going to die in that. And we get money based on the population of our areas. So this will help counteract that a little bit at least. We're going to go with luck. So if we get a random event, it'll be have better odds of being a good event. And this will also increase our chance of having random events. So that stacks kind of nicely with the turmoil. So hopefully we'll get lots of events and they will be good. And finally, magic scales. Uh, that makes it easier to cast spells in our territory and raises the research that we're getting out of our few mages that we will have to research for us. Drain would be the opposite. And we don't want that because our, our our research is going to be so bad anyways. We really, really need that. This will, however, reduce the magic resist of our Oni inside of our own territory. So if we're fighting a defensive war, that could hurt a little bit. But you have to make trade-offs somewhere. And one of those trade-offs is we could have better scales. Like, you notice I, I mentioned a lot of these were bad. That's because we need to be awake. I tried to do this as a dormant god which would mean that our Incarnate Bless is not active until about a year in the game when the god wakes up, and it was just too painful. I just couldn't I couldn't expand enough that it was going to be viable. So we need to be awake. In addition, that gives us this guy who, with all those magic paths, will have, I think it's about 20-ish research, which will help with the, the research problem. He'll be able to start spawning those free barbarians for us right away, and he'll be spreading our dominion very solidly right from the get-go, because you literally can see a living god, so hard not to believe in that. Okay, and the name of our god, Rushu, sounds good. Welcome welcome to the team, Rushu. Alright, um, there's a whole bunch of settings here. I'm not going to go over them. I'm going to turn on minor story events. I'm going to allow things to be renamed, and I'm going to change our victory. Uh, in Dominions 4, they added the Thrones of Ascension, and basically that's capture points. So I'm going to make it where we need eight points to win. A level one throne is worth one point each. I'm going to turn those off and I'm actually going to put in eight level two thrones. So we need to capture half the thrones in order to win. And that's the same for all the AIs that are playing also. All right, it's going to go ahead and generate up our world. All right. Luckily, my computer plays through Dominions pretty good on the turns. It is a 
is a little slow on this, but it is generating the whole world. So there's a lot of parameters that it's having to go through here. It's also designing pretenders for all the other nations. So a lot of design going there. All right. Rushu, God of Yoni, spring in the year zero of the Ascension Wars. So basically we, we're saying this is such a huge event, the Ascension Wars, that we're starting our calendar from today. And we are going to start in the spring. In the beginning, there was chaos. Out of the chaos rose worlds populated with a multitudes of beings. Wars were fought, kings and emperors rose and fell, and civilizations were built and crumbled as millennia passed. Gods, dark and strange, were worshipped in pagan temples. Still, there was chaos. The gods fought amongst themselves, bringing even greater ruin to those who would serve them. At, lo at last, there was one a being of great power and enlightenment who rose above his immortal peers and cast them out of the heavens into oblivion. From the chaos came order and with order came peace and the creatures of the world flourished. The age of chaos had ended. Now the wheel turned once again. The supreme God suddenly disappeared. Prayers were left unanswered and the smoke of offerings rise in vain to the heavens. No one knows why he disappeared, but it is certain that the peoples of the world once again left without direction, without guiding principle, without order. Now is the time for the beings of great power and ambition to try their strength. The throne of heaven stands empty, and only the strongest can rise to supremacy over all. Only the most powerful can ascend to take place of he who came before. This is the time of great strife and suffering. This is the time of magic unequaled. This is the Ascension Wars. So basically, there was somebody who had won the game before. He was the uh, Pantocrator, the one true god. And they disappeared. We don't, we don't know what happened. They're just not here anymore. And, you know, why not take a shot? If the king's gone, you, uh, what do you got to lose? Uh, a lot of those pretender chassis that we were looking at, have big beef with the previous Pantocrator. So they're looking to get out and cause some ruckus, basically. And if at the end of that you become the one true god, well, all the better, right? Okay, so this is our map. I'm going to zoom out here. It's going to look really weird. This is because I put on north-south wrap and east-west wrap. That means if I go far enough north, I'll end up back in Yomi because I've gone all the way around the world. Same with east-west. If I go enough west, I'll end up back at Yomi. But that's really trippy to look at, so we're just going to be zoomed in for now. All right, so Yomi is our capital province. This is where we started. We can see our gods here. We start with a scout and one of our... Leaders. We'll take a look at him in a second. We can see that our scales are already here and present in full uh, because our dominion's here. Uh, right now, we've only got two candles. I believe. I believe you always start with two, but maybe I have an extra because my god is awake. Maybe you only normally start with one. And we can see the dotted lines are where you can travel from here. So if I wanted to go into the water, I could go that way to this province. If I wanted to go here, or here, or here, here. And we do we did start with a cave entrance, so that is sweet. Uh, this is new in Dominion 6, so if I hit the number 2, this takes us down to the cave layer. So just like on the surface, it's a globe. You can go all the way around, assuming there aren't cavern walls. So below us are the Mines of Despair. Perfect, my kind of place. So we could travel down there, which we definitely will want. We also have, looks like woods, some wastelands, farmlands, and some plains. Now, for our free spawn, one of our big bonus uh, guys comes from mountains. So what we really want to focus on, ideally, would be capturing some mountains so we could start getting those to spawn in. But we didn't start with any, so we're not going to worry about that yet. Let's go ahead and see what we have for starting. So uh, Masamoto here is an Oni Shugo. That is one of our commanders. He starts with some wolves with him that kind of like follow and serve him. He's like their demon lord. And in every combat, they'll just spawn in and they can attack. He has, uh, he can throw like magic flames. He has some javelins and he has a Nodachi. 
He has this one, he rolled random, had some air magic and some death magic. He is sacred, but not a priest, so he cannot bless himself to use our blessing. So if we're planning on doing that, we would have to find another way to do that. Um, he's fire resistant, poison resistant. Uh, he doesn't need to eat, but he's a demon, so he likes to eat. And he eats as much as three men would normally. Uh, that's not a huge problem for our faction, but some factions really struggle with getting enough supplies. So that becomes pretty relevant. As a demon, he's an inept researcher. That's one of the contributing factors to our absolutely terrible research. He causes unrest. So just him being around makes the locals rowdy and, yeah, causes all kinds of problems. He has chaos power, so he likes it when it's rowdy and chaotic, and he gets stronger when it is. And lesser Oni like to, like, show up when he's around. And so he'll just randomly and passively come up with some extra troops for us. So Kuro Oni of exceptional strength and power are given heavy armor and positions as generals of their king. And Oni Shugo is always guarded by three wolves. That's not true. It's 1d6 wolves. But okay. That will appear as soon as the enemy approaches. Oni are demons and don't need to eat. However, they have tremendous appetites and like to eat. And their human servants will often be left starving if food is scarce. Oni are immortal. If the body is slain, the spirit will survive. If the spirit is not slain or banished, it will reform a new body over time. The residual spirit is a ghost and can be banished. So what that tells us is, if you kill him, he'll be a ghost and he can keep fighting. And if they don't kill his ghost in battle, then he gets to come back for free. So that's just a very nice bonus. And he starts with some Ko-Oni. So these little red guys. Now, Yomi is a Japanese mythology-inspired one. So these are going to be kind of like Japanese-flavored uh, demons slash Oni. Ko-Oni are small, mischievous demons from the wilds of Yomi. They are ugly and wild, with staring eyes, unkempt red hair, and pot bellies. They have clawed feet, fangs, and porcine faces. Most Oni dressed in tiger skins and wield clubs. Onis are demons and don't need to eat. However, they have tremendous appetites and like to eat their human servants. And like to eat, and their human servants are often left without food if food is scarce. Oni are almost immortal. So just like the other guy, if you kill him, he'll become a ghost. You have to kill the ghost or he's not truly dead. One of the downsides to most of our Oni troops, they're undisciplined. These are not like rank-and-file soldiers. They're just powerful Oni that we get to fight for us. So they'll kind of do their own thing. We won't be able to tell them what we want them to do in combat. So that's one of the downsides. We also have some bandits. Bandits and other unscrupulous individuals oftentimes side with Oni and Bakimono kings out of greed or fear. They use armor taken from their victims, as their masters rarely have the patience to craft good armor for them. They're stealthy, so we can move them around hidden on the map. And they can do pillaging, which basically you can steal money from a province and raise the unrest there. You generally don't want to do that to your own lands. You want to do that to enemy lands. Um, these guys are totally fine. They're not bad, but we're not going to be able to afford to get them. So we're not going to worry about them too much. This is our scout. We are going to have him on retreat. And we're going to, if he gets in the combat, this is what our combat setup map would look like. So he's going to be in the back. This is always the front. This is always the back. So he's just going to run away if he gets caught. I don't want him to stay and try to fight. So we will take him and... Let's see. I don't know which way we're going to be able to attack starting out. I would love to do the farmland, but the farmland also has a decent chance of having tough troops in it. So we'll have him go scout that for us. This is Here's Roshu, our god. He's here. Oh, even better. He ended up with 35 research with all those magic paths I gave him. So that's that's absolutely excellent. So he's going to be our only researcher for a while, and we need it badly. Uh, I'm just going to tell him to cast spells and not script that yet. Uh, we don't have any good spells to script, and something will have gone very wrong if we get attacked in our capital this early in the game. And for Masamoto, I'm actually going to have him become our prophet. So... 
Masamoto will be the prophet of Roshu. That's going to make him a priest level three, and I'll show you what that means when we get in there. It will also mean that we don't have to pay him anymore. <laughs> so normally we have to pay him 110 gold per year, which is pretty pricey. And as the prophet, he works for free. So we appreciate your uh, good works, Masamoto. Keep it up. Also, we're going to need to do some recruitment. Now, what we really want is this, our Dione. These guys are going to be amazing. However, they cost 685 gold. We only start with 600, so we can't even afford it. Their other big problem is that they start with heavy samurai armor. You can see it here. Looks really cool. But they don't wear a helmet. And so what will always happen to these guys is you'll be fighting a bunch of losers and one of them will get a sling in your eye and you'll be crippled for life. So what we really want is a helmet for him. And if we can't get a helmet, we really need to have some defensive magic. So I don't think we're going to try to get one of these out turn. I guess it'd be three by the time we could afford it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try for turn five or six because, oh, we started with construction. So based on your scales, you get some starting research done. We took two magic paths, so we got, uh, I believe it's 100 per scale. So we have level one, 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 and one in conjuration, alteration, evocation, and construction. That's super good because in Dominion 6, another change, you used to get magic trinkets at level zero, now you get them at level one. And I believe that change carries for each one. You used to get lesser magic items at two, now it's at three. That's so important because, I think I can show you on him. Yes, we can forge a helmet because we have one helmet that's a trinket. We can make this black steel helmet for five earth gems and it will give him great protection. That's all those guys need. If that's all we had, even if we had no other magic, they'd be fine. But to do that, we're going to need five earth gems. So on turn four, I'll be able to craft it and it will be done on turn five. So that means for our Dione, we need to start recruiting him on turn three. So we need to make sure that on turn three, we have 685 gold ready to go. Okay, so if that's true, let's get... Okay, I guess I should explain some of these. So we have the Bakamoni Chief. Now, these guys aren't actually demons. These are like Bakimono, like... How would you explain that? Like Japanese spirit creatures. They're kind of like goblins, I think is like what the Western equivalent would be. And they're they're smaller than humans. Uh, humans are size 3 now in Dominion 6. And they tend to be... The troops are undisciplined. All of them, I believe. Yeah. But they're also stealthy. So he's going to kind of act as our scout, and he can also ferry people around if we need to. We have the bandit leader, who is just a dude that's kind of stealthy, very similar to those bandit troops we looked at. We have the demon general. So this is a human that the only trust to lead some of their troops. And they're pretty good generals, actually. The 150 is very high. They can lead undead, which they can do that. But undead leadership also means you can lead demons. So he's pretty good at that. He also gives a big bonus to morale, which our guys are going to struggle with. And they come with one death magic, which not super relevant, but it gives them something to do during in combat. He's got a katana, a kabuto, and some samurai armor. So he's, he's a good chassis here. Uh, he's only got like human HP of 11, though, so he's not going to, you're not going to want this guy on the front line fighting if you can help it. And we can have two commander points to recruit. So our Bakimono our bandit leader are one point. So we could get two of those or we could get a demon general or, okay. So this is our first mage. The Namanari are like Japanese witches, kind of. They're always going to start off with one death and one nature magic, which not the best. So, so they're only 90 gold and they still cost 72 gold per year. So very inefficient researchers, hence contributing to that research problem we have. We have sorcerers. These are old dudes, so they're going to die of old age, most likely during our game. So we don't want to get too many of them too early. 
Normally, I wouldn't get one until after the first winter. During winter, old people get afflictions. That's how the game kills them off. But we need one Earth to craft that helmet. And our god could do it, but then he wouldn't be researching. And he gives us so much research, I'd prefer he does that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of him. Yeah, we're going to grab one of him because he can forge the helmet for us. And what kind of troops did we had? Whoops. Yeah, we had... Is it, the bandit archers aren't bad. They do have a wakazashi if they get in melee combat. I wouldn't mind a few more of those. We can lead 10 more on this guy. Let's tell them to hold and fire at the closest enemy. Let's also get this set up. So there and there. So... The Ko'oni that we have will be in front, and the bandits will be behind them. And he will stand... Put him in front, because I want those wolves to charge out in front. We'll set that up fully next turn. Okay, so we could we could lead ten bandits if we wanted to. And I think we will grab a few here. Oh, and we can only get four and start construction on another one, because our resources are so bad. So we'll just take four. I'm not overly worried about that. We're going to move out next turn. All right, let's pick some research. So I got so distracted by having that construction. That was what I was going to research originally. So for us and early game goals, in enchantment, what we want is fire shield. Fire shield gives us like a flaming aura, and things that attack us will possibly get burned. That's important for certain types of troops that will ignore other defenses that our Dione are going to have. That's the big one out of there. And then later on, there's stuff deeper down, like Summon Skeleton and whatnot, that will be good. In Thermaturgy, we have that End of Culture ritual that's going to be super duper important for us. At lower levels... Mm, Furious Warriors is a new spell, and it is really good. It gives attack plus two and morale plus two. And our Dione could all cast it on themselves. But that's level 4. What else before that would we want? None of these other ones really apply to us, unfortunately. So maybe not. I think we're going to just go straight into Alteration. And what we really need is Personal Stone Skin. Once we have that, our Dione are good to go. Like, they will only get better from there. Um, the other big one here is at level 5... We can get five or six. At six, we get the end of weakness, which is that big uh, make our demons tough spell, very important. But also soul vortex, which basically our Dione will be able to drain the souls of everyone around them and suck that life force into themselves for both healing and fatigue reduction. Very very important spell for them. I think we're gonna rush it. My other game, I kind of wiffle waffled and grabbed some low level stuff. I think we're going straight to Alteration 6. And we can always come back here and change our minds later. I'm just so happy with this roll here. We got to Construction 1, which I definitely needed. And we got 50 already in level 1 for Alteration. I guess let's take a peek at Evocation just to see what we have unlocked. So, Burning Hands, Fire Dart. Yeah. Yeah. Vine Arrow's not terrible. That'll give our um, witches something to do if they do have to go into combat. Otherwise, just Evocation's not our strong suit as Yomi. We don't have the right paths for it. Well, we have the fire, but our guys have better things to do than throw fireballs. So, And we have level 1 Conjuration, so we could summon some Kappa. Cave Worms, Black Servants... These are actually not bad. These are like really good scouts. So that wouldn't be terrible to do. And we, we can get to death too easily enough. None of those other ones particularly impress me. Uh, down here, the things in blue are national summons. There's a lot of good ones. Hopefully we'll be able to get there and, and use some of those this game. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah, okay, set there. I think we're ready to roll the turn. We can take a peek here. These are the thrones that spawned into our world. They're all level twos. And each one has different things that they'll give you. So if you own this one, 
You get three extra domain spread chances. It will decrease unrest by five, which would be nice for us. Uh, it would increase order in our scales. That would be bad for us. And misfortune, which would be bad for us. But this one would give us four free blood slaves, which would be rather handy. And they all have different things like that. So the Earth one, we could recruit gnomes. Uh, we get Earth gems, extra revigoration. We'll look at those as we find them, I think. Let's go ahead and roll this first turn. Ru Shu, eater of filth and unseen master, emperor of brilliance, enemy of darkness, has sensed the location of eight previously undiscovered thrones. Also new in Dominion 6, when your god is awake in the world, you get to know where the thrones are. Because there used to not be fog of war. So you could just see the whole map, so you could see where the thrones were. Now there's fog of war. So knowing now where all the different thrones are is important. So we need four thrones to win. So one, two, three. Do we have anything in the underworld? Four maybe for us. Getting across the water here will be difficult. We don't have good water troops unless this is attached down here, but that's a long ways away. So probably not that one. It's interesting there's no thrones over here. So getting to this territory could be rather important. Yeah. Okay, so now we can start seeing who else is in the world. So a proclamation from Tian Chi. Uh, and from Niflheim. So we can go to... Don't know all my hotkeys yet in the, the new one here. Pretenders of the World? Yeah. All right. So these are the different nations that the game rolled. So we have Marverni. These are like Celtic druids. And they have like Celtic troops that use magic tattoos. It's one of them that's in the world. We have Lanka. Lanka is like... Um, Indian, like from India mythology, and these are like demon apes um, that eat people and summon demons, and they're like super strong, tough uh, Bandar, which are like these like almost human apes. Really fun nation. I like that one quite a lot. We have Tian Chi, Spring and Autumn. So this is basically ancient China, like mythological China. So we've got like Master of the Way, Student of the Five Elements, Celestial Masters. They they have a, a really, um, they're not the best troops in early age, but they're definitely a professional army. So like you can see here, he's got a glaive, he's got full scale mail, a half helmet. These guys have tower shields, so they're rather well equipped. Um, also have horse archers, which are way better than they used to be because of the horse mount change. They also have chariots and rather well armored chariots, so could be interesting. Um, I liked them well enough in five, but they weren't particularly good. Maybe they're a lot better now. We have ourselves. We have Helheim. So this is like Norse-ish myth mythology. These would be the equivalent of elves, like what elves, what Tolkien used to create elves. That was inspired by these, this mythos. So lots of like. Fey magic, death magic, uh, some earth and some air. I think they, they might have some blood in here somewhere for blood sacrifices and whatnot. Pretty cool. They have um, Valkyries is one of their sacred units. And these uh, Heldhildlings, which are like sacred mounted warriors. And we have Niflheim. Niflheim is the ice giants of North mythology. So that's one of them. These guys are size 9. They are gigantic. Size 10 is as big as you can get in uh, Dominion 6. So they're huge. And they're really strong. Like strength 26. Our Dione are big dudes too. And they're small compared to those guys. So pretty interesting. Okay. Let's assign our troops that we got. Oh, we did get some free spawn here. Nice. Throw them in there. He is now our prophet, so he's a priest level three. He's now uh, can ha automatically has our bless, which we can see here. Plus one morale, plus one re reinvigoration, awe uh, plus three, heroism, that's the extra XP bonus, plus 50%. Uh, let's designate it as our prophet. That also gives him access to the holy spells. 
So normally he has death and air, and these are the things he could cast. Now he also can do divine magic. So key for us really is the divine blessing. That would bless all holy units on the whole map, whereas blessing is just a little, like, small area. Not going to be huge for Yomi because we just don't have a lot of sacred troops, but the ones that we do have, we do want them to be blessed, so that'll be important. In fact, I think I will just tell him to bless. Okay, so let me explain this screen a little bit. You can only script five orders for commanders, and then a do this when the script ends. For normal troops, you can only give them these type of orders, like stay here for a little bit, then attack, or stay here and shoot your weapon. So Dominions is a game where you set up scripting for auto battles, essentially. Uh, they're very complex auto battles, though. Um, you won't see, although I will say the AI is better than it used to be. The AI isn't as clever as a human. The rule set is so complex and fleshed out that even after five or six years that Dominions 5 was out, no one has quote-unquote solved the game. People are all the time coming up with new strategies, and that's what makes Dominion so much fun, is coming up with your own strategies or the satisfaction of trying something and seeing it work out or fail could fail horrifically sometimes could be just as just as funny. All right, so because this guy has some air magic, I'm going to have him cast an air shield, and we'll do skeleton and body. So he's going to bless. Actually, he comes blessed, so we don't need to do that. On our other ones, we'll have them bless. So air shield will protect him from missiles. Skeletal bodies will help protect him from piercing weapons, a.k.a. arrows, is what he's really worried about. And then we will tell him to advance and cast spells in combat. And we will see that shortly, because I think I'm going to be able to send him out. Um, do I want to send these guys? No, I don't think I do. All right, so I think we can take 30 barbarians. That might be pretty iffy. 40 also might be pretty iffy. Light infantry and militias, 50 of them. We might, might be able to take that. I think we might have better odds with the 30 barbarians. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to give that a try. So just to double check, we've got our co-oni in the front. They're just going to run forward. We can't control them. We have our bandits here. They've been told to hold and fire, so they're going to shoot at whatever's closest. And then he is going to cast an air shield, cast skeletal body, and then he's going to move forward and cast spells. We don't have a lot of things he can do at the moment, so that, that's the limit of that scripting. Okay, we are up to two earth gems. We need five to do that, but we have our guy ready to do that when it comes up. We are making about 230 gold a turn. So we could spend a little bit more this turn. I think we're going to grab a demon, just one demon general. He's pretty pricey, but I'd like to have one ready so that once we have our Dione, we have somebody else who can move troops around for us. Researching and researching. I don't think there's a lot else we can do on this turn. All right, I have to hope that we win this fight. And if not, hopefully the uh, Prophet does not die. This is a pretty risky, risky one. All right, let's... Oh, and we need to move our scout. All right, let's head over to Copper Woods and see what that, that has for us. All right, we finished our first step of alteration, which is great. There was a battle. Now, you could click here and see the battle report, but I'm, I always like to watch them before I know the results. Uh, I don't know, it's just my way I like it. All right, let's go slow-mo here. So... There's our guys running forward. There's his wolves he started with. Here's our archers set up. He's casting our spells. Oh, that's pretty quiet. I might be able to turn that battle sounds up a little bit. There is music in the game, but I have it turned off. Uh, apparently the music license is a little iffy, so I'm just not going to touch it. We'll just have my dulcet tones to entertain us tonight. All right, well, this was an okay amount. Like they didn't, there weren't more than we thought were here. We can see this guy right here is their chief, and I think he's the only... Oh, no, there's two of them. If you kill all the leadership, everyone else will run. Uh, that would be ideal if they just catch an arrow and die. We'll see. Our guys here... 
Let's see, attack 11, defense 12 versus attack 10, defense 8. We will do okay. They do have to hit us twice at least to kill us because we're going to turn into ghosts. So hopefully that will help. We'll see here. Another thing you can do, so by pressing 2 I have this uh, rolling like battle log. You can up the amount of detail you have there. So 3 tells us closer, so like Barbarian missed the Ko'oni. Ko'oni hit the Barbarian in the leg for 7 damage. 4 gives you the actual rolls. So Ko'oni hit Barbarian in the body with his club for 8 points of damage. How did he do that? Well, the Maul tried to do a repel value because it's a longer weapon. We were uh, had a better attack, so we overcame that. And we did a damage roll of 13 plus 12 versus his protection, 9 plus 8. So we did 8 points of damage. Everything in the game rolls like that in the background. It's very well simulated. Uh, we are probably just going to keep this on probably 3. We'll see how this goes. They're holding up pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. This is making me nervous, though. A lucky hit could easily kill this guy. So hopefully, hopefully we will down them before that. Okay, good. Okay, here they come. Another thing you can do is if you right click on a unit, so this is Masamoto the Prophet, and you hit V, this is their battle log for the entire battle, the entire fight. So he casts his air shield, he casts his skeletal body. We told him to advance and cast spells, so he, he chooses on his own at that point. So he cast Holy Avenger, which if he dies, he'll explode, essentially. And then he tried to kill somebody with Holy Fire. Um, looks like he, the Barbarian resisted. Now in this case, with the way this battle went, instead of advance and cast spells, I wish he was just attacking with his Nodachi. But I can't control it. It's just on script. So he's going to do what he does. Which we have done really well here, actually. Let's, let's take a peek at one of these guys. So let's do this one that got wounded. Bandit hit Barbarian with a ranged attack. Ranged attack. Okay, so here's where they got into melee. Bandit hit the Barbarian in the arm with the Wakazashi for 7 points of damage. Damage exceeded maximum possible in the hit area. Reduced to 7, so I bet you, if he's still alive, there's a guy here with a lost arm. Nope, he died. So, limb loss is totally modeled. Um, there's units that can survive without a head, so you can literally lose your head and still keep fighting if you're the, the right type of unit. All right, our demons up here also did excellent. I kind of thought they were going to do okay, cause getting hit twice when our stats are slightly better than barbarians, but more importantly, we have ethereal. So ethereal units are very hard to hit with non-magical weapons. Attacks from non-magical weapons have a 75% chance of being ineffective. Basically, you just swing straight through the ghost and nothing happens. We'll just let this one play out, I think. All right, good enough. You can, by the way, some people get trapped in here. Q is the hotkey to leave a battle. And in all of Dominion 6, if you do a uh, question mark, so shift slash, it will bring up the battle shortcuts and it will show you everything that's going on there. So you can see in here, Q is the exit battle. Um, one of the things people complain about the UI here, and ironically, this is way better than it used to be, but I, I get it. Like, the UI looks intimidating. It's not a clean, modern UI. But if you'll start learning the hotkeys just by osmosis, and the hotkeys are very powerful. So they will be good for you. It, it'll become instinct, almost. So we can look at the uh, battle summary. We did lose four bandits. We didn't lose any Ko'oni. I'm very surprised by that. That was a good matchup. So I need to remember, Ko'oni versus Barbarians are a good, good matchup for our favor. The Barbarian Chiefs got no kills. The Barbarians only got six. So very good battle. I was a little nervous about that one, but that turned out excellent. All right, so I saw that we finished our research level. Let's just peek at new spells. Um, nothing our current guy can cast. No there. We do have the personal stone skin, so that's what our Dione need. Perfect. We'll just let that keep going. All right, so... We're up to three gems, so next turn we need to start our Dione. So we need to have 685 gold next turn. And we're going to make about 229. So I could spend, let's say, about 100-ish. I don't want to overspend. 
Right, we'll do we'll do one researcher. I got to be very careful because we we want this guy. This guy can expand by himself for us, and that's where we're gonna take off. Um, we won't have to have these super sketch battles. Put a little defense here. Those are just like the local militia that will guard the territory for us. Um, see what we can recruit here. So in addition to our national troops, so as Yomi, these are our national troops. There's also um, troops in each province you conquer. So we could uh, we could recruit barbarians if we wanted. Uh, we don't, but we could. And sometimes you can find really interesting troops that can really change up the dynamic of your game. So always remember to double check those. All right, I'm not really seeing bone bone tribe. I think they have like tridents or something, if I remember right. Those are pretty nasty. I don't I don't know if we could take those. Keep exploring that way. Um, 40 enemy units, mostly light infantry. I think we can take that. I think we can take that. All right, double check. I think I do want him casting spells. Just on the chance that they don't get into melee, I, I don't want him trying to get into melee, so I think I'm going to leave that alone. All right, we have our demon general that we recruited. He also has death one. Uh, he's pretty darn good at leading troops around, so we have that. Let's, oops, grab those barbarians that were spawning our gods. Like they, they're coming here to like worship our chaos god. We'll have him lead them, and we can just throw those out front. And we're going to have him cast Skeletal Body and then advance and cast spells. Because he can at least cast Weakness. So range 25 affects one person, permanently makes them weaker. So not, not a great spell, but it keeps, again, it just keeps him out of melee. So stick him there. And if he gets in melee, I mean, he's not miserable. Protection 15 is decent in the early age. Pretty good, actually. And defense 13 is fine. So... And with Skeletal Body, he'll be resistant to piercing damage. That'll be decent. Um, do we want to throw... I think we will throw these guys here. Yeah. We'll have them just over here. And the reason is, he can oh, go here. So they can combine up. And we can set up our combined forces. Whoops. Them go here. Them go here. I'm way less worried about that. I don't care about these guys. If they all die, I couldn't care less. But it, if they take somebody with them, all the better. Okay. Two more turns till we can start forging the helmet. Next turn, we will have enough money to start the recruitment. Our research is already set up, so we're good there. Let's roll the turn. All right. Helheim made a profit. Uh, oof, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Nos the Dis. That's one of their casters, I think. Shall Hillbrain be known as the Prophet of Shudder, King of the Gallows, Terror of the Tomb, King of Kings. These titles are based on their magic paths, but there's like hundreds or thousands of them, so it's hard to tell. King of the Gallows makes me think of death and blood. Terror of the Tomb is definitely blood. Or, excuse me, death. And King of Kings... I'm not sure on that. Maybe High Dominion? Not certain. So you can glean some, some re, uh, intel by looking at those. All right, let's see how we did in our battle. Hopefully we did very well. All right. Uh, all right, let's take a look and see what they have. So they've got some militia. They have a spear, some leather armor. They're garbage. They only have five protection. Bad attack, bad defense. We'll cut through those pretty easily. Light infantry. So these ones are like those militia, but they're better trained, like way better trained. Like they actually have stats. They're better armored. They have a ringmail cuirass, an iron cap, and a shield. Shields are super good, like very good. That's going to make our archers way less effective. They have javelins. That could be a bit of a pain. I think we can take those just fine. This is their commander. 
just a like a heavy infantry type guy. And then they have a mage here. Utu the Azure Initiate. So he's got one water. I'm not too worried about one water. I don't know what he would cast that would cause us problems. And he's got some gems to spend, so I don't know, maybe he can use those to some effect. Let's see what he does. He did quickness, but eh. Not really gonna change anything there. Right, let's slow this down. These wolves are always gonna charge forward and just commit suicide, but it just slows people up a little bit. You know, they wasted an, at an attack. The guy that did the attack got some fatigue, so it just wastes their time, essentially. Alright, Barbarians versus Militia should be a pretty good matchup for us. Although, again, the Barbarians are just also garbage, so they're gonna die by the droves. I do feel like our Ko-Oni, though, are gonna be really good, so... We have... are we getting Chaos? No, we're not getting Chaos here yet, but... 11 attack, 12 defense. Versus the Militia, who... Oh, he's wounded. Who have 8 and 8. So our stats are just way better. Cast Slime. Oh! Oh, okay. Alright. That actually did, was pretty good. He cast Slime. We saw that was that spell that just came in here. Let's check that out. So... Never, one of our guys has a never healing wound. I don't know if Ko-Oni, because they turn into ghosts, when they reform their body, I don't know if they keep their wounds or if they actually heal. We'll have to check that out. But that, yeah, he, he got all three of those. So had they not been Oni, they would have all died. So good on us that they just turned into ghosts. Okay, our barbarians look like they're maybe retreating. What are you guys doing? Yeah, those two are retreating. I think all of our barbarians are retreating. Alright, well, uh, we weren't expecting much from them, so... Our archers are peppering the light infantry. Not great, though. So our Oni are throwing fire. I don't think we looked at these guys yet. Aka Oni. So these guys are bigger. They have a great club that does 23 damage. Like, standard human HP is 10. So these guys will just paste most humans. Even if you had 10 armor, on average, they would have 13 damage get through there. So they will just paste humans. Uh, they also have throw flames. So that's what they're doing right now. Oh, fatigue cost. Interesting. Uh, another change was some people with natural weapons, instead of having quote-unquote ammo, now they just cost fatigue. So... That might make these guys a lot better. If they choose just to stand back and throw that, that's a good attack. I'll have to think about that one. We'll, we'll see once we have more of them. Oops. And we can see what a, a massed fire throw looks like. I am a little worried they're going to hit our own guys, though. Because they're not super accurate. As you can see, they're just whiffing a lot of those. We would want to be closer, ideally. Alright, it looks like... Oh, did they just route? Ooh, yikes. They, they were heading for the mage, but they routed. Okay. Getting in there. Oh, they're routing too. Okay, good, good. So I think this is the only guy on their team who's still... Yeah, he's the only one left. So I think we got this one in the bag. We'll speed this up. Okay, uh, not not bad, not bad. I mean, I knew there were going to be losses, so we lost eleven barbarians, four Kony. Totally acceptable losses for the you know. We need to have the territory, so their their losses are very acceptable to me. All right, we want six defense there. And feel free, anyone who's watching, uh, to either say something in the chat. Uh, ask any questions you want, or if somebody's watching this after the fact, leave a comment and I'll respond. It's it's a very complicated game, and I'm definitely no expert. I think I have between Domains 4 and 5 a couple thousand hours. That's nothing compared to some people, and only a little bit of that's in multiplayer, which is much higher level play than you'll see tonight. But I think I can answer basic questions for people pretty pretty well. All right, from there, what do we have that survived? Not a ton. We had some barbarian. We had a barbarian retreat over there. We had a few retreat there. Most of them just died or deserted. 
I don't think this group's going to be able to push forward anymore. I think that's all they're going to be able to do. So we're going to head back and get some more troops. I think we'll have him pick up that guy on the way. Um, oh, good. We can recruit scouts here. We'll take a... Oh, no, we won't because we're not going to have enough money. All right, so turn that off. Oh, maybe we will. That was paying for her. All right, our first Dione getting started. And then next turn, yeah, next turn we'll, we'll forge the helmet and then he'll be out. Yeah, timing is correct. All right, so we do have a little bit of money left. So I am going to grab a scout. Having scouts that aren't from our capital is super good. Like, that's a great find because we don't want to spend turns recruiting our stealthy guys to go scouting for us. We want to be getting Dione or mages. And until we get some more forts up to do recruitment elsewhere, this is our only place that we can get good recruitment. Now, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any mountains. Oh, there's a little bit over here. So it must be a mountain off, off screen. Mountains is what we really want. I want mountains because I want those better demons. We haven't even seen any of our good ones yet. Highlands, farmlands, highlands. Okay, so I'm more interested in this direction now. Yeah. Research, research, research. Um, yeah. I'm just deciding if I want to send them out site searching or not, but I don't think I do. I think I want them to stay there and research for now. Ideally, so one turn, two turns. Yeah, we'll have Alteration 3 when our first Dione comes out. He'll have personal iron skin. That will be great for him. All right, and this scout will head that way, and we'll roll the turn. Lanka finally made their profit. A Bandus Raja. So that's, I think, one of their commanders. Not one of their good ones, though, so, yeah. Prophet of Bawa, Shining Boat of Heaven. Okay, that makes me think uh, water or maybe air. And Persuasive One. I don't know if I've ever seen that one. That sounds like glamour, maybe? Queen of Fraud and Theft. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So over here, we were going to pick up this loser. Then we'll head home. And over here, what we have? We have some more barbarians. I think we're going to stuff them up here for now. Oh, we did get a couple of our better ones. So Nodachi and Javelin. Again, though, no protection. He's not wearing any armor. Good attack. Look at that. 15 and 16. That's because we're getting a bunch of chaos power right now. We're getting plus three chaos power. So that, that just shows like we really, really want to be fighting in turmoil or where there's unrest if we can help it. Because these stats, like think about the barbarians we were fighting, we would just destroy them with these. So super duper good. And their strength goes up from that. So 19, which goes into their Nodachi, which hits for 31 and it's uh, slash damage. So that's killing most humans if you hit them. So super good there. All right, we're going to need more forces, though. Nothing there is going to be able to head out this turn. So I'm going to have him think I want. Let me turn on some more map things here. So I did control F to bring this up. Uh, these are just going to be icons on the map. I'm adding the Dominion candles and the income for the province. A little hard to see. So that represents the money, our Dominion, our resources, and our recruitment points. I mainly just want to see where our Dominion is sitting at and how much we have here. So we have six. So when you preach, you can go up to double the amount of, of holy level you are times two if you're at a temple. So he cannot preach here to get anything, unfortunately. I think, I think he's going to research for a turn because we're going to need some more troops really to be able to do anything. We, we might be able to go for here next. Woodsman, Blowpipes, and Vinemen. That eh, could be nasty. We'll see. Oh, and we found T and Chi. Okay, so that's one of our neighbors. I'm not too worried about them, actually. So that, that's not a bad neighbor to have on one side. This looks like this might be the edge of water. 
If that's the case, then maybe we could take this choke point and just claim all this for ourselves. Uh, you also can hire a mercenary, and right now there's the swimming men. Hmm. Those look like they're, yeah, tritons. If we hired them, maybe we could get into the water. 250? We do have enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try for that, I think. Um, trying to remember how I bid on these. Oh, no. They're already hired, but I don't think we've seen the person. So we don't see the, the employer yet. I think that's what that means. Yeah, because I don't think I have any other UI here. Yep. Okay, so they must be hired by somebody. Or they're just coming off, and that's why they don't have the flag. All right, uh, our scout. Oh yeah, our new scout. Nice. Um, let's get let's get proper intel here, since our Dione's going to try to attack that. And let's recruit another one. Do I want to get a couple extra bandits? We could. No, our money is going to be so tight. I don't want to spend anything we don't have to. Yeah, let's go ahead and roll that turn. All right, research and alteration is completed. Check that one. So that's the level three, which is the personal iron skin. Perfect, perfect. Uh, there's a lot of other good spells here. We just don't have the right magic paths right now to really worry about them. Our, what are those witches actually called? Naminari, our Naminari. Uh, do have one death and one nature. So they could do some of these. Um, but I'm not going to be sending them out into combat. That, that'd be a desperate move. Animate Tree is new and it's pretty decent, so that could be something interesting to try at some point. Yeah, not, not too worried about those at the moment. All right, and here he is, our first guy. We need to forge ourselves that helmet. We'll let him research for one turn and then get that helmet on. I think we're going to try to just immediately go for a second one here. Yeah, I think we'll have just enough income if I don't recruit anything else. So, yeah. Okay, so you head out this way. You head over here. So we are showing 80 enemy units. The enemy, the army consists mainly of heavy infantry and slingers. That would actually be pretty difficult for our troops. But that'll be nothing for this guy. Let's go ahead and get him set up. So, he's going to bless himself. Then he is going to give himself personal iron skin. Uh, yeah, what else can you do? Now, there is a trade-off here, because casting all these spells will tire him out quite a bit. And you don't want to be tired when you're going into combat. But I feel like the buffs are worth it. So we'll do Skeletal Body. And then we'll tell him to wait two turns and just kind of rest. And then attack the closest enemy. And we want him to be way... Oops. We want him to be way in the back so that they have to run to him and he has time to cast all those spells. Alright. And for you... Alright, he brought the crappy barbarians. Yeah. There. In fact, actually, he is a better leader. Yeah, they'll get plus one instead of the minus that they had. In fact, he can do four different groups. We're going to give him the archers, too. He's just way, way better at that than anyone else. Yeah, I want, I want these guys up here because they have the ranged attacks. I think that will encourage them to use them. Whereas if I mix them in with these guys, I think they're more likely to uh, more likely to want to charge forward. And I would much prefer that they try to, even if they don't, get some more attacks off. Alright, so I think we will make an attempt on this one. And we will send our Prophet in support of that attack. Just double check. I want here. I want to see the troops that are moving here. Yeah. 
So he's going to air shield. Okay, so I do... Oh, no. Nobody else here is holy, so I don't need to bless them. Advance and cast spells. Yeah. All right. I... I don't know if we can take that one, but worth a try. I'm not I'm not nearly as worried now that we've got him and a second one almost out. The goal here is by the uh, turn 12, which will be 12 or 13, the first spring of the Ascension War, ideally I want 12 territories. And right now we've got three. Uh, so we got a lot of work to do. But we're getting off to a good start here. All right, send him down there. Let's roll the turn. All right, uh, old wood. So this is the iffy battle, I think. Okay, so I'm curious to see what these guys do. If they stop and throw, or if they just charge. Okay, so they did stop and throw. Okay, good, good. This guy's way out there by himself. That's super dangerous. Barbarians coming in and hitting. Somehow we haven't done too much friendly fire to ourselves, so I'm impressed by that. Okay, yeah, this is going to go just fine. Good. Oh, did he enemy a tree? Yes, he did. <laughs> Ironically, we're probably going to do more damage to ourselves while we'd use ranged attacks on that thing. There we go. Okay, that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, there was a Balan Barna. Oh, this is us seeing T and Chi attack somewhere. Let's check them out. All right, so a noble. We got one chariot and just some. Oh, these are they're sacreds. Like dual wielding, like monks. Just peeking at how they do. Yeah, those glaives are going to chop up light infantry. Okay. Not too worried about what I saw there if I had to fight that army. Alright, an unexpected event in Old Wood. We got eight nature gems. A handful of magic gems have been found in a grove in the forest. Nice. Getting some of that bonus in. Unexpected event in Yomi. A priest of Rushu, the Unseen Master, has been preaching and warning people of the end of the world. People are frightened and come to the temple to seek comfort. Faith has increased and much wealth has been donated to the temple. 510 gold, that's almost a Dione. Sweet, good job, Doomsayer Priest. Alright, you, put on your helmet. You, do we have enough? No, we don't have enough gems. So back to research. You. Dump off the demons you've spawned. The reason I don't want him to carry demons around is if they rout, they will lower his morale. Uh, it's better that he sticks around and fights to the death, ideally, than they run off the battlefield so he gets scared and decides to run away. I'm... This is going to be hubris speaking because I'm sure now that I'm on camera something horrible is going to happen. With that helmet and the buffs we have, I'm pretty confident that he will not have any trouble. I think I think he's just gonna squish right through those guys, chop them up. Okay, uh, add our defense here. And what do we have left? I guess we could check the report. How many did we actually lose? Seven barbarians. Nice. I really like getting those free troops from this uh, Statue of War. One of the downsides to him, uh, it doesn't show here, one of the new things in Dominion 6 is some of your gods can change your minimum, maximum scales, but they don't stack with your nation. So our nation already lets us have more turmoil, so his plus one to turmoil doesn't help, unfortunately. But, like I said, he was able to carry the bless I wanted cheaper, so I went with him instead, even if we don't get to use that. Those barbarians, though, I mean, they haven't been terrible. They've done stuff, and I don't have to pay for them. I, actually, I, I take that back. I think I do I do pay them a salary of 10 gold a year if they survive, which, <laughs> you know, is not guaranteed. All right, so over here, uh, could be up to 110. I think it's plus or minus 50%, so that could be 160-ish dudes. 
Lion Tribe Warriors and Archers. I think we could take that. I think we could take that. We'll, we'll make a go for it. And we'll have to keep scouting that way, and you will scout down that way. Our Dione is moving over. We're summoning another Dione. I'm just thinking where I want to drop a fort. Really, I'm going to want one on the throne. What is here? Long dead, heavy infantry, archers, and heavy cav. That is very doable for us. Not quite yet, but when we have like three Dione, we could probably take that. So we'll probably build a fort there. So if that's the case, here or here is probably where we're going to want to build. Plains, forest, plains another throne there so maybe here that does have more population than the forest so yeah maybe maybe if we take this we'll immediately start trying to build a new fort research is going okay we're gonna need a second Dione he's not gonna have a helmet right away so we're gonna have to chance that but I think we want to get moving so All right, we'll head that way interesting that we're seeing cold over here I wonder if Niflheim's in that direction, spreading cold around. It worked out for us that most of the other nations are either heat neutral or cold, whereas we went hot, so they'll struggle inside of our domain if, if we're fighting defensively. All right, battle in Mir. All right, this is our Dione. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. Off the wolves go, he's casting his Bless. Yeah, a decent amount of troops back there. All right, he got his iron skin off. I believe he's going to do skeletal body and then rest for a second. All right, so with his helmet and personal iron skin, he's got 30 protection. He's got 32 on the head and 29 in the body. Most normal troops are not going to be able to do much to that. You'd have to roll very high, and I'd have to roll very bad. So we should see him run forward. And just squish them. All the slinger fire coming in. It's just going to bounce off him if they do hit. Alright. We're going to see a lot of troops blink. When they blink, what is happening is they're failing their awe rolls. So remember, our bless gives him awe. So they're like, ah, how could I possibly beat this guy? And they're like cowering in front of him. At the same time, he's also doing fear. So, oh, wow, well, gotten one. So, minus one morale from the fear. They have plus one because this is their home. Minus one because it's got my domain in it. So he's only got a morale nine. And morale is what they use to try to get through the, the awe, which they're going to struggle. If they do get through that, our weapon is longer because he's so big. Yeah, this is actually a size 4 because he's larger than size 6. He's going to have a chance to repel them. So they have to pass several checks just to get an attack off. I think we can speed that up. And now the Slingers don't want to fire from so far back, so they ran closer to try to be more accurate. I don't think Slingers can hurt us. I think we're basically immune to Slinger fire. They're just hitting their own guys. So that's ideal. That's actually very ideal. And he's just going to slowly chop his way through. We don't have any AoE spells for him yet. But he'll just slowly hack people apart. Yep. That's what I thought. What was your name? Nakahira. Good job, Nakahira. And then our second battle. Now this one's a lot more iffy. We'll see how it goes over here. Now remember, one of the cool things about Yomi is I didn't pay for any of these. These guys were starting troops. These guys are spawning from our god. These are spawning from our domain slash various demons that we've employed. So we didn't pay for anything but the commanders. Hmm. Somebody's casting something. I think it's you. Have, like, decay or something. I'll have to double check what death one spell they're chucking.
Oh, it's weakness he's doing, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Strength 12, strength 12. Oh, I guess I resisted. Good, good job. <laughs> I believe if you get weakened, that is permanent, so. Yeah, Dominions is such a cool series, man. Um, you have to be in the right frame of, of mind for it, though. Like, it's, it's not just a sit down and, and rapid action. Like, I'm making this look a little easier than maybe it is for a brand new player, because like I said, I have a couple thousand... <laughs> just a couple thousand hours into it but it's very approachable a lot of people bounce off of it because i don't know they just think that oh it's it's too much the manual is great and there's literally decades of youtube videos from people way smarter than me that explain everything so you definitely can get into it and you know if, if you like the idea of like total war but you want more depth or you like paradox games but you want a little better combat this is like the between point between a Paradox game and a Total War game. Especially like Total War Warhammer. So, and it's so varied. Like this is one nation I'm playing out of 101. And this isn't even one of the ones that's really out there. Like there's nations that are entirely ghosts. Or all giants. Or Amazons. Or ogres. Just all kinds of crazy stuff. And it's really, really rooted in mythology so if you like mythology type things it'll really scratch that itch for you like really well like the i believe one of the two developers i i think he's a professor of comparative mythology and religion i think is his actual job so that tells you the type of depth that they put into this all right an unexpected event has occurred in ostblin Hordes of peasants have left their home in search of a better place to live. 2,400 people left. Yikes. That was a good chunk of the population here. That, that's a bad event. Okay, well, nothing for it. New famous hero. All right, so if you become a famous hero, you get this. So there's a limited amount of famous hero slots in the world, and we just nabbed two of them, so that's great. It gives you a special bonus. So he gets a hero with this ability recovers from fatigue at an unbelievable rate. So uh, ba, ba, ba. can't see it here, but that's super good. Having oh here we go, yeah. Plus two extra reinvigoration is amazing. Our bless will give him plus one, so he'll have three. That'll really help him not get too tired in fights. Um, if you get to a hundred fatigue, you actually pass out essentially, and people just stab you to death. So you do not want to hit 100 fatigue. But it's a scripted game, so you can't just tell them, oh wait, stop a minute. So, yeah, that, that is a, one of the ways that our big guys will die, is they'll get too tired, and then basically get their throat slit while they're taking a nap. Okay, so, that was super duper easy here. Throw some defense on. I think we're going to move up Militia, Light Cav, and Heavy Cav. I think we can definitely take that. Heavy Cav's pretty scary. When they do Lance Charges, that could really mess you up. But we've got the Fear. We've got the Awe. We've got 30, I guess, bodies, 29 protection. I don't think they'll kill us, even if they hit us with their Charge Attack. I think I'm going to chance that one. Uh, over here, where we succeeded, I will drop... Six defense. I think I do want to try to get a fort up. So I believe it's a thousand gold. Yeah, a thousand gold. So we can't do that this turn. And we're actually only we're gonna get to a thousand exactly if I spend nothing else this turn. So I think we're just gonna chill there. Um, we have three candles, so preaching won't do anything. All right, we will patrol and try to lower the unrest. And we will search for magic sites with him. Yeah. All right. Don't spend money. Have to remember. That'll come out next turn. We don't have the gems to build him a helmet yet. Wow. I, we're almost a year in and I have two extra researchers. Yomi really struggles with that. <laughs> It'll get better, though. When, once we get the second Dione, we'll be conquering two territories a turn. And our economy will turn around and... Then we can actually afford to get some mages out 
and that'll be way better. This is pretty unusual for most nations. All right, head up here into the cold, I think. How close are we to research? Oh, not even remotely, okay. Roll that turn. Oh yeah, the um, the replay value here is amazing. And I've only played a little bit of multiplayer and only with friends and associates, but it it is one of the most in-depth games. Most people either play Blitz where you're just doing like, everyone's taking their turns one after each other. Just, it, you all do your turns simultaneously, but you're, you're just immediately doing turns like I'm playing now. Or you do, it used to be only by, essentially play by email, but they added a lobby to the number six. So it's hosted on their servers, which is a huge improvement. I do not, I'm too old to do play by email. I don't want to do the hassle. There are Discord bots that'll help you run it and whatnot, but I much prefer running the server type. When I played before, a friend would host the game, and that's how we ran it. And most of those type games, people play one turn per day. And that sounds really slow, and it kind of is, but when you get to the super late game and you're playing humans, you really want to think about your turns. Like, everything, every minute detail has to be perfect. At least, I think the type of people who get into this game, that's the way that they tend to want to play. Like, every commander has their own individualized script, and everyone's wearing the perfect piece of armor. But it, it's so satisfying when it when it goes off. Like, I, I still, five years later, in my head right now, can remember several battles I had. Because they were just so in my mind, and I planned them so well. And victory or defeat, they, they were so engaging. Even though you don't... You know, it's not a real-time strategy. You're not giving orders, like, on the fly. So, amazing series, and well well worth the time to, to get over that learning curve, I think. All right, we found a magic site. Um, oh, nice. Sky Split Oak produces one air gem. That is going to be super nice. Ideally, if we could get to 40, and we roll a Dione who gets an air path, we could empower him to air 2. And with air two, I think we can summon, where are those, uh, Tengu, this one. Yeah, a Dai Tengu commander is an air mage himself, and then we could have him do the rest of the air magic for us. And these are actually sacred troops, so they could use our bless, and they're flying Tengu samurai, they're very good. but. We're not going to be able to summon those natively. We're, we just don't have anyone who starts with two air. So that'll be difficult to get to. Great if it happens, though. All right, let's see. Nothing special. I guess we could recruit some heavy cav here later if I change my mind and decide to get some non-nationals. That's going to be, I mean, 30 gold and 27 resources uh, compared to, I mean, even if we got our own troops. These guys are, what? Nine gold and eleven resources. Now, admittedly, the heavy calves a lot better than a bandit, but our economy just can't handle it. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so so bad. All right, we are going to go ahead and start that palisade, and you are going to. Feels like a waste to have my profit just sitting here. Um, where's it? temple. Okay, so if you click on a temple, it'll show you your dominion stats. So we have one temple, we have 19 uh, provinces that have our dominion, our dominion strength 6, which means every time we try to spread it, there's an 80% chance that it works. Our god gives us three checks, one of which always succeeds. Our prophet is giving one. So even if he just stands here, he's still giving a little bit of dominion out. And the way to think about dominion spread is imagine water. So where the water's coming out mainly is like in Yomi. That's like our spring. And it wants to spread out. So it's going to, generally speaking, flow out. So you can kind of see it's like one. This is higher because our profit's been here for a while. One, one. Towards the source, it's a lot thicker because, like, the water's bubbling up. That's how I visualize uh, dominion spreading. Uh, ooh, 
Interesting. Amazons and Pegasus riders. If those troops are recruitable, that would be really nice. We could get some flying cavalry. Um, Amazons are usually pretty decent troops. And if, they're ma if there's an Amazon mage there, we might be able to get access to a magic type we don't have. So that's super interesting to me. Really would like to get that. Another consideration here, I think, though, all of our Dione are going to come from Yomi. Then we have to move out. So if I take him and conquer here, the next guy that comes out, where's he going to go? He can't take the throne by himself. I guess he could go one, two, or one, two. But then where's the next guy go? So I think I'm going to leave this open for now, and I'm going to try to move out and establish a border with whoever's this direction. It's so cold over here, I'm really expecting Niflheim. Oops. We will see, though. Okay, uh, just double checking. I don't think we got anything new or interesting. No, nothing that he wants to be cast in. So he's going to move over here. What is this? This is Bone Tribe. Bone Tribe are pretty nasty. They have javelins. I think they have tridents. I, I forgot to check when we fought those ones. Uh, tri tridents are pretty nasty weapons. Um, they may have poison. I don't remember if Bone Tribe deals in that, so that could be a little dangerous. I think we only have poison resist five. Yeah, that could be iffy. That could be iffy. But if we can get here and here and get our dominion in, we could thaw this river out, and then they'd only have this one bridge to be able to come in. And they wouldn't be able to come in any other direction. So I think I am going to go that that route. All right, you're here and you don't have a helmet, and we, we, we'd have to wait one turn, and then wait a second turn to forge it, and then the third turn we can move out. I think we're just going to go. I do have the um, uh, personal iron skin, so even without a helmet, he'll have some defense on. I very much would prefer having a helmet, though. These guys are so expensive, and we're going to be so limited by how many we can have. I don't like chancing it. In fact, actually, this guy did roll air, I see. Let's give him air shield. Air shield is 80% chance that it just destroys a missile that would hit him. So we'll do that, and I think we'll also put skeletal body. That'll make him pretty immune to arrows. I still am going to get him a helmet, though. That That is coming as soon as possible. And he's going to go... I think we're going to go for this one. So we will go down that direction. We are completely broke. We really need some more money. <sighs> yeah. Now that I'm seeing how broke we are, it's going to be quite a while before we can get another Dione. I think I will take this one first, because I want to see if I need to concentrate on getting a lab up here to recruit. I think that's what we're going to do. And for you, I think we're just going to patrol again. Oh, here we go. Here's Marverni. Okay, so where's that? Okay, so they're south of TNG. It's interesting. I guess it is winter, so if their scale's neutral, their territory would be cold right now. So maybe that's not. But up, up north, we definitely saw snow when it was not winter, so... One of those cold nations is probably up there. Oh, we also have that cave. I forgot about that. Huh. And there is a throne here. Did we have... We didn't have anyone who was likely to start underground. And none of these guys... I guess... I guess Lonka has demons, so they also could see underground pretty well, but nobody else particularly does, I think. So we would have home team advantage, essentially. And there's two thrones here. Okay. Maybe the underworld is our victory path. That's our entrance. We could put a fort here. Put a fort there. 
That'd be two thrones, three thrones, and then we just need to scrounge one more up for win. Yeah, I really like that. I, I am still going to go for surface conquering because I feel like we'll have an advantage if we have to push somebody out from underground. Maybe the third Dione can head down there and, and take that. Having that new underground dimension, or they're called dimensions, I think, but new layer is so nice. One of my favorite factions is Agartha, who are like worm people, I guess, that live underground. And they used to be so terrible. They're still probably terrible, but they, they live underground so they can see in the dark. And I, I love those little worm dudes, so I'm happy that maybe they're they're less bad. <laughs> Okay, and we do see, who is this? Niflheim. All right, so Niflheim is, he's at least conquered here. I don't know where he came from. Keep scouting. I think we're good. We are two turns out from our next level of alteration. Let's roll that turn. All right. This could be dangerous, depending on what these Amazons all have. Let's see. The archers are probably short bows, yeah. Short bows, I'm basically immune to. I don't think that's going to be an issue on this guy. He's got the helmet. Um, Amazons are people of semi-civilized tribes ruled by women. The Amazonian culture center around warfare and prowess in combat. The Amazon community is comprised of four tribes led by sorcerers and priestesses trained in magic. Crystal Amazons, that's what I want, are adept archers, but unfit for melee. The, the caster for Crystal Amazons should be Astral, which we have none of, and Earth. And that's a great, what's called cross path for spells and crafting. That will be a great find. I think that might be one here. Oh, no. Crystal Priestess shows as air now. I wonder if that changed or if I'm remembering a different one. Either way, though. Even if it is just an air one, that'd be okay because I could do the empower thing I talked about earlier and she could be my Tengu Summer if I needed to. So that'd be all right. They're also not a terrible researcher. For 62 gold a year, I think that's the same or close to what we're getting from our witch. So could be a source of better researchers. And then if we can recruit these guys, shortbow with a lance, a pegasus, Smart mount. Smart mount's a new stat, so if the rider gets killed, there's a chance that the mount goes back home, and you can recruit a new one, a new unit for half price. So that's a pretty, pretty nice one for anything that has that. Flying has a hoof attack that's pretty decent. Yeah, that's not a bad unit. Right. Oh, and there they go. They just took off and then landed. So let's see. What did you get off? Oh, all he got off was his blessing. So he does not have his um, protection spell up yet. That could be pretty dangerous. That could be pretty dangerous. What is your thing? Why are you blinking? You're running air shield. Okay, I don't care about air shield. So they flew over here, but they're firing at my wolves. That's nice. I'm very happy if that's what they'd like to do. Oh, and there we go. So he just killed the Amazon who was riding this one, and now it's just the mount. So it looks like it also routed already. Magic. Yeah, so he's got the fear on him. They're not particularly brave, it looks like, so I don't think he's going to hang around. I don't think the Pegasus without the rider can do much to me anyways, so he's probably pretty safe from those. 44 damage. <laughs> Yeah, and there's, I killed the, the mount underneath one of them. So I think people are going to find there's probably a few combos of uh, probably sacreds, but maybe not uh, mounted units that are just incredible with this new system. I'm already thinking about late age Agartha. They have a, a, a knight that rides a cave drake. And I'm, I'm just, both of those units are so hard to kill that now that you have to kill both of them to get rid of the unit, is really enticing. They're also expensive, so if they can go home and get recruited for half price if they get wounded, I'd be very happy with that too. Alright, let's speed this up. I don't think they can hurt him. <laughs> he finally got the iron skin off. I guess he did take he did take a little plink. 
two points of damage. That's all right. I don't think they can do anything else to him. He's just going to hack his way through him. <laughs> He's still like, I am still buffing. Knock it off. And he's only got 32 fatigue. That's pretty good. He's got that reinvig three. Twenty-nine. I just kind of want to see what that does when he attacks. Okay, so he's ending up getting one. It looks like when he attacks, that's excellent. He'll never he'll kill everybody before he exhausts out at that rate. So unless they can hit him with a spell that makes him tired. Or I add more buffs. This guy specifically with his heroic ability is good to go. Alright. <laughs> Benny Hill music here. And you don't have to watch these fights out. You can always leave at any time. I just, I really enjoy watching them. I get a kick out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Now the million dollar question. Crystal Priestess. Okay, so it's a zero. Oh, okay. A 10% chance to get air and a 50% chance to get astral. So I was doubly wrong. They weren't what I was thinking of, and they're not just pure air mages. So that's pretty iffy. It's pretty iffy. A demon priest would be cheaper for me if all they are is a priest, because he's like 30 gold or something. She's 155. But I probably would like to recruit at least one so I could find some Astral. Okay, and they do have... This is more close to what I was thinking. The Crystal Sorceress. So one Air, one Astral, and could get two Astral. So I would love to get one of these. So to recruit Mages, I am going to need to build a lab here. And I am just broke, so that's not going to happen for a while. But it could happen. I actually like our bandits better. They're just so much cheaper. Yeah, they're so much cheaper than that. But these guys could be interesting. Probably won't get them in this game, but that's cool that you could get another sacred. For most people, your sacred only comes from your capital, and you can only get one sacred per dominion level. So I could recruit six per turn if I had sacreds, and that's it. So having some place secondary that you can hire sacreds from is super powerful. Okay, so because this was frozen, he was able to cross. That's where he came from. And here's Helheim. Okay, so Helheim's up there. I think we are going to take this one. And we're saving some money. We have the five Earth Gems now, so we are going to forge a helmet. We have a lot of Death Gems. I'm actually going to go ahead and... Another one of our special ritual spells, our witch can basically make stronger and stronger packs with the Demon Kings, and that's going to raise her magic paths. So I'm going to do that, because then once she's got the higher paths, I can send her out searching for magic sites, and I'd prefer to do that with better paths before I send her out. Um, as for here... I see you, TNG. I think we're going to grab a priest and we're going to grab another scout. I don't have another priest and I would like to have one to build temples. He's super cheap. He's not old, is he? Eh, he's getting there. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Um, he also can move our demons around if we get any free spawn in weird places. He can go get them. I think we'll do that. We'll save the rest of our money and then next turn we'll probably build a temple over here. We've got four months until we build the Palisades. If these guys were to attack me, what do you got? Medium footman, footman, where's the five element, and noble. I don't think they could take us. I think we would win. Nothing there other than maybe the warriors of the five elements. We just peek at those guys. Do they have magic weapons by default? They don't. But they might be blessed with it. But without the magic weapon, our Ko'oni will hold just fine. They won't be able to get through that uh, ethereal phase of being a ghost. So they would hold fine. That way. 
think that's all we've got. Really, really want more researchers. <laughs> Maybe next turn we'll, we'll grab one here. All right, let's roll that turn. All right, we've got our next level of alteration. At four, anything that looks super useful. Temper flesh, that, that's something we're gonna put in there. So temper flesh, the flesh of the caster is tempered with earth magic and made highly resistant to physical damage as well as fire. So we will have slash, blunt, and pierce resist, which I believe gives 50% damage reduction in addition to our protection. So we'll be nigh immune to, to physical weapons at that point. Um, otherwise, cool spells, but nothing they're going to be able to cast. Yeah, I think that is it for that one. So we need to remember to go uh, rescript our two guys. I think we're just going to keep plugging away those two. All right, uh, she cast her pack, so she gained a fire and another death, so she's a better mage. And we're going to also just immediately do the greater pact. Those are taking up death gems, and we're not using them for anything else right now. So that's totally fine with me. And like I said, I'd like to get her out looking around and seeing if we can find some more gems, because our gem income is garbage right now. And this guy is our new scout, so we'll put him on retreat, cue him in the back. I'm going to have him probably come over here and keep a closer eye on what TNT is doing. We've got two battles this turn. I think both of these are Dione fights, so I'm expecting wins. Oh, this was the cavalry, so this could be dangerous. This could actually be dangerous. He's got his air shield, he's got a skill to body, so he's going to be basically immune to their arrow fire at this point. Uh, this is the guy without the helmet, though. So they could get lucky. Don't like that you stopped to throw that. Why, why did you stop to throw that? I thought you were on attack closest. The reason I don't want him throwing those flames is it's, it just costs a lot of fatigue. And I, yeah, he's already at 48. Don't like that one bit. All right, and now we win, because there's nothing they're going to be able to do in melee. What is their damage? So the Light Lance, do you get the bonus damage? You do get the charge bonus, so it would add some extra on the first attack, but they're not going to be able to do it. They're not getting through that. And now it's just a matter of time for him to chop them up. I love these uh, style of combat where you're using these super combatants. The, the army... Fights are cool too, but I don't know. I just get a kick out of watching like this big demon stomp over there and hack people apart with his giant nodachi. All right, the second one. So this should be our helmeted guy. Let's actually take a peek at these guys. So these are the bone tribe. Okay, so these ones have spears. Okay, so these are not the ones that have tridents. Unorganized, they do berserk. So if they go berserk, they won't be vulnerable to our fear stuff. But that spear is not going to be strong enough to do anything to us. Shortbow is not going to do anything to us. Now here you go, this could be painful. A spiked club that's magic. Don't care for that. Alright, they would. he would still have to get through our awe, although he has a decent chance to do so. This is a sacred unit too. Interesting. And I do have a caster here in the back, a bone reader. Air one, death one, I, I guess he could weaken me. That would suck, be permanently weaker. But other than that, I don't think he can do anything to us. Oh, we had a few free spawn. Well, there they go. <laughs> we'll just watch for a second just to make sure nothing crazy happens. Oh, they are getting some damage in there. Okay. That is worrisome. That is very worrisome. Why are you getting that damage in there? Did you just roll really well? No. Some of them do have the... I guess this is technically a spetum, but trident-type weapon. So I guess the guy I clicked on just ran away was one of the spear dudes. So 
These are definitely more worrisome. 24 is high enough that they will get some damage through that 30 just on those random rolls. The uh, random rolls in this game are all 2d6 rolls. So both sides will roll 2d6 and add, and they use exploding dice rules. So if you roll a 6, you add 5 and then roll again. Yeah, he is definitely getting chip damage from those. Uh-oh, he's probably gone. He's trying to run away. Oh, the arrogance is real. He's got 7 HP. Run, buddy. Oh, and he doesn't make it. It's a darn shame. It's a darn shame. All right, well, that's that's painful. That's super duper painful. I thought that was going to be dangerous, but I did not think that they could take him out. And this is our unhelmeted guy. Ironically enough, if we were doing that fight this next turn, having the temper spell would probably have made him not uh, not die to that. So that that's sad. That's very sad. And then he is, oh, I did not script him for attack closes. So that is now fixed. All right, buddy, all of our hopes and dreams rest on your shoulders now. So good luck. In fact, do we want to rematch with them? I think I think I actually do, ironically, because I want that territory. So I am going to go ahead and add skeletal body. That'll help. Hopefully we will see that he'll be just fine. If I lose a second one to that, that's going to be really painful. All right, our Palisades three turns out. We do have enough for another Oni. I am going to queue it up because we lost that one. So unfortunately, uh, I'm just going to slow down there. She's casting that. He can research. You can come over here. That's Niflheim. Let's take a peek at what throne he's got in his neighborhood. There, there, move up there. Roll the turn. All right, got our Grainer Hanya pack. Let's check our battle. All right, so he's going to get through all his buffs. I don't think they're going to be able to interrupt him. All right, so he's got the Temper Flesh. All right, so only take half normal damage. Okay, so he's got, without the helmet, his generic protection is 27, so his head's 20. Half damage coming in, though. This guy's level 1. What was his heroic? Higher precision, that's not really useful. That's for ranged attacks. Not useful on this guy. Useful for other people. Alright, so let's see how it's going here. Not well. Not well at all. Let's see what's happening. So, short bow's doing nothing. The air elemental did some damage. So that was like lightning damage, probably. Bone Tribe. Okay, so most of the damage came from, from that, the Air Elemental. Zero points of damage. Okay, maybe we're all right, as long as they don't have another Air Elemental in their pocket. I also see that guy with that magic clubs up here. Yeah, that also is worrisome. Yeah, get rid of the guy with the magic club. Good choice. <laughs> Still getting a little chip damage, though. Very surprised by that. No wounds or anything. I'm going to have to remember that. Respect Bone Tribe, for sure. Alright. The rest of them seem more interested in shooting, so I probably am okay. I'll just be able to kill one at a time until they run. Okay, good, good. That, yeah. Don't get cocky. I think that's the lesson here, even if you're a giant Oni. here. How long we got left? We got two months remaining. Okay. He's heading out to scout there. Drop ourselves the defense there. He's recruiting. Don't have the gyms for that yet. Um, I do want this territory, so I think I'm... What's here? Not, not Bone Tribe, so I think we'll be just fine. Uh, on this side, he 
scouting. All right, now she's turned into this snake lady thing, a uh, Hanya. But her she's got fire two, death three, nature one. So she's going to be really good at searching for sites. And I'm going to pair her up with him. Retreat, retreat. Station them in the back. And we're going to head out and start looking for magic sites. Now, I think I'm going to look this way first because it's a little safer because I have active troops in this direction. So we'll head that way. And we will be back to nothing but our god researching. <laughs> Oh man, that, that hurts. I really want that next fort up. Alright, and scout down there, scout over here. Have a bit of money, what can I spend them on? Swimming. Oh, you know what? I bet you these guys are aquatic only. That's why I'm not able to get them, because I'd have to recruit them in an aquatic spot. I bet you that's what's going on. I don't remember if Tritons can shapeshift. I think only Atlanteans can. So if I could get in the water, I could hire them and make it much easier. But we are not in any way, shape, or form. I don't think we've found anything anything that could go underwater. Witch Doctor? No, not particularly useful. We already have nature. Death. Death and Earth. Death and Air. Interesting enough, but again, nothing that we don't already have. We could hire these guys, which ironically I'm very impressed with. <laughs> Maybe we will get some of those at some point. All right, let's roll that. All right, the Battle on Erd, Pretender Guns. Okay, so if you took your god and he was dormant, then they have, in about 12 months, give or take, they start waking up. So if anyone has dormant gods, we'll see them shortly. For our battle, I don't expect this one to be a complicated one. Another thing is, once you're really in the weeds with Dominions, you wouldn't need to watch these battles, because you'll kind of know how they'll play out. Like, you'll, you'll have a gut feeling like okay this type of unit versus that type of unit but i just need to rebuild that i haven't played dominions too much last couple years and this is a new iteration so there's changes so i'm just rebuilding that gut instinct up uh if i was playing in multiplayer i probably would have ran several several turns to figure out the expansion more efficiently you definitely could do it better than what i did here so and early expansion is the most important thing in the game like you need to get off to a good start. So that's one of the places that I think a new person can improve the most is just figuring out what can beat what and how to get that thing built early in the game so that you can take territory. Yeah, easy peasy. Okay. So this is spring, spring of in year one of the Ascension War. So let's take stock. Where are we at? One, two, three... Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're one behind where I wanted to be. We've got a fort started and almost done, which is that's good. That's where I'd like to be. I I'd, I'd like that to have been done this turn, but we're only one turn off. That's fine. So I would call this okay. This is probably like the bare minimum expansion. Bare minimum. But we're okay. It's just AI, so I didn't turn up the difficulty at all. So I don't think they're going to be overly aggressive or anything at me. All right, over here, add in our defense. All right, so I need to turn around and go to here. But I think I'm going to search. They can't kill this guy. If they want to suicide some troops into me, they're welcome to do so. Um... And I don't want to put my, my mages there. That's too risky. So he'll just give a search so we can at least see if there's anything. When, when I keep talking about searches, you search in the paths that you have. So he'll do two fire, one air, two or three uh, death, one holy. And so I wouldn't find nature sites or most nature sites. Or I wouldn't find 
blood sites because I don't have that magic. I don't know what to look for. So that that's what I'm talking about when searching. Well, hopefully starts finding some stuff and I can give a better example of that. Okay. Um, with that fort going up next turn, we're going to build a temple and we're going to build a lab. The reason I didn't want to build those too early is if a person conquers your territory with a lab or a temple in it, they're destroyed. Well, the temple's destroyed and they can take the lab. With a fort here, they would have to siege my fort down first, so it protects my infrastructure, basically. And as you saw, those are pretty pricey. There goes my thousand gold I had saved up. So we're back to square one on that. But we have our next Dione, uh, Koramasa, ready to roll. Welcome to the team, Koromasa. Leave your demons at the door. I do need to get these guys out of here. They cause unrest, and we don't want unrest in our capital. It is going down because our defense here is lowering unrest. When you lower unrest via this, you don't kill off your population. If you do it in other ways, generally by patrolling, you do end up killing some of your population. Like, we, we are, we are pro-police brutality when it comes to lowering uh, unrest in our domain. So we do not want that happening. We don't want to be killing our population because our population gets taxes and we like money and we're, we're dead broke. We're so broke. We need every penny we can get. All right. So we need to, I could probably just come over here. One neat thing you can do is if you come over to somebody, I'm going to do control one and copy his orders. So I can come to this guy and just, mouse over this and press one and pr paste it in there. Now for him, I don't think we need a skeletal body. That was specifically for that fight, which is good that I did it because he was getting chewed up. But unless I'm fighting somebody with really high pierce uh, melee weapons, I don't think I'm going to cast that anymore and just save the extra fatigue. Rest two turns, attack closest. Let's come over to him and let's also update his script. Remove that, add some holds, attack closest. We'll just recopy that for next time. Yeah. All right. Then we need to decide where we're going. Ironically, <laughs> we may actually need that skeletal bodies. I think rather than bouncing into that again, though, I'm going to take the safer route. We'll come here, and then we'll take this and this. Maybe this, this, and this. Uh, these were owned by Niflheim, but... If I can get there and get my Dominion up, they won't freeze, so he won't be able to get back over here. And I would not mind being at war. Well, I guess he could come down this way. Not a huge deal, though. I I think we're we're decently set up to fight giants if we have to. So bring it on is what I have to say to him. All right, over here. I'll have to take the bridge to there. He's doing a search. You're going to hide and head. Let's get a better idea what's in that throne. And over here. It's a little risky sneaking into the capital just because they'll have patrols like we do. So there's a decent chance we'll get caught. But I do want to kind of peek and just see if we can see his god so we know what we're up against. Uh, same thing here with Helheim, I think. No, I'd rather I'd rather see the territories over here, get that mapped out. But I may head over there once we've done that. Another thing to note is if you don't have somebody in an adjacent territory, you do not get updates. Like I I know what was here in theory, because I should remember it if I was paying full attention. But I know I don't get to see what's sitting there or if somebody's captured it or something. So you need to have Dominion near it, or you need to have people near it to get updates on that. Alright, and I think we're good there. We're good here. I think so I don't forget I'm gonna that's my next goal is enchantment three for fire shield. And I think we're done. I need to come back here and get some more barbarians. Yeah, let's move on. All right, and he did find a magic site. Nice. Let's go take a peek at that. A graveyard of the damned produces two death gems. 
Nice. Like it. All right, we'll head down there. Uh, and oh, they found some. Oh, they found the two. He found the one. Okay. So they found a witch's bog, one water gem. Okay. Don't think we have water access no naturally. I'm trying to think if there's a summons I know of that does. There's a website called the Dom Five Inspector, which lets you look up all kinds of things from the game, but there's not one up for six yet. And I don't want to just go clicking through all the screens while I'm streaming, so I'll just keep in mind that I'm getting some water income and maybe we can use that for something. You can trade gems. I think it's... It's not 2 to 1. I think it might be 3 to 1. It's not a great ratio, but we also could change it into a different type of gem if we had to. And Smolder Cone gives us a fire gem, which is nice. We're going to have a lot of rituals that use fire, so we'll be happy to have that. All right, we'll move down here. Let's up this so that we get the natural unrest uh, reduction. And recruit. Oh, sweet, sweet recruit. Okay. Witch doctor, how good of a researcher are you? 80 gold for five. That's terrible. You generally want 10 gold for one is like considered baseline. So he's miserable. For her, 72 for 11. Because we're getting plus two for our magic domain, I believe. For him, 128 for 13. But he's old, so he'll probably die. So she is definitely the best choice there. And I do think we're going to do that. Now, our junky palisades only give us one recruit point. So we're only going to be able to get one of those every other turn. Again, hence why we're so bad at research. Most nations get at least the next level of fortification. So they're getting two recruit points. So you could at least get one basic mage per turn. So that just hurts. It hurts really bad. Uh, other things to think about. I am kind of interested in getting like one squad of these guys up. They're stealthy. And I have a stealthy commander that could lead them. No, I don't think we're going to do that yet. We're just, again, our money is so bad and our research is so bad right now. Let's get at one of those here. Let's think. Is there another spot we want to fort? So, they when you fort, you draw your resources from your neighbors and you tax from your neighbors. And the better your fort... Uh, I think I can show this. Step. Yeah. The better your administration value, the more you can pull. So generally speaking, you don't want to put side by side. You want them to be one space away at least. And then they can both pull some out of the middle. Especially with our junky ones. They're never going to get everything out. But, okay, so if we have one here, and I think we're going to shoot for a fort here. We'd be looking at here or here. I don't think there's anything interesting to recruit here. Indie Priest, our Demon Priest is that, but better. Over here, we might be able to get those Bone Dudes. So I think this is a better strategic place. I'm so traumatized by that. I think I'm going to go for it, though. I think I'm going to go for it. We have the hat. I don't think that was the difference for the last one, but it's it's his lucky hat. So, you know, he's, he's feeling good about that. We'll go Skeletal Body. Rest for a turn. Corey Masa, you are the one, my friend. You are the one. Rushu believes in you. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in Rushu who believes in you. I think you can do this. All right, our demon priest over here is done with that. Now, unfortunately, we still do not have any territory that counts as mountains. So we're not getting any of our good demons anywhere but our capital, which stinks. It really stinks. Here's some mountains. Yeah, there's just nothing in this direction. So random map gen did not. In my test game, I had like four or five mountain provinces nearby. It was glorious. Yeah, we just don't have any. We got to get all the way over here. This land, this is the promised land. Okay, well, we carry on without then. So you play with what you get. That's part of the random, the randomness of it. Um, 
So I do think we want to do here. So I, I think we are committed to that attack. And then, so one turn, two turns, three turns, four. One turn, two turns, three turns. Okay, so we could take that territory and then turn around and make it back here. I think with two of our guys, Spectral Mage, Long Dead. If if we bring down all of our other troops into that fight, I think we could take that. A little bit dangerous. We don't have great magic support beyond our self-buffing, but I think we can do it. All right, so I'm going to have this Demon Priest start heading over there. Um... Gather up these demons. Yeah, he can, he can lead so many guys. He's got plenty of space left. Let's send him home, and he can pick up... I want to go this way. Pick up those extra troops from the capital, and then head down to the throne. You guys are coming here to search. All right. Um, Jotun warriors, Jotun, four huge giants. Those are their big sacred frost guys. The Sviv Dog, the Scrotty, who radiates power, that's probably their prophet. Alright, I don't see their god. Let's check what throne looks like near them. I think I'm going to have this guy... TNG is marching guys around. Let's actually go back and take another look at his area. Okay, you're going to go that way. Have you actually go that way. All right, my prophet. Now, somebody's going to have to claim the throne, and you need Holy Three to claim it. So for us, it's going to have to be our prophet. Our statue can't move, and I didn't take any teleports or anything that would let him. Um, I don't... There is a glamour ritual that lets me kind of like... At, like Astral projects a bad way to put it. Make an illusion of myself go do stuff, but I don't think they can claim things. So he's not going to be any help in that. So we're going to need our prophet over there to claim the throne. Yeah, I think we'll just go that way. I guess he also can search for air that other people can't do. He can do it over there. Yeah, maybe we'll have him come here. He can do an air search while he's waiting for that big battle to happen. We're recruiting some researcher. We're recruiting some researcher. I think that's all we got this turn. Stinks we lost that that guy. That that definitely says back. If we were at three guys, we'd be pretty golden right now. I mean, these guys are almost as expensive as a fort. So they're a huge investment for us. And then we just don't have any of that uh, free, free spawn demons that we were hoping for from the mountains. So we're just kind of limping in there with the little bit that we're getting. All right. Round two. See if our vengeance goes better. Now we did kill off quite a few of those Spetum guys, so that is also a consideration. These guys don't regen or recruit. Yeah, I, this. Yep, yeah, that was the most dangerous guy with his magic weapon. I think we're okay. Attack skill twelve. Our defense is currently thirteen. Morale 13. There's another one of those dangerous guys. I think we're going to be just fine this time. Confident enough to click it in the fast forward. The Berserk's helping him out a lot here too, actually, ironically. Normally I figured, ooh, we're starting to take that damage. Oh, and we went into ghost form. And we out. We out. <laughs> That's what should have happened last time. Frustrated, he got hit with a magic attack and died. So, all right, well, we didn't win again, but we did safely retreat. And we didn't get any lasting affliction. So, that is how that should have gone last time. But, there are less and less of them every time. So, okay, turn one, turn two, turn three. Turn one, turn two, turn three. Okay, we can make another attempt. We could make another attempt. We will take this place. Apparently, Bone Tribe are good against Dione. As a new piece of information to put away in my brain. Alright, search that for me. 
He's attacking there. He's moving over there. Um, you can actually search the wasteland. Wastelands have a decent chance of having magic sites, so check that while we're there. And come back this way. Another thing in multiplayer I would definitely do is I would have way more scouts. I would uh, that province we have where we can recruit them. In fact, I'm gonna grab one right now while I'm talking about it. I would probably have that on repeat. I would have scouts just everywhere, plaster the map so that you can see what's going on. But for me, for now, in single player, it's fine. Not overly worried about that. I'm not going to get super surprised by anything the AI does, I don't think. Or if I am, it'll be a pleasant surprise, so happy enough. All right, he's going there to pick people up. We've already got that recruit. Okay, she finished. We can't afford another one, so we're going to grab one. We have enough. Shoot, we have enough for a helmet. I don't think we have one in reserve, do we? No. All right. Um, I'm gonna search first. I'll craft next turn. Yeah, I can do it here because I have a lab here, so that's all right to do that over there. All right, Hanya found a magic site. Okay, I'm glad I did. Oh, okay. We found gem deposits, 128 income. Yes, that's what we need. That is what we need. Some more air and nature, supply points, and recruitment. So this place actually could do some decent recruiting. Yeah, 141. Uh, what I would recruit? Eh. Lion tribe archers? I guess, strength 10. They've buffed bows, I believe, where you get half your strength. I believe it used to be a third or a quarter. So if you have a little bit extra strength, it helps a lot on your bows. I'm, yeah, not really. Our recruitable troops are just so eh. Really don't care. But I'll take the extra gems. We have uh, plus one on nature now. So getting there, getting some. All right, so... We need to have him forge a helmet. She can research for a turn. She's researching. Recruiting another one. Dione is coming up here. Oh no. Oh no. That didn't go well. All right, well, let's see what happened. So here's us versus the independents. This territory is just cursed. Oh, this is not that fight. This is um, the one that happened over in the east. All right, so we are fighting hoplites. So very long weapon. So I don't think either one of us is going to be repelling each other. Okay, defense, a little lower than average. Average attack, decent protection, but we should be able to get through it. And lowish, normal lowish morale. So we should be fine there. I do want to see uh, is anyone doing repels. No, okay, so we're we're both equally uh, weapon length. A lot of awe going off. I like to see that. That's what we're built for. Morale's wavering and going down. Yep, and they're done. All right, went well there. All right, so here, okay, so they attacked first, I see. They waited for me to do all the hard work. All right, we haven't seen these guys. Let's take a look. So the, um, uh, I'm trying to think what these guys are called. H uh, Heldred, I think, is the name of the race. Hold things. Hildman. Yeah, so Norse dudes, essentially. But... They have Glamour. So Glamour. Units with this ability are able to cast illusions to alter their appearance. In battle, they mirror their own image while moving to make the appearance of common men. These units cannot be detected by enemies while moving in their own lands and are very difficult to spot when hiding. So that basically means we need to hit multiple times to get through that. And they all have it. 
So we've got sacreds here that are not blessed yet. I saw over here we got some Valkyries. They have a lance. Okay. Taking all my hard earned kills here. They're going to probably slaughter these guys. I think we're losing a little bit. Okay, we did see a bless go off. I think. Was that a bless or was that a. Yeah, okay, blessed to go off. I want to find somebody that got blessed. I want to see what they have. Attack plus one and withering weapons. That's probably how we die. So withering weapons will hit us and we'll just decay away. Plus one attack. So pretty light bless. That's, I think, fire and death. If memory serves me right. There's been some bless changes. And they just overran the rest of them. Okay. Now let's find out what happened to us. With all those magic weapons, they probably uh, could kill us in ghost form, too. We were not scripted to fight something like that. Alright, so we get our blessing off. We get our protection off. We get our temper flesh off. Okay, excellent. Let's see what happens here. Alright, the wolf... In fact, let's just go up this way. Alright, so we got all of our casts off except for the Skeletal Flesh. He tried to cast Lightning Resistance. He might still be working on that. Okay, zero, zero. Okay, they're failing some of their awe rolls. And when somebody plays I mean, you don't have to do this. I, this is just like really in the weeds, but I want to figure out why I'm having trouble here because I need to learn so I can fix the scripting or fix what I'm casting or fix different research goals so I know exactly what I need to be doing here. Okay, the fear is affecting him. That's good. Still getting lots of zeros. Valkyrie hit Dione in the leg for with a lance for one point of damage. Because she had charge that was able to increase the damage. He took three. Okay. So that's not bad yet. Just a tiny, tiny bit. They only get one chance on that charge attack. So once they've wasted those, they're not going to be able to hit me nearly as bad. What they'll probably end up doing is withering me, though. Did, yeah, there's the bless. I was going to say, I don't see people that are blessed. I think they only have to hit me. I don't think they have to... Yep. Decaying. There it is. You see that it is aging at an extremely fast rate and will die within minutes. And for an Oni... We do live a long time. Thousand. But... We're 915. Let's wait a second here and see how old we get. We get two rounds. That is ironically a very good counter <laughs> to my strategy of these guys. So he's 920 now. Yeah. So those will be a pain. Those will be a pain. And that's a permanent thing. Like you can't stop decaying. So he will he will die. Once you fail your magic resist roll to that, you are a dead man walking. Getting hit with some illusionary damage too, I think. Who could be doing that? I think that's what that different color meant. Yeah, there's the withering weapon. Maybe that's just the withering weapon signifier. He's trying to smite demon on me, too. Five hit points left. He's 955 years old. So cursed. Yep, he goes into ghost form. But they have magic weapons, so they, they kill him. Man, that territory over there. The two woods is just misery, apparently. All right, well... I don't, th because we bumped into each other, that doesn't technically declare war, but I'm declaring war. <laughs> Guy just ruined my plans completely there. I guess we'll preach. That's what I to do there. 
All right, throw up our province defense. Well, we're not going to be able to take that with just one guy, so we'll head over here. Uh, he's building. He's forging. Oops. Okay, he's going to collect. Now, do you guys not have a ranged weapon? Okay, you do. You have. You're the really good guys. Poison or poison spit and flames. So those are super nice. All right, those are all good to go. I think we're heading this way because we may need to defend ourselves. I'm starting to think I might just need to uh, put out some temples in other places, even though I was trying to hold out for mountains. Like we had a little bit here. There's one, two, but it's going to be a while before we get there. So I think we're going to at least head over here and maybe put one down. All right, we're going to start bringing scouting that direction. Down there. I think we're just going to post up here. Just kind of keep an eye on where TNG is moving troops around. Profit. Well, now I'm not going to need to claim that throne, so maybe I don't want him going that direction. I think we'll come over here and we'll put up a temple. Because I need to get some free spawn started and I need temples to do that. Right now we've only got one here and one here. So maybe that was a mistake. I was too too focused on just trying to get the mountain. And I should have just accepted the bad terrain and started building. That's alright. How are we on research? Alt 5. Mini turns out. In fact, we may not go to Alt-6 right now. I think we are we need the power boost. Alt-6 is going to take forever. End of Weakness is really good. But I think I need to get the Flame Shield first. That's like an immediate, like, give me power. Okay. Next turn, he'll have a helmet. Getting some more research. All right, go we'll on it. Messenger arrives from TNG. They declare war on me. Oh, okay. And Yomi. Right, this is the one we we're expanding into. What are you guys, heavies? He bronze, bronze using heavy infantry. So they've got 12. So. Bronze isn't as good as iron or steel or other magical things, but it is metal gear, so it is pretty decent. For this time period, that's kind of high-end, like, human troop. But I don't think we'll have any problem with these guys. We'll, we'll hack right through them. Yeah. Having 12 protection when you're fighting somebody who hits for 39 doesn't really do much. I'm still going to one-shot their, uh, how much HP do you technically have? 10 HP. They're getting hit with their own slingers, too, quite a bit. Yep, okay. That went well, at least. Unexpected event. Fire gem, air gem, water, and earth. A magical bird of wondrous colors was found. Small gems were hidden in its feathers. Nice. Okay. All right, I am going to keep expanding with this guy. I am going to at least pretend that I'm going to get some of these mountains. And then over here, you build me a temple. And you build me... Well... Or I could queue up another Oni. I think we're going to wait a turn. Uh, search here. You, uh... I don't know. Breach. Even though it's not going to do anything. I'm going to recruit another Oni. I just need those so badly. I need you forge me another helmet. All 
I need to search too, but I, I just, I have to get troops on. I've lost, lost far more than I thought. I figured we'd lose maybe one during expansion, so I was not expecting this amount of attrition for the Diones. I, so, it's so Dominions that they just happen to have the withering weapons. If they had had basically anything else, I think we would have been fine. Maybe solar weapons, which are kind of an anti-demon undead thing. Maybe that would have given me a run for my money. Right, head that way. Another scout. Alright, roll that turn. Once we get to that Alteration 5 and we get Soul Vortex, I think we'll be just fine. That'll give our Oni a way to heal themselves and hurt people at the same time, and it'll be automatic. So, we just have to survive until then, at least. Oh, nice. He found a magic site. He did. Sparkling Fields. We actually have a surprisingly good error income. Surprisingly good. In fact, in two turns, I could actually uh, empower somebody if I wanted. All right. Um. I don't really want to put temples over here because I feel like they're going to be aggressive. I can't put them out here because these guys will be coming at me momentarily. I am. I do think I'm going to be aggressive. I'm just going to attack him. I want that territory. If we could get our Dominion up, we can keep the river from freezing and he won't be able to come over. He'll have to fight at my fort. Yeah. And over here, you helmet. Oh, here, look. Blade of Grass. Draws blood. Okay, I don't think that's better than our Nodachi for him, but that could be better for somebody else, so I have to remember I have one of those. And Timber Flesh, Hold Hold, Attack Closest. What kind of troops are you mostly using? Five Elements, Footmen, Medium Footmen. Alright, I need to double check. I think those do some piercing? Oops, not us. TNG. Footman and Heavy Footman. Yeah, that is piercing. It's only 13. Heavy Footman, piercing 13. Okay. I am probably going to need to deploy this guy in that direction. So I want him scripted to fight them just in case. I think I will include a skeletal body. Since that seems to be their main damage type. And... Yeah, go over there as fast as you can. Unexpected event. Oh, there it is. A magic item has been found and transported to the Arcane Laboratory. An unexpected event happened in Uden. Corruption flourishes. Province income decreased. A strange dark rent has appeared in the sky. Hope, wonder, and magic drains. Ugh. Worldwide, drain plus two, worldwide, misfortune plus one. Ouch, that's yucky. And they discovered my scouts. That's all right. I don't think that should have declared war. That's yucky. Um, yeah, that did lower our magic skills. Hopefully we'll bounce back from that pretty quickly. All right, we have an extra helmet built. Let's get out and... Searching before this gets too dangerous over here. I think we're going to stop our recruit. We're going to get another demon general just to have a second one ready. Um, yeah, our capital. We can't build Dione anywhere but our capital. So we're kind of stuck almost in that we just our capital has to be building those because if we're not building them there, we're not getting them. And our Prophet, I need to be careful with him. I don't want him dying. It takes a while for you to be able to make a new one. I think we'll just hover around back here for now. How close are we to five? Okay, a few turns out, like four turns. Getting there. 
We're getting there. All right, there was a battle in two woods. Let's see if our revenge is complete. All right, it's cold. I don't think anyone here is particularly cold, like weak, but we would prefer hot because we use fire damage, so that helps that. And we would prefer them not to have what they like. And I think, I don't know, they're not particularly needing the cold, but they they will prefer cold, so his encumbrance will be a little higher. All right, this looks like it's just uh, province defense, so I don't imagine we'll lose this. I'm feeling like this fighting force could probably have killed what killed our Dione. Just, they wouldn't have been able to kill us the same way with the withering. Yeah, watch the friendly fire there, boys. Nice, set that guy on fire. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, now, we were being aggressive here because we want, a fort, we want to put a fort up here. So, that's what we're going to do. We'll immediately start building a palisade. He's going to come in behind and build a temple. We... I guess we already know that we won. I think maybe we'll just... Oh no, these are a different type of troop. Let's watch that one. These are Abyssians. That's another uh, nation that survives all three ages. And very fun to play. They're kind of straightforward. It's like, they're not made of lava, but imagine like lava men in heavy plate armor. So, that radiate fire. These are actually kind of dangerous. A flail that does 19 damage. He's two-handing it, so hits pretty darn hard. They're fire resistant. They're, they put out heat, so that's what that smoke is, is a heat aura. They have some dark vision, okay. Got a salamander here that basically is going to like burst into flames and attack us with that. A dual axe wielding commander. Oh, and they have a nasty mage back here. Lucidor, the adept of Piraflegitum. Say that four times fast. He's got a Firebrand for some reason, so he's got a cool magic weapon. Does a area of effect fire attack, that'd be super nice for some of our dudes. Three fire, heat resistance. I wonder if this province is going to let me recruit those, that'd be nice. Alright, see how this goes. We're not reliant on fire damage to do our thing, so... Them having fire resist doesn't worry me, and their armor... Protection 17 is some of the best in early age, if not the best, but they're fighting a dude that does 36 damage. So unfortunately for them, that's not going to make the difference. Let's kill, kill the Salamander before he even gets to attack. And we have some fire resist. Yeah, 10 fire resist, so I don't even think their Hedar is going to particularly bother us. Lots of awe going off, I'm seeing. The mortal troops are getting lit on fire by their own. Oh, he's summoning fire elementals. I've heard that elementals were nerfed. This used to be not an oppressive strategy, but a very viable strategy was to rush summoning elementals. This cost him some of those gems he had. So it's got flame strike. So it does an area of effect one attack. So that's everyone in one square gets hit with it. It's magic and fire. He is ethereal, but we have a magic weapon, so that's not going to bother us. Has a spirit form. Okay, so he can't be buffed with certain things. That's fine. He has a fire shield. Uh, that could hurt us, but we have that so much fire resist, I don't think it's going to be a problem. See how this plays out. It's it's mindless, so it doesn't care about our fear or our awe. So he will actually sit there and attack us. It'd be nice if we'd target that. Get rid of it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, here comes in the last of their stuff. We've got the commander here, who's just routed. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, cool fight. Better than... I'd say better than I expected, but I did expect to win that one. So, good, good. Glad that those guys couldn't get into there.
they could have actually hit him and done damage, so it's good to see that they didn't. It's almost worse than having your guy die. Having your guy get some sort of permanent wound. Really, guys? All right, well, Providence defense is not going to be able to fight organized troops like that. So where was that one? Okay, that's over here. All right, well, unfortunately, I came here to search, and we're just going to have to straight up run away. Have him come over here. He'll be out next turn. Do I actually want some guys? I could get so few. It's not even worth it. These aren't so bad. I just want some people in my fort uh, to defend it in case I need to have a turn to get over there with him to kill everybody. They'll probably go here to try to kill my mages. That's what I would do. Alright, we got another one up. Give him his helmet. Give him his scripting. We did use the modified one with the skeletal body. And then hold. I'm come back here. Right, he will march towards there. I think we could probably kill T and Chi with two guys, unless they've got the magic up and running. And I haven't seen their mages, so I don't know what they've got for that. Move that direction, I think. All right, over here. Move up there, just in case we have to help over here. Get our... Oh, we have exactly zero gold. Perfect. All right, if I'm attacking here, I don't need to have a scout here. Let's go down that way. We've got one here. Well, no. Let's go here, and hopefully we'll be able to catch some of their non-glamoured troops if they come in, and we'll have a little bit of warning that they're on their way. And let this guy come down here. Roll the turn. All right, there's a battle in Higoria. Let's take a look. This is our uh, Dione attacking. I think we can speed through this. I don't think this is going to be anything too surprising. Now again, these guys, I mean, they have the, the chance. 24 damage is definitely doable. Like, they could they could get in there and do some damage, but they don't have the morale, I think, with our Bless. Yeah, look at that. They're already failing all those odds. Like, that many attacks right there could have probably wounded me. You get a um, penalty here. Harass penalty based on number of things attacking you. Another way that big guys tend to die is you just get harassed until you lose all your defense. But having that awe, they're not getting a lot of attacks off. Like, you'll see them swing their weapon when they do. Like, he just did. He just did. But, yeah, they just got nothing. Yep, that's exactly how that should function. And we got one of their leaders. Nice. Alright, so for him... He's up to level four. That's super nice. Getting that extra. I believe we have an incurrent encumbrance reduction. Yep, that's really good. You get this encumbrance when you attack or when you cast spells on top of any other encumbrance you would already have. So very good to get that lowered. I, I very rarely had non-god troops get to this, this high in experience. So having that glamour heroism is really nice. I quite like that. All right, um, we're, we're so broke. We have a little bit of money this turn, but I don't know if I want to spend that because I need a temple here, and I really do need that temple because I want to get rid of his dominion. I think we will spend the six. We're not seeing anybody over here, just some skeletons? Yeah, just some skeletons. I think over here we're going to continue this. Really want to get temples in those mountains. Start getting some better troops. Alright. We're going to post that guy there. 
right, you're attacking. TNG, you started this. I just want it noted. I am not the aggressor here. All right, the medium footman, footman, warriors of the five element, a noble commander seem towering over there. They have well organized defense. Nothing there should scares me particularly. I am going to move him here. We'll just see what he's got over there. Okay, um, over here. I think we'll just site search. Over here, searching. He's moving up. Uh, can't afford one of him. We do need another guy to build helmets, so I am going to grab one of these more expensive guys. Even though it's fall. We'll keep moving on from there. All right, there it is. There it is. Finally, finally. All right, that's a whole new world for us now. I'll show you that with our, when we can script our next battle. Found a site, found a site. There's a battle, let's check it. All right, this should just be independence. Nothing too crazy. Heavy, some lights, some archers. I think we'll just, yeah, I'm not even gonna watch this one. I know the outcome of this. Very nice, just double check. Killed nine, they ran away. Oh, here we go. Seeing Maverni fight something. All right, so what are you bringing around? Um, this looks like some mercenaries that he's hired. Oh, friend, I don't think those mercenaries are going to be able to get through those. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Okay. Um, Battle on Erd. Okay, this is going to be our Dione attacking T and Chi. Were they still here? Yes. Okay. Alright, their commander leads from the front. Brave, but possibly foolish. Uh, I see he just cast Earth Meld, so I need to double check his scripting. I don't think he should have done that. We have what we need, though. We have Temper Flesh off, and we have... Uh, personal iron skin. These warriors get blessed? They did. What do they have? Shock resistance, plus one defense, and some combat speed. So air and water is his magic paths. And those are not magic weapons, so he can't. Not too worried. I'd like him to kill their whoops, commander right away. Just give him that morale debuff. Let's see how it goes. Okay, somebody got a hit through. Who actually got a hit through? Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, so lots of not. Warrior of the Five Elements hit the Dione in the leg with his short sword for one damage. So he tied the awe roll. I failed to repost with my sword. Made the attack roll. Uh, it's a piercing weapon, so it, it reduced my armor a little bit. He rolled 16 plus 8, and I rolled 19 plus 2. Well, so I basically just low rolled it. Okay. Not too worried about that. If they had a bless that had something extra on it, that might be a little more worrisome. Okay, we killed the chariot, but the noble is still alive. Okay. So we'd really like to kill him if at all possible. See what he's been doing. So he's been taking fear. He tried to attack. We repelled him. He passed his route check, probably because we killed his mount. Oh no! Uh, no, he he was just he was just trying to route for no reason. Nice. He was just scared, and then he fell off his mount for two damage. <laughs> Perfect. I can't wait to have somebody fall off a horse and, like, break their neck and die. That's going to be my luck. All right, let's roll this one. I don't think we're in for a surprise here. Maybe a little slower. I just want to see if those glaives can hit me. Let's take a peek at one of those. Not him. Not any of those. Oh, I guess it was him. 22 with piercing and slashing. So... 
could. Yeah, there's a two that just came through. All right, so not bad, but they can they can high roll me a little bit. I think we're fine. Yeah, still 25 left. I'm seeing most of their leadership dead. Here's the last one. Oh, this is sketchier than I thought. Down to six. Down to five. Ugh, down to two, and we're trying to run away. We can't run because people are in our way, and when you, you're like just trying to run straight when you route like that. So he should try to run now. Yeah. Well, they didn't get him to ghost form. What do you end that? One HP. Exactly the amount he needed. All right. So with that scripting, we didn't have quite enough killy power. We were just too slow. That's all going to change, though, now that we have alt 5. That's good, not going to happen again. All right. Um, unexpected event happened in two woods. Got a bunch of unrest. Huh. Somebody was discovered okay, over there. New famous hero. Okay, let's fix our scripting. All right, so we need to bless ourselves. We need iron skin. We need temper flesh. So we are at zero fatigue, 20 fatigue, 40 fatigue, and then Oh, we could change to invulnerability. Invulnerability is 25. Iron skin is only 20. But invulnerability is defeated by magic weapons. Uh, I, for these guys, I feel like their their protection's high enough that that doesn't matter. I'm not worried about that. Um, did I miss? Did I misread something there? I thought we had uh, soul vortex. Was that not until six? Oh, it wasn't. Shoot. Okay, well. Um, I think I am going to go with enchantment anyways. We need that fire shield. Whoops. We need that fire shield, and then we'll have to come back for alteration. Darn it. Okay, well. That's not nearly as cocky as I should have. I shouldn't have got cocky there. We went through this earlier. All right, and I do still want to have... I should make a second save here, because we want skeletal body, just based on what weapons they're using. Let's put that in number two. No, oh, I also don't have him far enough back. That probably would have helped. Um, he didn't take any wounds, though, right? Yeah, so he's still fresh. That was not good, but it could have been worse. All right, over here, let's check his scripting. Make sure it's good. It is. Go ahead and put have on these guys. Um, cast spell, skeletal body. And then we are going to advance and cast spells. All good to go there. I think we'll move these guys up to him. We're not going to have him go into combat or anything yet, but I just I need somebody back here to move troops around just in case. And did we find sites? Yeah, we did find one. So it has a mage here. Uh, death and air, and the mage that it could recruit is air, fire, earth. Not bad. And he could get into two. Okay, so those are really nice. I would like a lab here. That's how nice those are. Um, I do think, however, I'm going to send her over to do it. And we are going to continue on our searching. Do we have a helmet ready? We don't. I built you specifically so that you could forge us helmets. Uh, we have enough for another Oni. We are somewhat back in the cache, so I will take another one of her. Over here, he can preach up to two candles because we have uh, the temple here, so I will do that. Try to get that up and running. Got our six. We got our six. All right. Um, I, I was going to be happy with just attacking Nephilim and being like, well, screw you guys. But now I am at war on two directions. I don't want to make it a third. So I'm just going to hop over here. 
or do I need to keep one guy in this neighborhood? Let's site search and we'll see what they do. If they want to bump into me, what do you have? Jotun Warriors, eight giants. I don't know if, if I could 1v8 plus an army. I think I'll chance it though. We need to see how that combat goes. And what's this guy doing? He's scouting TNG. I think I'm gonna have my profit go over here and cause he can preach higher and see if we can turbocharge that up. All right, and back one. All right, and we'll roll the turn. All right, we got our first level of enchantment done. Our research is absolute garbage. This is not okay. He searched for sites. He found a nature site that would let me summon spiders. Eh. Oh, eh. Don't really care about that. Battle of Erd. This is us on the offense. I do kind of want to see how this goes. I want to. I really want to get a feel for these glaives. Ouch. Okay, th this is their profit, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Don't like that. Yeah, yeah, everyone run. Let me kill his profit before. Darn it. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, demons, there's, there's some spells that specifically target demons, and they're rather effective. So, good to know. All right, over here, we may not need to watch this one. Oh no, there's enough here to, to check it out. This is where their army moved, I think. I'm still seeing him cast things though. Why are you casting all those things? I don't I don't like that. You have way too much fatigue going into this. Forgot to double check that. Yeah, it's getting that chip damage just a little bit. Oh, and he actually retreats. All right, well, I'm okay with retreating as long as we're not dying or taking grievous wounds, so. And, oh, Helheim's coming over. Eek, I do not want my Dione bumping into these. Okay, don't need to watch that. We know we lost that. And then Yomi, population left, not good. All right, what to do here is now the question. Because I really do not want to fight those guys. They're just going to do the same thing they did to them last time. I think we're going to pull back one. And we're going to try to engage. Well, maybe we will just try to engage. If they move deeper, we can chase. Oops. Let's go pick up troops, I think. We may need that secondary army out, out and on the move. Okay, another one's coming there. He should be safe enough to get in here if he goes that way. We will have him take over the fort construction. And we'll throw some extra defense here. This isn't really going to change anything, but just have something. Okay, let's keep making helmets so I always have a spare. You can wait. All right, you head up in there. You, or is it time to double up? No, I don't think it's time to double up yet. Go up there. I want to try to just knock his income down. Most of, he's paying a lot of gold for all his troops, unlike us, so we want to deprive him of the ability to have that. Get our search in there. You were coming here to build a lab because we found cool mages. They're going to be really slow to recruit over there, but it, it is what it is, I suppose. Hide and wait. Roll turn. Forgot to check the scripting again. 
shoot. Having all that extra fatigue when they hit combat's not good. All right, level two of enchantment done. Getting up towards that fire shield. Uh, didn't find any sights here. There. All right, there was a battle, so we we attacked. I don't know if we caught the troops though. No, that's like defense. Uh, over on the east side, this is attacking uh, TNG. Okay, that's province defense. I they can't they can't beat me. Let's double check what the results of that were. Yeah, we killed them. They ran away. Uh, they attacked two woods. Ah, oh, okay, I see. All right, this I don't know how this is gonna go. Especially those Valkyries, they're gonna fly in here or here, I bet. And they'll kill, I mean, those guys have no chance. I guess they have awe. <laughs> Maybe they've got that going for them. Okay, I'm not seeing them. Did the Valkyries not? Or does this group not have any? Okay, this is a different, this is a different army group, I see. Okay, so what do we have? We have Huskarls of Helheim. Their big thing here is they've got some glamour. Does that, is that negated by anything? Okay, it doesn't say that it is, because do we have any special sight? We have spirit sight. Darkness and invisible units. Okay, so the glamour is not, not that. Okay, he's putting up, summoning some skeletons in for us, it's something. They're doing ashes to ashes, so there must must be these guys over here they were fighting. Okay, we have some fire damage coming in. Our guys are doing okay. A lot of them are ghosts already, I'm seeing. You don't have a magic weapon, no. What about you? No. Uh, withering weapons? It's not magic, though. Okay. Magic is like a specific tag. It's not just if you have magic damage, then it does magic. Is that a Bane Lord? Yeah, Bane. Oh, just a Bane. Those are pretty nasty. Magic. Um, what else do you have? Yeah, Decay on that too. You guys are loving that Decay. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay, yeah, that went well. That went pretty well. Happy with these guys? They're, they're holding up pretty well. We really need to get more temples. We need to just be spawning those guys all over the place. And over here, I think we probably just... Yeah, we did end up having to kill quite a few, but that's okay. Throw in our defense here. Throw in our defense here. All right, and up, and up. I think we're just gonna try to choke them out. They started this, that's all I wanna say. All right, and I think, I think this guy's going underground. I think we're gonna try to Expand out. We still need, we just need some more income, and this will be a number one, I think. Please leave your Oni at the door. Also, I think we stopped spawning those because I ran out of room, so I should move those. Uh, he's coming up there. She built the lab. Build me one of these, please. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. All right, and then she can go back. Okay, we did repel him. He's still building the palace. I don't really want to go on the offensive because I don't want to get this guy withered like the other one was. I think we'll search here too. Alright, so we're moving up there so our scouts can move up. I think we'll patrol. They could have troops stealthed in here, or they could have scouts in here watching me. I, 
either way, I'd like that not oops, not to be the case. Uh, oh, got a few Oni. Pop them in here. And how many helmets are we sitting on now? Just one. Okay, keep building. More helmets. Don't have enough gems. More research. We have not found a single Earth gem site. That hurts a lot. Uh, even if we just had one, that would make a big difference. That stinks that we have not found that. We've got good death, and death is pretty useful. So, in fact, we haven't checked in on death in a while. Let's check our rituals. Anything in here that we want. Um, servant could be a decent scout. That's not really going to help. Uh, a king wouldn't be bad. That's like a, like a skeleton king, and he can lead around demons and undead. So that's not bad. We could summon him in rather than having to do ghost generals. But I don't want this mage. There's We could have her do that. I think I will actually summon in one of those. Just to have somebody to move troops around. Yeah. Okay, I am going to throw up the description here. And I'm just going to take a quick bathroom break, and I will be right back. If you have any questions, please feel free to type them out, and I'll answer them when I get back. Okay, refilled my tea. We're ready to continue our conquest of the world. All right. Now, <laughs> before we forget yet again, what is going on with his scripting? Why is he choosing to cast spells? I think it's happening on this hold command. Don't feel like it should be, though, because there's hold or cast spell. Set to attack closest. What about you? Same thing, okay. So they're just going off script there. They think they know better, which does happen. Sometimes they do go off script if they can't do it or there's like some logic behind there. They're not like automatons. There is some decision making at the individual unit level. Okay, um, I'm gonna search that. I think our turn is good to roll. Can't afford him. Grabbed another researcher. We're heading below 
I'm gonna attack these guys. 40 pale ones. These are the Agarthans, the like worm people things. <laughs> I really like them. Um, I think they're just gonna have bronze weapons. I'm not expecting anything too crazy there. And I'm also not seeing anyone down here, so I think we're gonna try to gobble up this territory and really dig in so that Oh, there is somebody over here, but that maybe that's not connected, I don't know. I think I set it to one big world, though. So maybe it's good that we're getting down here when we are. Alright, let's go ahead and roll that. Alright, we revived a king, we searched for magic sites, didn't find any. We attacked T and Chi. What do we got? Mostly PD. What are you guys? Footmen. And also footmen, but with a pike. So he could actually repel us. Alright, let's peek at this battle, I think. Just want to see how that goes. I'm not too worried about their repels. Um, we don't have to kill people to win. We just have to not die to win. So. Yeah, that's going just fine. Oh, except for, did you hit? Oh, he resisted. Okay, good. I was going to say, hit me with a weakness there, or tried to. Trying to hit me with decay. Yeah, get out of there, buddy. He's got decay. You don't want any of that. Who are you? A master of the dead. Okay. All right, that's fine. I am totally fine whittling down troops and leaving without any permanent wounds or maladies or aging or anything crazy. All right, this is us in the Mines of Despair, our first underground. So as a demon, we have 100% dark vision, so this is not a negative. However, Agarthans are also native here. They have dark vision 100 also. So kind of a wash on that one. Speed this up. These are... Let's see, bronze spears, sticks and stones. I don't remember them having sticks and stones. That might be new. If that is, that's actually a pretty decent buff. Because sticks and stones, not a good attack, but when you're throwing it into lightly armored troops, it's just so many attacks that maybe you get something. And these guys, they are strength 12, so you can throw a rock pretty hard. Maybe get a lucky glancing hit or something. All right, just chopping straight through people here. Yeah, looks fine. Yep, okay, we're out of here. All right, that was a good victory. Uh, Battle of the Long Nights. This is our other TNG attack. Ah, okay, some, some amphibious troops. Nothing I'm overly worried about. Not the shrub. Yeah, you're used to having those on the battlefield. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Stone spear, yeah. Nothing, nothing I'm worried about. There's that prophet again. I am a little worried about that. Hopefully we will get them to route. Ideally, I want to get in there and, and take a swing at that prophet. I would like him to not be here anymore. Yeah, we fatigued out. Oh, and we took a wound, a chest wound. Oh, and we went ghost form and ran away. All right, all right. You win again, prophet. And... That's yeah, a different one. Oh, this is T and Chi attacking somewhere else. Yeah, they're gonna win that. And don't even need to see that. All right, something happened to Yomi. Adventurers have plundered the lair of a hideous troll. Their leader has been hanged, and all unlawfully acquired goods has been confiscated. <laughs> I'll teach you to be a hero in the lands of the Oni Kings. Thank you for the money. I need that. Killed a bunch of bandits. We got our fortification up. Very good. Okay, you preach. Let's get this cold out of here. And then you 
construct a lab. Okay, what can we get here? Bone Tribe Hunter. Sacred with a club that deals magic damage. Goes Berserk. Okay, and with our awe, that wouldn't be bad. He's got a little bit better HP than normal. I, that's not a miserable group. We're going to struggle to bless them. They're going to run away. Okay, the Brone Tribe Hunter. It's whatever. It's this guy, I think. Yeah. 20. Has the Javelins. I do kind of like that troop. How... Yeah, let's get a few of those. And up here, mm, does have fortune teller. I don't think we're too entranced with those though. I think we need to stick to our good researchers. All right, then we're gonna have our demon priest come over here. And try to build a temple. I think we're going to have you. I think you're going to come up here and site search. We really, really would like to find some earth gems. I'm very disappointed that we haven't found any. All right, so we're struggling over here more so than I thought we were going to. We really need to get our research moving. Like, this is just not acceptable. I think for this turn... I think we're actually going to play one turn on defense. We'll let them come to us, and if we retreat back, then we'll have fire shield and we can move forward. Didn't think I would have to say that in the uh, comp stomp game. All right, you guys, and you stay behind troops in case he gets caught. His job is basically just to ferry troops around. I don't want him leading him into battle. He's not very good. Okay, that mage is recruiting. You guys are searching. I guess we have been searching with an Earth 1 mage, so you can only find easy sites like that. Maybe that's what's going on with us not finding things. Alright. Demon General. Nice. Okay. Um, let's save those troops. Bring these guys in. Just some shock troops here, essentially. Colonies here. These guys behind the colonies. That way they can kind of fill in as things die or empty spots. Skeletal body and then spells, that's fine. Let me move him up a little. Put him in here at the Things that aren't going to die instantly. All right, where do we want to send these guys, though? They're not particularly good, but we could take empty provinces. Now, let's head this way. Don't have any other free spawn anywhere of interest. View over here. Yeah, okay, these are the cold version of our special spawns. So, eh. They're okay. The fire ones, I think, are better, though. This one doesn't have a ranged attack. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think that's a ranged attack, so... I do think the fire ones are better. Alright, um... He's gonna build a lab. We're gonna move up with our scout. Up with our scout. Throw our defense in down here. Let's see. Drip cave. Excellent resources. Cave forest. High income, low resources, more magic forests. Or more magic sites. Okay. I think we're going to go here to cut that direction off. 
Yeah. Research, where are you at? Next turn we will have Flame Shield, okay. You research, he's defending. Let's actually do a patrol. Just to see if there's any scouts around, try to catch them. Defend, defend, this should be fine. I guess we'll just put them on patrol. Same diff re here, really. Okay, our research is coming. We have some money. Where else would we want to put a fort? Down here? I think this would be my other fort location. It's on mountain. It's too away from anything else we're going to use. Yeah, you... Oh, he's going to fort back... Or he's going to temple back there. That's fine. Um, change of plans. You, head on this way. I don't want to have my troops move out of here yet. Don't feel like that's solid enough to hold. Okay, let's roll that turn on. Alright, got that research finally. Oh, we found a magic site. And something else happened here that makes me nervous. Guard of Bones. Okay, just more death. More death. Still good. Any, any site's better than no site. There's a battle in the cave realm. Probably not going to need to watch this one, but I'm just to see what, what the armies look like. Yeah, not going to watch that one. That's, that's about as, probably as easy as we're going to find down there. Battle in Erd. This is another hotly contested area. So this is them attacking. This is us on the defense. It's quite the little raid party he's got there. It's interesting. Nice. Okay. Unexpected event in Mir. Assassination attempt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's watch that. These are new. Uh, we had assassination attacks, but now they happen in different areas. Okay, so this one's like just a foresty area, not a building. And he's attacked by a long dead. Have anything special? No. Somehow he survived, though. Tempered flesh and just killed him. <laughs> okay. Brightwood got some gold. Killed some brigands. Killed some brigands. Okay. Not bad. I think that triggered because of the Garden of Bones. Alright, so he needed to search. Right, we've got our lab up here. Now we can start getting those. I'm going to let some of these build up. Do I need him to sit here? He could command troops if he had to, even if he's not great at it. Yeah, we're going to have him come down here and he's going to start on that next one. Searching. He was going to build temple. Starting to get some more infrastructure up. That's going to really start accelerating us here. I feel like I should have built those temples earlier. I was, I was being stubborn. I wanted mountains because they're the best and... If I had built like a temple here, or a temple here, here, or no, here, here, and here, like right away at the beginning, we'd have hundreds more Oni than we have now. Even if they're the, the little guys, they're way better than I thought. So, yeah, I would have preferred to have those than nothing. Would have definitely made back the 900 gold for three temples at this point. Okay, we got our level three. Let's go fix our scripts. So... We're going to take, I think we're removing skeletal body. How much are you? 20, 20. We need fire shield. Another 20. So that's at 60 already. And then we'll be recouping a little bit in there. But I think we're just going to hold one turn and attack closest. So this is going to be our new number one. You... Number one, and you, number one, and you, number one, 
Now, depending on what paths they have, there could be some more customization. Like, he could do some air shields and whatnot, but I just don't need that at the moment. Um, what I am casting is what I want. All right, and this should help quite a bit. Now, unfortunately, you only have long weapons, which I think helps countered, counter the uh, fire shield, but they'll be fine. That'll just give them another way to poke away at people that are trying to be annoying. All right, and these going to come in here and try to fill the gap. Temple building, he's moving down, searching, moving. We will wait here. Yeah, T and she, I think, made a mistake. I think they declared war on me because they found the scout in the territory they attacked and then found him instantly. So I'm not really saying that was my fault. They don't know I wouldn't have moved him out. I wouldn't have, but... Still, I think that was their mistake, because it looks like they're getting attacked from the other side, too. I think I think that's what Helheim's been busy doing, is attacking them also. That's why it's led up over here. Um, yeah, so I think that was a big oops on their part. I, I think that was a major mistake. All right, you attacking here. Oh, Lanka. Oh, they, they were able to recruit those underground merc mercenaries I kept wanting to recruit. Okay, um, I'm not too worried about that, but I don't like them having territory right next to my, my base. Let's roll that turn. A lot of battles going on in the world. All right, found three magic sites. Forest of the Dead, Lilium Vale, and Sparkling Fields. Yet again, no Earth. I'm getting a little bit worried that we're not going to have, we're not going to have any, because we're running out of places to search. Right. Really having a, a Dione do search duty is a waste, but I am that desperate. I really, really need that. I'm actually going to up this because I have a temple here. Okay, uh, check this. See how our new scripting goes, hopefully. No, that's just PD. Okay. All right, Zots are interesting. You can play these guys um, as a nation. Uh, they are Shabulba, Zabulba. They are really cool. They're like little Batman. Um, they're super weak. Uh, they have interesting weapons, though. Obsidian Club Sword are like um, Machaka or Machalaka, whatever that South American. Like, it's a wooden weapon with, like, obsidian spikes on it, essentially. Kind of interesting, even if they're not the best. Uh, they do a lot of, like, blood magic and whatnot, so they could be gross. They're also undergrounders. I only got Blessing off before they hit, so that was a little worrisome. And fire shield. Now, now let's see what this does. So we should see them damaging themselves as they attack. Of course, they also have to get through awe. So they have to pass an awe, then try to attack. They could get repelled. They could hit me, but also have the fire hit them back. So just gives me more damage output that doesn't require attacks. And since I'm always outnumbered on these guys, that's really nice. Just a nice, easy victory there. Didn't think that one would change. All right, now let's see what our actual... These are the actual battles I'm interested in. All right, so this is TNC. Looks like just Providence defense. Still want to see how this goes. All right, so this is full scripting. Everything went off perfectly. He didn't get interrupted. What are you, a Holberg? Little Holbergs. They're like little hobbits, basically. All right, well, you guys stand no chance. I think they're just going to get destroyed. Yeah. All right. No, nothing to see on that one, unfortunately. I want to see one of those comparable armies that we were struggling with. Um, this isn't really the same troops, unfortunately. All right. Kill some of these commanders before the rest of the guys get here. Let's see how this goes.
Alright, killed the one guy, but unfortunately it wasn't the commander. <clears throat> okay, I, I already hear bad things coming. It's good old prophets here, I see. Alright, we did kill both those commanders, though, so that will help, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. We saw some fire go out that time. A whole bunch of them got hit with it. 33 HP. These long dead he sends at me are susceptible to fire, so that'll be another good one just to clear things out. Still having that chip damage come through. I think he's got one smite into me. What are you guys? Clayman, okay. They do regenerate. These are like clay statues that they brought to life. Again, though, I'm seeing a lot of healing, which means they're taking damage. And if they're taking damage, they're probably getting hit by the fire. We most of the time kill things we hit. Yeah, that fire shield made all the difference there. Still retreated. Maybe I need to start hitting him with the um, attack slash morale buff spell. Also could be a way to get get around that. I'm actually kind of okay with them retreating like that, though. Uh, as long as they get out safely, I'm okay. Found some fire gems. All right. Also, we could just start doubling up. We could move in as a team. I think we'll go to those two. Hopefully their army will move here and not catch us. Let's have you come in on that. We'll double up. That'll definitely kill that. Still recruiting that guy. Get our defense selected here. Uh, this was the guy who took the wound, right? No, this is different. Battle Fright. Huh, I wonder when that one happened. Don't care for that. That lowers his morale by a decent chunk, so... Wouldn't be surprised if he left. These are much easier fights than everyone else is having to do. Long Dead, Bakimono Show, Spectral Mages... Yeah, I don't think I can take that solo. Trample around here some more, though. Alright, um... I think you're gonna wait. No, oh, you can move back there and then wait. You can move up here and then wait. PB. Don't like that these guys got through here because they might rampage around. I can get another Dione queued up. We are starting to see some money. All right, we do have one helmet. Let's get him to forge another helmet. Oh, we're out of gems. That's right. Okay. Still have one helmet, so I can do him. And the next one I can build one more. Research, research. Got researcher, got researcher. We're still like 10 months out. That's pretty rough. I feel like we also could have done a better job of getting faster research. I don't know how, but I definitely could have played that better. We got the early Ford at least, so that was something. It's just they're slow to recruit. They take two turns, so if I'm not getting in the capital, that's so bad. Right, he's going to move here and start building. That's all good. They're searching there. He's coming to reinforce that fort build. Kind of want to get this cleared and done. Okay. We haven't seen anyone else claim a throne, have we? No. Okay, so nobody's, nobody's going for a victory or anything yet. So, not lagging behind. Definitely can see that our power curve has fallen off, though. The fluke of the Bone Tribe aside, we basically swept everything else without any trouble. But now we're really struggling uh, with just basic troops, really. I mean, those aren't that special. We really need to get our uh, magic paths up. I also didn't take a Killy Bless. I took a Defensive Bless. So short-term, worse. Long-term, better. Once we get the Soul Vortex... Having that awe will make all the difference.
Just have to get there. All right, what do we got here? Yeah, that's exactly what I didn't want them to do. Okay, underground. All right, so what is this? Ghouls? What do you do? Paralyzing poison. Fatigue damage reduced for large targets. Magic resist gates. I'm not too worried about that. And if we have our fire shield up by the time they get to us, I'm really not worried about that. Yeah. All right, I'm dead. Let's see how it goes. I think with them being susceptible, if they don't kill themselves in one hit, they'll probably light themselves on fire and then burn to death. Yeah, they're just melting. Fire shield is really, really good. Um, if I had properly queued, maybe we should have gotten that sooner. Like maybe right after personal iron skin. Switched over, got this, and then switched back. I don't think that would have changed any of the outcomes, but maybe. It's good for situations like this where... They're going to struggle to do anything to me, but just with how long combat goes, your guy might chicken out. Especially somebody like this who's got Battle Fright. Bye-bye. Nice. Okay. Uh, now this is one of our big guys against, looks like, Deep PD. Um, I do I do want to watch some of these now that I've got the fire shield going. Just want to see how that's going. You guys heavies or mediums? Holy shit, not you. Heavy infantry with a spear, okay. Even taking damage uh, makes them start making morale checks, so anything we can do to them to do morale checks is in our advantage. Yeah, cleaning those up nicely. All right, next one. I think this is our troops. No, this is our PD. Okay. This one, our troops. Yeah, our troops that are doubled up. So this is the barbarian horde. Scroink. Yeah, they'll just pummel through that. They didn't have enough troops to do anything to me. A limping man in a black coat appeared at the gates of the local stronghold. He offered a deal to anyone who would sign a contract in blood. Sorcerer of Sand signed it, unable to resist the temptations. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Suddenly, Korofumi, the master of Shadow Blossom, appeared at the gates of your fortress and wanted to fight for your cause. Kurofumi is an ancient sorcerer and practitioner of dark arts. He has traveled into Yomi and entered the underworld on several occasions, and is reputed to be the one who brought the demons into the world. Kurofumi encourages the Oni Warriors and planned the Oni Conquest from the palaces of the Oni Kings. With the Oni Kings occupied in this world, he plans to rise to power in the underworld and become ruler of the Dark Lands. Kurofumi is a master of the Shadow Blossom, and anyone hurting him will suffer from blindness. His long exposure to the powers of the underworld has infused him with the demonic strength. He can be banished by priests, a fact he's unaware of. Cool. All right. Wow, he turned into a demon. Sight vengeance. Cool. Almost an old age, but he's he'll be fine. Got some blood magic we didn't have. Lots of death magic. More importantly, he can do research. <laughs> Welcome, Demon Emperor. Um, here's your quill. Please sit down and start writing out some research notes for me. Pendants of Courage might not be bad to give to my guys. Seem to be having some trouble with that. But for now, we research because we desperately need that. All right. And here's the guy we just recruited who signed the soul contract. So he gets a, a devil summon. So he's going to summon demons in. That's kind of cool. We can't take the, the item off, and he's now tainted. When you're tainted, uh, like, otherworldly horrors can spawn, and they are ridiculously terrible, and they will murder you horrifically. So that's how that's going to go. Uh, these are actually pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'm happy for him to recruit those in. 
All right, now, wasn't one of the things they could get Astral? No, I'm thinking of the Amazons. Okay, so the air magic is really what I was after here. All right, you come on in here. You can start researching. This is too dangerous. Far too dangerous to be out here and researching. We could lose that any turn, the way this is going. All right, we're going to have you go there. Can you go here? Yes. Hopefully we will be able to cut them off that way. I think we'll have you come here. So unless he retreats here, we should bump into him in one form or another. There's a lab here. Did I, did I do that? I don't think so. Statues of the Overlord. Increases order, increases productivity, boost. Interesting. No, no special mages or anything there. All right, um, they finish searching there. Head down here. Yes, yeah, go search. Oh, that was the ghoul fight. Okay. Up oh, and look who it is. That is not good. I do not think we could take that. They forded it up down here, too. Uh. Okay, I think we're going to pull back to here. We might need some reinforcements. What do you have? We might be able to take that. We might not. So I'm going to pull back. All right, over here. Construct a temple. You construct... Palisades. All right. And let's up that defense a little bit. All right. We need another demon commander. Have to do that. And our research. Still a long ways to go. Okay. Starting to actually see the number go up, so that is nice. Um, we were so dang slow before. All right, we found three sites. Is that an earth site I see down there? Silver sarcophagus, death, and astral. Okay, so we got some astral coming in. One earth gem, yay! <laughs> and some fire. All right. All right. Come down here. You 15 research versus you with 13. Okay, so you research and you are going to forge helmet. Put on a helmet. What else do we have? Some cold resist. That actually is not terrible because we're going to be fighting those cold guys. And then give ourselves our standard here. And I think we are actually going to pull in some troops and go down there. I, I don't want him having control of that. There's two thrones down there. That's enough that he could sneak in a victory. Oh, he is not a good enough commander to do two groups. We'll just do the one. Bring some fodder down there with us. That's also getting dangerously close to my my entrance here. I don't like that one bit. So you can search while you wait. Over here, we're also going to try to recruit. I'm going to get another demon general, I think. Okay. Battle in Erd. Man, Erd is the place to be. This is hotly contested. Okay, here we go. See how this goes. Much bigger. It's one of this, the Prophet. Okay, I'm not seeing him yet. If he is here. Oh, that's probably him. No. Huh, he has ethereal though. Getting buffed by something. Alright, we do get our flame shield up, so we are fully combat able. What, 55 fatigue, which is a little awkward. The horses, I assume these have kicks, most horses do. 
Yeah, those are primed for getting flame shield if they do attack. So, would love to set those on fire. Okay, we're seeing our normal chip damage that we see. Just chewing our way through, see some people on fire, that's great. Okay, this one went better. We didn't have the pr uh, Prophet here to hit him with the Demon. So not losing that big chunk of HP really helps him stick around and not be a coward. All right, nice. Not a huge fight, but good to see proof of concept working. All right, Helheim versus, I think there was like a troll. Well, there's like an event spawn. I think these guys are the developer's D&D characters from like 20 years ago or something. Fang the troll archer, there's like a mage. Yeah, here he is. Kartuk the Troll Mage. So, there, there he goes. <laughs> They're actually kind of tough, but if you kill them, you can get a lot of magic items, so... I don't I don't foresee them failing. I think I think Vanheim will... Or not Vanheim, Helheim will win. Yeah, there's their Volkries coming in. Not going to watch that one. All right. Um, the silver sarcophagus is open. Terror rises within. Uh, what? What's coming out of this coffin? Pekharoth, the divine mummy. He's got fear. He's susceptible to fire. He's got a plague. Oh, please don't put plague on my, my demon. I appreciate that. He's totally going to do that. Hundred and one HP. All right, he is taking hits though. Kill him fast before you get plagued. Okay, I think we're all right. Don't see. Oh, we're cursed. Never mind. That increases our chance of getting affliction. So. Ouch. All right, worldwide event, some extra heat. All right, well, um, that happened. I, I don't know much more to say. I'm gonna up the province defense here a little bit. And I think we're gonna continue our search. You did earth here, right? Yes. Just really want some more earth gems. Really, really, really want them. Nice. Look at all those demons spawning because we've got the uh, mountain temple. That's that's what we wanted right from the get-go. Alright, over here. All right, we're going to have you switch to patrol and you continue building the fort. Because I, I want to catch anyone who comes and attacks. And you can preach. Get that enemy dominion out of here. Alright, over here. I think we're going to reinforce here and go there. Yeah. Man, this is uh, more back and forth than I thought. I, my research is just so lagged behind. We've got six months-ish before we get the spell we need. And we desperately, desperately need it. Over here, there's my search group moving through. Oh, they have not searched here because I don't have nature searched. A little bit, no, that's not. You two are the search group. Search that. You are going to re research. They're still preaching, but you're, you're done here basically. So come down here and preach. Yeah, that's fine. Getting the demon general. Okay. Over here, he's forging the helmet. Recruit another Oni. Okay, let's roll that one. All right, we found. 
Did we find someone? No, did not find. Did not find. Okay, new prophet, guardian of the dead, prince of forgiving, king of the crossroads. Battle in Erd, classic, classic battle at Erd. All right, we got double, double the flavor this time though. I don't think we're gonna lose this. Yeah, they just they ran like instantly. Yeah, you better run. All right, and I don't recognize that name. Okay, up in the north. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, man. Okay, good fight, good fight. Unexpected. A priest of Rushu, Unseen Master, been preaching and warning people at the end of the world. Okay, we've had that event before. Not nearly as much money, though, unfortunately, but that's fine. And patrolling killed some dudes. Ha! The trolls won! <laughs> oh, maybe I should have watched that. That's great. Okay. Uh, underground. We did find a wind site. All right, you guys are teaming up. We are going to be a little more aggressive with our placement. So I, these guys are uncontrollable and they're just going to rush forward. So I want to be a little bit closer. All right, we're going to move into this set here. Oh, already got those. All right, we're going to smash into that. And I think both of these guys are going to go into there. Okay, on this side, our searchers are moving on. And back to researcher. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, they are undisciplined. I wish they weren't, but that's totally fine. And set this guy up. Skeletal body. Advanced cast spells. And you can hide there, I suppose. You guys can go here. You guys can go over here. Just need to have some forces here just in case we get attacked. I don't want to lose that fort and have to resiege it myself. And we can't get any more helmets this turn. We are recruiting. Are recruiting. I do need to set up. Where was that? It was Amazon's. Here. Okay. You come over here. We need to set up a lab so we can get a couple of those. What did you pick up? Gloves of the Gladiator. Magic resist plus one, strength plus three. Nice. Nice. Okay. And he's not sitting on any afflictions except he's cursed. So that stinks, but no, there's no cure for curse. I think maybe the wish spell might do it, but other than that. All right. Bring everybody with you for now. Slave market. Three blood slaves. What is my blood slave? Six. That's not bad blood slave. And we do actually have somebody who can do something with that. Uh, with that hero guy we got. Uh, we don't have any blood research though at the moment. So it would more just be some crafting once we get higher level construction. Okay. Palisades going up. Preaching happening. Our prophet's coming over here to boost that. Really need to get this done. I'm having my prophet hang around in the area. I want to get this cold pushed back so they can't cross over and attack me. But once I've done that, we really need to clear this out. Okay, how many more turns? Three-ish. That's going to be a game changer once we get that up and running. That's not every spell we want, but that's darn, darn close to every spell that we want. All right. Many more battles. Okay, this is up in the north. More T and Chi stuff. 
We need to figure out where they're recruiting these from and cut them off. I do not like the fact that they might get underwater. Throwing nets at me now. Don't care for that either. You know these barbarians may be garbage, but you get a big enough of a horde. So you just swing big damage attacks. Okay, goal pass. Okay, this is our double Oni team up. We haven't looked at these guys before. I like these archers. For early age, they have a compound bow, which is pretty rare. Half the build of strength, range 40 is pretty good. It's a nice weapon. All right, here they come. All right, now, why are you so much faster? You got something going on? Increased attack skill, okay. Okay, I don't see anything there. Are you just slow? Extra strength. Hmm. Maybe it's just because he was moving diagonally. It looked funny. Yeah. All right, well, you know, if we have to go in pairs of two, we can go in pairs of two. Just lowers our coverage, but we need to win some of these fights. We're getting pushed back far too much here. Yeah, get that caster, please. Get him. Get him. Ah. Oh. Okay. Under home. All right. Let's see how this one goes. Very well for me. <laughs> I think the new nation uses. I don't think they're these guys, but they're similar. Uh, they could be kind of cool. Definitely not something that is good without some support, though. Alright, uh, did we lose anything there? A couple. Alright, and they attacked here and won. So we passed each other, essentially. Um, 40 guys. I think we're going to make a play and see if we can attack their capital and just end them. We're kind of playing footsie over here, and I don't like that. And we will have this guy come over there and try to sort them out. We don't have a commander here. Let's get another uh, undead commander. That way he can move our troops around over there. <clears throat> we do have demons to use too. Okay. And way over here, we're going to have him continue searching. Okay, Prophet arrives. He's going to start preaching. We've got two months on that. Let's go ahead and... Oh, oh good thing I noticed that. Must have missed that in the messages. A deathmatch competition is scheduled in the arena. The event will take place on the astral plane, and participants must leave now. The winner will receive a powerful magic artifact. Each pretender god may send one champion to the competition. The previous uh, arena champion must defend their title. May the strongest man win. Wow, it's too bad we don't have anybody who's really, really good at fighting in single combat. It's just a darn shame that we don't. Oh, oh, we have this guy. I, I guess he could go. Uh, Kazanori, I'm going to have you go defend our honor. If you don't win, don't come back. Just letting you know. Hey, search still. All right, and over here, building a lab. Glad I noticed that. I love those arena things. Sometimes they, they make it where you can't use magic. I didn't see anything on there that would indicate that. So I hope that's not the case because magic definitely gives those guys the advantage. But even if they did cut off our magic, I'm pretty sure we'd win anyways. Okay. What do we want to do here? We're not at war with these guys. I don't really want to bump them. I really need a scout down here. Do we have anybody who scouts?
It's a mage. No. Okay. We need scout. We need to start recruiting some more of these guys. We're not getting enough information. All right, so we're going to make a play at their capital. Do I have anything I could lob at them with the ritual? No, is the answer to that. I could make some money out of fire gems. That's actually not a terrible idea. Do I have anyone? Nobody I have three turns on at the moment. So I'm going to hold off on that, but I do think I should start doing that. Money makes the world go round. Mm, need it. Need more money. Yeah, because I can't afford him. Could I afford him if I cut him off? Just need to keep those coming out. We also have enough that I can forge another helmet. And... In fact, I think I would rather have that scout than more of these guys at the moment. In fact, where are we at on those? We do have plenty of room. Um, let's just, we're having to pay upkeep on these and we just don't have the economy. Let's just stop there. That gives us a nice little surprise if somebody tries to take that. See, they did finally take that territory. Okay, our money is spent, our earth gems are spent, we're summoning a new commander. Because we might have to fight this army. Get these barbarians off of him. We don't have anything else to give you, do we? No. Okay. Okay, um, boy, whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Complete the mass match. If we can beat the defending army here and put them under siege, that'll be the end of them, I think. I don't know if we're going to be able to win that fight with two of these guys. That would be iffy, especially the... Oh, no, these aren't the battlefront guys, are they? Do I want to change their scripting? What I'm wondering about is we have a spell. I think we have it now. It's a fire spell. Oh, do we not? Maybe we don't have it yet. Bustion. Is this cold? No, we don't have it yet. Never mind, the Tyrant Enchant, I think. All right, no worries, moving on. All right, all right, good news. Good news is what we're expecting. Good news is what we want here. Whew. Okay, lots of news here. We got our new king. We found a site. Oh yes, more Earth Crystals, yes. Yes, I need that so badly. I really did not think that that was going to be the case, but it is definitely the case that I need those. All right, over here, one month on the Palisade. Still doing that, still can preach. Okay. Uh, somebody else found a site. She found some nature. Okay. We do have nature summons and whatnot, so those are useful. Not, not the celebration I have for Earth, but still good. All right, there's a battle in TNG. Let's hope this turned out well. I really need this to turn out well. Now, the danger here is these guys have bad morale, and they're probably going to retreat. When they retreat, they cause morale checks for other people, and that's where we can run into trouble. Come on, come on. Get up here. Nope. Yep. Exactly. We routed because we lost too many troops. Okay. That's not the end of the world, though. We whittled them some. Okay. That's the type of thing where you just need to play more to know what combos can take what. I think I could have scripted that better, too. If I had put those barbarians all the way at the back, we might have been able to get, that, get up there in time. I don't know, maybe. 
Okay, this is our underground fight. What are you guys? Oh, these are those dog people, the uh, Sino... Sinocephalians. They're like dog people. They're really good. They have a second attack because they have this bite. And it's a pretty decent, like, attack. They're one of the new late age um, nations. In Middle Age, there's a place called Ind, which is like from the Prester John mythology in India. And they're a client state. It, they, that faction works kind of weird, but they're really cool. And in Late Age, the Tian Shi gets conquered by essentially the Mongolians, and the Mongolian people destroy uh, Ind, and they are released as their own nation. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yep, get in there and just chop them up, though. I don't think they're going to be any problem for our Oni. Although I say that, <laughs> again, we had the routing issue. So we're starting to see morale issues really badly when we bring other troops that are not just our, our big boys. All right. Um, rune? I think this is them attacking me. Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah, they're just going to get stomped. Unexpected vent, some unrest, some less some population. All right, here's the arena battle. Let's see how it goes. This is in the astral plane. All right, he's blessing up. What are you doing? He's not done yet. Oh, his him and his stupid withering weapons. All right, the, the wolves actually did slow him down, possibly. All right, we got our fire shield up. He just hit us with decay, though. Yep. All right, well, we're dead either way. We'll take him with us. We can live to be pretty old, though. So, taking you for sure. Yeah, we're not, not to old age yet. <laughs> oh, jeez, look at that go. Over a thousand years old. All right, so it didn't kill us. We're still hanging around. All right, let's see. TNG versus Lanka. We have not seen a lot of Lanka. They seem to be on another continent from us. I'm going to give this to Lanka by far. So that's just a, like a necromancer versus a demon queen Rakshasa. All right, but we do get to see what their bless is. Enchanted blood. That's a pretty good one. It stops bleeding and gives you like some minor regen. And then Blood Surge gives you extra stats when you kill somebody. Really good bless. Okay, she also is putting out skeletons. Necromancer versus Necromancer action. And she wins. <laughs> All right, that's exactly how I thought that was going to go down. All right, next one up is Yomi versus uh, Niflheim. Now, unfortunately, we're probably old age. Whoops, 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 whoops. Nope, nope, nope. Did not mean to do that. We're probably old age now, unfortunately. So. Yep, we are old age. All those stat penalties. If we does survive this somehow, he's going to be the new sight searching guy. Oof, look at this. And it's their prophet. Oh, it'd be glorious to kill him. That would be great. And his bless, shock resist, reinvigoration, undying gives you like temp hit points, some extra strength and awareness. Ah, uh, awareness. I think that lets you catch stealthy people. Never used it. I don't think it's good. All right, let's see how this goes. He is susceptible to fire. <laughs> yep. All right, so he hits me in the head for zero damage, hits me in the head for nine. I need more. Hold on. I need more stats. All right, so... Hit by the fire shield. Okay, so he did have to make his awe checks. Penetration roll. What penetration roll is he rolling? He does have a magic weapon, so that's no good. He has a chill aura, so that could be a pain. I don't think we're... No, we're not not immune to cold. So that's going to up our fatigue. So that's probably going to be the way he beats us. 
Although keeping him on fire, he's a 43 HP, worth seven. Re-up that fire. Now that we're in our ghost form. 35. He's probably got us. I just hope he burns to death too. I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah, his cold aura puts it out. Alright, well, close. That would have been great to kill him. Let's see who wins. Probably I'm putting my money on him. She's a demon also, so she's probably going to get banished. She is not as tough as we are. That's a skeleton. Did he get decayed? Oh, of course he doesn't get decayed. How's that fair? Uh, so he wins a champion headband, 325 gold, and 15 sparkling fire gems. So not terrible, not the best for him. He can't really use fire. Okay, uh, they are attacking us here, which we kind of knew was going to happen. Stay behind troops. Uh, Just in case it comes down to it, let's set this up as if he actually has to fight. And we're going to get them. Do I need to put anything here, or can I just let them... Okay, yeah, skeletal body would be good. Eagle eyes... Yeah, could be good. Eagle Eyes with Vine Arrow would be fine. Okay, yeah, we are going to script her. We're going to go with... Uh, skeletal Body. And then Eagle Eyes for better ranged magic. And then Personal Bark Skin gives us some defense. In fact, actually, let's do that before Eagle Eyes. And then... I don't think I want a script. I think I want to let them do whatever. They could summon some dead people. Vine Arrow would be very good. Yeah. And then you're going to cast spells. All right, that's going to be number three. And let's just put that out just in case it comes to the point and they're having to fight. And then spread them out. I don't think they're going to break through here before I come or leave this siege, but just in case. Just in case. I don't want an oopsie. New Dione coming out. You can research this turn. All right, over here we bounced. I do think I'm going to pull back and clear that. I'll have him come over here just to spread out the thread a little bit. That's where they were getting those. I think they're ichthyids. Ichthyids. Those would be nice. If I, if I was him and I had that, I would be in this ocean. I guess he is a little bit. So I wonder if Lonk is on this island or like right here. I think I was here though. They may have had an island start. That'd be weird. I guess it's I guess it's a peninsula. That's technically a land crossing. Interesting. Not a good start for them. Not a good start, unfortunately. All right, she got her lab. She's heading home. We can recruit. Not her. Yeah, that's the one I want. Over here. Getting her. Things are getting dangerous enough that i got to be a little less loosey-goosey with um, setting up armies. We need to have orders for everybody. Make sure people are staying safe. That's a nice roll on his stats there. All right, over here, more barbarians. We really need to get another general. I think we're gonna have to do it over here. So rather than that, bring in a general. We need one to stay here and one to go over there. Over here, um, let's get another demon priest. We can start picking up our demons with them. They have Undead Leadership just a little bit. Next turn we'll have the Palisade up. We've got 
do not have our lab here. I thought we did. Oh no, I was broke, that's why. Alright, you can research. You... Do I want to wait? Do I want to push out? I think we just wait. I don't think we need to hurry. And because you cannot build the lab, you can continue patrolling. We bounced off of them because we morale routed, essentially. We can go back into that. We lost all those troops, so it won't happen a second time. Yeah, I think for those troops, we really need a, we need a critical mass. And if we don't have the critical mass, just don't bring them. All right, research and alteration is complete. There it is, finally. <clears throat> All right, we also got some conjuration because I didn't have anything queued up. Don't do that. Always have always have something queued up. Um, oh, we could summon ghost generals. That'd be way better. There's our Tengu. Okay, that's strong. I also would like to get our uh, global spell. It's going to take us a long time. A long time to get there. Is there anything else we want before we go there? Do we want some invocation? Do we have anyone who could cast anything here? Web would be good for our little witches. Poison darts could be good for them. No, I think we need to stay focused. We're so bad at this. I do think I want some more summons, though. How deep do I want to go is the question. Ghost General would be really handy right now. I'm struggling with that. Let's do that. Level 4 Conjuration. Do I need more enchantment before we go crazy elsewhere? No, I don't think we do. And then we go to 6. The only other thing we could do is maybe construction three, so we could start building some different magic items. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get the conjuration first. We'll get construction three so we can get some different magic items. Temper armor. Not really useful to us, unfortunately. I hope they don't start casting that on their script. Sometimes in the past you would try to not research things, that your mages would like to cast because they're terrible. I don't know what the new balance is. These spells have all been reworked. So I'm just playing a little loose on that. All right, that is so good though, so good. All right, two woods, as of course. Oh, here they come. This is gonna be versus my PD. And then they'll start sieging. This is us attacking? Yeah. More here than I thought there would be. Okay, we did get our flame shield up, so we'll probably be alright. What are these? Heavy cavalry. Alright, just generic bronze heavy cavalry. Not super worried about that. Yeah, having hor having fire shield is really good against mounts. Because they, they tend to have just a bad attack. They like to spam at you. So if he gets lucky and he gets through awe, then he gets lit on fire. Very, very nice uh, consolation prize for him. All right, unless our morale breaks, I think we got this one. The spears I'm way less worried about. It's those halberds that seem to be the problem. Or not halberds, glaives. All right, that one's good. Litho. I think that's the underground. Yeah. All right, we'll see if we can do it this time. Respect for the dog boys, that's for sure. Oh, nice. We actually made it here with uh, one of our guys still alive. He's one of the good ones, too, I think. Yeah, he's got armor on. That makes these guys so much better. Glad he survived. I probably shouldn't have brought him. If I, if I brought him down here and he didn't just spawn on his own, that was a mistake. All right. 
Got that. That was Litho. Okay, this is us heading to try to rel relieve the siege. Oh, those wolves almost got their uh, necromancer. That could have been funny. All right, doing just fine against the garbage. Yeah, we're not gonna have any issues there. All right, um, there was a battle that was special. Okay, assassination attempt. Meddling the dark arts, your necromancer has atta attracted unwanted attention. Spirits from the nether realm now haunt the land and search for your mage. They attack indiscriminately. Let's see what happened here. Oh, nice, one of the new maps, okay. And it's a ghost. Don't think we're gonna have a problem because we have a magic weapon, so. She'll be busy with our wolves for a while. All right, land a hit though, buddy. Land a hit. One hit and she's gone, yep. You didn't get cursed or anything, did you? Good. All right, um, okay, they found our scout and was killed. We finished our palisades. We are under siege, but we're repairing the walls faster than they're damaging it. And a ruin. Right. All right, so you are going to come here and try to relieve. And at the same time, I think we are going to march out. We are going to break siege. Okay, so I need to make sure you're in a good spot. Move you up. All right, and over here. Were they able to hurt my walls? Our walls are damaged. Barely. Okay, we have some time. We finished this one which is great. You guys, I'm going to tell you to search, but you don't need to. You actually need to build a lab. You keep preaching, but give away any guys you have. Uh, and you are going to head over here, and we're going to try to relieve that siege. Two turns. Could he get there in two turns? No, he would get attacked here for sure. Right, continue searching. Alright, you head in there. Recruit another one. You, we have a helmet for. We've got enough gems to forge another. Just barely enough. That's good to know. Like, if you're going to do what I'm doing here, you're going to need lots of helmets. So you really need to find at least one or sight. All right, and you're going to head that way just in case things go bottom up. Give you our orders. Oh, we need to fix our orders. Ooh, oh, oh, I would have felt really bad if I hadn't figured that. All right, so. The question is when to put it. Um, so the death spell, soul vortex. Soul vortex gives us 40 fatigue. Putting it at the end of the list is risky. I would prefer to have that than fire shield. So 20, 20, 80, and if we have no regen whatsoever, fire shield knocks us out. I think I'm okay with that though. Because once we get back up, we're going to be just fine. Fire shield. All right, this is our new number one. We will check it and make sure it works. I mean, we're going to check it live, but <laughs> this is going to be night and day for us. Things just tipped back in the other direction. I'm going to feel really dumb if. if it actually doesn't work out, or the spell was changed drastically, and I'm overestimating how it, how it works. All right, yeah, they're right here at the doorstep, too. You dummies, you shouldn't have started this war. 
on the bright side, they, they did keep these guys busy, so that's at least something. I am fighting a two two pronged war here, that is not great for me. All right, he's gonna go get, pick those guys up. Have any fresh ones? Already put them in. You can go back here to pick up more reinforcements. You are a fresh guy, just chill. You are. What are you? Scout. Okay. Scout, but he could pick up troops for me. No, I don't care. Head in here. I want to see what's going on. In fact, let's head here. We have less chance of getting caught. Go ahead. Six. Can we recruit anything interesting? No, not really. That's a nice... I, would, I bet you their national mage is pretty nice based on those paths. Assuming it's not that guy. Okay, and for these guys now... I don't want to attack them. I want to get this scout down here so I can see how what these thrones actually have on them. I We are getting close to the point that people are going to go for thrones, I think. I need to get on that. I cannot just be sitting here. Alright, now over here... Let me double check the Oni, or not the Oni, the summon we're going to get. We're going to get Ghost General, so we're not going to get this one. It does need two wins, though. I'm not going to do it now in case something happens and he dies. He is old. So he can just research. That's totally fine. We also have our end of weakness spell. In fact, he could cast that, I think. Give me a specific spell. It's an earth spell. Yeah, end of weakness. So if we did this, their body say, okay, so this is going to give me the equivalent of bark skin, which is super good for us because it gives us some protection. That's what our guys don't have, and that's what makes them so weak. Costs one earth gem to cast. Could totally do that. Can you reach here? Two turns. My reinforcements will arrive in two turns. Yep. Yeah. I think we're going to do a little bit of a risky maneuver here. Give him our two earth gems. Do we have anyone here? We do. Um, five. Oh, he can't, um, he can't command those guys. Dang it. Um, okay. I don't have anyone who can bodyguard him, unfortunately. We are going to cast a specific spell. Okay, before he knocks himself out, essentially, I want to personal iron skin. Don't spin gems unless you have to. And then he is going to end weakness. All right, he's going to head over there. Hopefully not get caught by something on the way. Very risky to do that, but I just don't have anyone else who can help. I'll research. Relief is on the way. I think we'll be fine on that siege, too. All right, and our research is set up properly now. Attacking here, attacking there. All right, let's see what we can do. Super excited to see that new spell. All, all of our problems will be solved, I'm sure. Didn't find any magic sites, didn't find any magic sites. Right. Here we go. What do we got? Uh, PD mostly. That's all right. We can still see, still see how it works. All right, blessings off. Iron Skin is off. Temper Flesh is off. And Soul Vortex. Okay, what's that put us at? 88 Fatigues. We're not knocked out yet. Now, do we have an icon for that? I don't remember. No, I don't think we do. What it's going to do is it's going to 
attack. It's going to drain their HP. And it's going to give it to us. And it's also going to give us fatigue. I believe it hits once every round. Fears are going off. Hell. Just come in here. Okay, not seeing it yet. Up to 94, that is not good. There we go. Got the three, okay. Yes, and look how much fatigue that took us down. So we only healed three, but we got, I don't know, about 20 fatigue back. Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, so that was an attack up to 80. want to see how much, I want to see, I guess we don't get per person and the mount. He's going to go for his fire shield. All right. Let's see how this goes. What we want is lots of guys around us that are failing awe checks and then draining them to give us fatigue. Okay, that was a big one. Yeah, look at that. I want to say that we're getting maybe 10 fatigue per HP back. That's huge. Huge. Okay. And when we're in those battles where we're getting just that little bit of chip damage, 5 Five HP is fine. That would keep us going. And it'll be more because in those battles we're getting much more surrounded than we are here. All right. Good, good, good. TNG attacking. This is RPD. Okay. And up here. I think this is our siege relief. Yeah. All right. So lots of things going off here. Lost skeletal bodies. Whole bunch of bark skins. We can take a look at that. So this is what that end of weakness is going to do for us. Is here, give us seven natural production uh, protection, which is great. Um, going from zero to seven is huge, and our demons have other ways to help themselves too. So, right, he's tempering flesh. So Vortex coming up. Yeah, it looks like they decided to go with some... They're not in range, so they're going to spam out some skeletons. I'm totally fine with that. And here we go. Have to even paying attention to our front line. Very good, okay. Oh, plus zero. I think that's because we were full, but fatigue's down a little bit. Now we can't drain undead, unfortunately, so it's not gonna help us there, but the fire shield will help wipe them out, just like when we fought the ghouls. Yep, goodbye, goodbye. Those, uh, they had that holy vengeance spell on. <laughs> that actually hurt my guys a lot. I'm glad, uh, who is this? I'm glad uh, Akahiro was not in range of that. <laughs> that could have been awkward. All right, well, good victory there. Good victory there. Unexpected event, got some air gems, and our walls are damaged slightly. All right, unfortunately our mage isn't gonna be there next turn, so I think we're gonna delay one turn. I want that spell. There's no two ways about that. I want that spell going off. Make sure we win that fight. All right, we got our first of the crystal sorceresses. So she's going to be on retreat. Put her in the back. And she's going to run around and search for astral sites for us. We have not been searching astral. And wind anywhere that we didn't already have it. All right, you head over there. You guys... We will try to take that if they're not going to move. Oh, they forded. Ugh. I don't care for that. Okay. Well, not much I can do about it. All right. You move up. 
All right. Any survivors? Some. All right. Don't want troops with him. We can continue forward. All right. There. We, we passed each other. That's what happened there. Um, don't really have a way to stop them. There are, there are, if you use magic attacks, they happen before movement, so you can use those to stall people. But I don't have anything I don't think that would do that. So I think we're just going to have to play catch over here. Let's go this direction, and then he can go the other way. Oh, good. He can actually move, too. Can, can you move, too? I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then... Where's our research? Still going. Got those, got those. Research. Recruit on their Oni. Our economy is actually doing okay. It's, uh, we're still in the positive. Our research is finally getting going. I mean, at this point in the game, you should have 300 plus probably, but at half recruitment speed, I mean, this is about what I expected, so I'm not shocked by that or anything. Um, this is my site searching guy. If, if we're still fighting T and Chi by the time he gets all the way over there, I'm gonna be a little miffed. And over here, we're ready to. Oops. These are also site searchers. They're moving that way. He was coming over here to pick up demons. I think he's just gonna deliver them. Um, if we're waiting to turn, I could deliver them. They could fight. Some of our good guys, so. Alright, you all are back to research. You are back to, let's get the unrest down. We do have some corpses here. Do I have... Animate... That's not a ritual, though. That's on the battlefield. No, I don't have anything that will use uh, corpses here. So back to research. You, I just want to patrol. We'll get that cleaned up. Make sure Oops. all my troops are in. They are. Make sure you are, Oops. You are set up. Yes, you are. Pick up that one demon. I really need to collect all those. There's just starting to little little ones and twos everywhere, and they will die and do nothing. But if I could group them up, they'd be useful. Now they don't have to sit here; they could continue on and attack me here. I think the AI is kind of committed to trying to siege this down, though. So I'm more than happy for them to wait for me. Hopefully, not ambush my mage that's coming to try to help. But if they do, they do. It's whatever. More of those. Get rid of one of those. Okay, let's go to the next turn. All right, conjuration complete. At three, did we get anything useful? Summon Earth Elemental. We saw those earlier. Those were kind of nifty. Um, one of the things, where is Summon Earth Power? At three, okay. So Summon Earth Power is really nice. It raises your Earth Magic by one level, but it gives you Reinvigorate four. I'd love to get that on our Dione. I just don't know when we would do it. We only get five scripts, and we're pretty set in what we've got. I guess having the Soul Vorkex, we could drop Fire Shield if we're not fighting Undead. I don't know, I need to think about that a little bit. Um, otherwise, besides that, let's see. We could get some Tengu, but I don't. I don't want to spend the cheap ones. I want the commanders, so I need to save for now. We could get an ambush of tigers. I just don't know what that would really help us with. Um, no, nothing at this level, unfortunately. Ghost General is really what we want. We want him quite badly. He'll be really good. Okay, and we're up to 210 with all of our mages back to work, so we will have the, that next turn, actually, so that's good. All right, um, Crystal Sources found a magic site. Uh, I think it's the Painted Cave. Yep, 
Nice. Good, good. Already paying off. Move here. These guys. Here. You into there. You into there. Let's... Okay, so let's get this set up. Okay, so we're going to use the same script on our... always forget their names. Naminari. Our, both of our Naminari are going to do the same thing we did in the previous battle. Going to move them up a little bit, though. Oops. Move them up here. It's a little safer, just in case something flies in or something. In fact, actually, let's bury them in the bandits. And... Koonies... Take this little group and stick them back a ways, just in case somebody tries to get cute and fly in or something. And I think these are nice and close. What are you? Leader. I think we're going to bury all of our leaders here. A little dangerous to group them up, but I feel like that's actually going to end up being safer. All right, so he is going to give himself iron skin. He's going to do end of weakness. And that's going to knock him out. Um, do I want to change anything here? What are we being sieged by? Surf, war Surf warriors, Fiskarls, long dead Heardmen. There's some Valkyrie. Okay. Nothing that screams Archer to me, so I don't think I need to have uh, Air Shield. So he's going to do those two, and then I don't care what he does. He'll mostly buff, I think. They're going to give themselves Skeletal Body. Personal bark skin, eagle eye, and then spell. That's fine. Skeletal body and then advance in spells. Do we have anything new that's useful? No, not really. Okay. These guys are set up. They're all on discipline, so I can't really do. I can't really tell them much. They're just gonna do what they do. All right. That's set up to go. Over here, we came with our guy to pick up. Oh, he, he filled out his uh, normal troops, but he still can fit more on dead. I see. I think I'm going to ship these guys off to the TNT front, because we need to have some more guys to be able to try to siege through their walls. Our big super combatants might win the battles, but they can't get in. Actually, hang on. Stop here and pick up more demons. Actually, stop there and pick up more demons. Yeah, he can pick up some from this guy. In fact, this guy, what do you have? All of you guys stay. All of you guys stay. We'll trade with the other guy. He can go pick up more barbarians. And, okay, move up. Have you, let's get over here. Did I not go through all those? It didn't. We traded places again. Dang it. Not what I want to do. Stop that. <laughs> you know what, actually? You patrol here. You attack them there. I'm gonna end this one way or the other. And then we'll be right back to fighting these guys. Alright. Um, and you can attack here. What is here? Don't bring those. Those are just a, those are just going to bring you down. Over here, they're ready to attack. They're ready to scout. Yeah, that's fine. These are our searchers. We have not searched here yet. He's moving up. Okay, so da, 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 da. that was there. Just want to double check these if I'm not going to watch them. I don't need to. I know what happened on those. Okay. Uh, yes, our doom, our doom priest guy. Nice. Extra gold. Perfect. We'd love to see that. Damaged our walls and our patrols. Okay. Um, another thing I'm thinking is we need to get a priest down into the cavern. So let's send him over. He's also basically done here. Let's send him up that way. Actually, I 
probably need to get this. Yeah, just send them over there for now. Okay, and you handed people off, so you can head over here. This is the problem with free spawn nations. You have to do a lot more micromanagement of picking up troops. Normally you are only recruiting from your forts and maybe a couple provinces, so you don't spend nearly as much time having to run around and try to figure out where people are and group them up. And we're doubly bad because we have to have undead leadership to pick up the demons, so it can be a bit of a pain. One of the blesses I used to actually really like was some extra undead leadership because your priests will get that and then they can pick up a lot more. Um, with the new bless system, though, I just didn't have the points. So wasn't it felt better to get the bless I got. Um, we'll see here if it pays off. Now that we've got the soul vortex, that was kind of what we were waiting for. I need to see them in a couple big battles to see if they're still working okay. I do love super combatants, though, so definitely like that. All right, there's our Conjuration 4. We got that so we could do Ghost General, so we'll summon a few of those up. We have a lot of death income, so that'll be nice. Uh, construction, getting there, working on that, okay. And then Thermocharge, we need six at least. And then we'll revisit that. That'll be a long time, because our research is so darn bad. All right, and Rimakia, I don't remember where that is. All right, did we catch them? Uh, I'm not sure if this is PD or if this is that army. I don't think I ever got to see what was actually in it. Alright, we did get our Temper of Flesh off. Then we attacked. Are we off script now? I think we're off script. Go ahead and put fast forward here. Darn, I would have really liked him to have Soul Vortex up right there. It's alright. This is the type of army that was not giving us trouble. Yeah, there it comes up. And his fire shield. He got greedy. <laughs> that put him at. Yeah, that knocked him out. Maybe I should just take off the fire shields for the scripting there. Yeah, look at that. It's so good. Down to nine. Maybe not. Maybe I don't care. We have like two turns where we're really vulnerable and then we're just in the money. So good. All right, yep. Don't need to see the rest of that. We know what happens there. All right, battle in two two woods. This is an important one. This is one of our grudge match areas. Slow this one. Oops. I don't know why I missed that one for some reason on, on Dominion 6. I never did that before. Okay, so skeletal body, personal iron. Okay, so all the scripting's on and good. Our demons are running forward. It's a little... That's a lot of troops. What we need is we need our end of weakness to come up so that these guys can last a little longer. Let's drop that down where I can see. Okay, prepares to cast end of weakness. Cast end of weakness. All right, let's see. So for him, protection is now six. Protection versus mundane attacks is 15. So he's got some invulnerability or something going on. Oh, that's magic resist. Protection three. Okay, so it seems to have maybe scaled. Natural protection versus mundane attacks. No, that's here. That's his normal, I think. So against a mundane attack. So that tells me that that's in vulnerability, not bark skin like it was implying. This guy's the armored guy, so he's going to be a little weird. Okay. If that is not Barkskin, which I'm not seeing the fire vulnerability that Barkskin normally is. If it is in vulnerability, as long as they don't have magic weapons, they can't bypass that. So they don't. Yeah, they have withering weapons, not, not magical weapons. So I think we looked out there. That's curious, though. I wish I had a better way of telling. These guys aren't going to have it because they're not demons, or they shouldn't. Yeah, they, they don't because they're not demons. Where's one of my fire guys? These guys. Yeah, they still have their fire resist. If we got hit with bark skin, we should have had fire vulnerability. Oh, here we go. Durr, I just missed the thing. Invulnerability 15. Okay, that's way better than I thought. Bark skin's only like 7 or 8 natural protection. 15 is great. 
So now we're way tankier than we were before. Still checking everybody. Yeah, everyone gets the same 15. Okay. We'll, we'll slow moment there, but we got there. All right. I am much more confident in this fight now. Where are those Valkyries? Did they already launch? Do you have magic weapons? No, you don't. All right. So the only thing that could really go wrong is the Valkyries come in and kill back here. If he dies, I think we lose the spell. Hopefully they will land somewhere else, though. Or they're on bodyguard, one of the two. Nope, they did land on him. Shoot. We didn't have a bodyguard. He is not good. I guess we did get the protection up a little bit. But those are those light lances will goink him. Alright, so the next question is, if he dies, do we lose the spell? Okay, he is dead. Do we lose the spell? We don't. Okay. Then I don't care. He served his purpose. Sorry to say. <laughs> I hope these guys are coming back to fight and not retreat. Yeah, their morale's fine. Get in there and chop him up. Get him, buddy. Get him. He lost an eye. Look at this. Look at this absolute unit coming back here. Cleaning them out. Yeah, get rid of those stupid Valkyries. We, we hate them. Hate them. Smite demons are starting to come out. Now those will go through our uh, invulnerability because it is magic. Over on this side, we're slowly winning the grind, I would say. There comes our reinforcements. Yeah, we still got lots of guys on the field. They just had to turn around for a second to deal with those Valkyries. And apparently light my own guy on fire. <laughs> All right, so what this tells me is we need to have Earth-2 mages out and about. Or we need Earth-1s and they need to carry a lot of gems to boost themselves. So let's take a look here. So we actually did not lose much. We lost our one sorcerer and a couple demons, and that was it. Also, it looks like I forgot to send out the... Uh, guys that were inside, so that was another mistake. That could have been even better. All right, so let's put these guys in here. We're going to steal these ones. We're going to leave these guys here because I want them to just keep the fort safe. But our troops are free to roam. And... I think we're going to do a little raiding. Head over there. That almost makes me want to get some uh, Buck and Mono out to do some actual raiding. What are you doing? You know what? Let's do that. Let's get one one guy there. We'll get a few of these. Start building up a little raid force back there. Now that we actually have enough forts, we can actually afford to spend a little bit. Our money is doing very good now. Keep another. Dione, our new guy. Please tell me I have a helmet. Good. Let's make sure. Now, our Earth Gems are now even more precious than they were before. So, that is one thing to consider. We really do want Earth 2s. Because spending two Earth Gems to get that spell out is going to hurt. It's going to hurt a lot. But that's so much survivability. We need that. We need that to be running. So, got to find a way to make it work. All right, and you're going to head up here to reinforce. You were here. Pick these guys up. And then head over there. All right, another two Earth guy came out. Good. Um, I'm just wondering if I need to send him up here. I don't think we're going to need that for that fight. Although that is that is a super important fight, so maybe we do. All right, so we give him just the one. There's, I would give him more, but they're just so dang precious at the moment. And if he comes here, let's get him some bodyguards. Wow, we can't even recruit five guys. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> okay, so he will stop there and pick up some bodyguards. We're just chilling there. Not sure why that... Oh, 
Because they attacked behind me, of course. Alright, head back that way. We didn't finish going through here, so... Bounced, bounced. This is the one I want to see. So this is in Rimica. Rimica. That was not the one I wanted to see. Maybe none of those were the big one. Oh, there we go. There's their god. Okay, let's let's see that one. Now I'm way more interested in taking this province back. He must be getting really desperate. So claim in. And we have an Earth Serpent who went Air 8, Earth 6. Interesting. Okay. So Protective Winds gives him an Air Shield. Mist Form. Okay, he's going to be a little, little hard to hit kill. And then he goes in. Okay. Now for Mist Form, I believe, uh, while in the state is very difficult to harm, only do one damage, ends if we hit them really hard. Okay. We will not struggle to hit somebody really hard, so that's not going to be a problem. All right. We don't need to watch that. It is now open season. It is snake hunting season. Calling all Oni. You stay here and cut off his escape route. You're going to go here and try to do the same. You're going to try to go kill him. All right, boys. This is how we kill God. All right. And down below. Head over there. Wait, you only have 10 enemy units? That can't be right. There has to be something like super nasty hidden here. I am, however, exceedingly greedy, and I am going to try to take it. And that being said, then, our prophet needs to get down there ASAP. I wish I could build him some boots that would increase his movement. Do we have anybody who could do that? Like... You, maybe? Can we forge anything? No boots. All right, yeah, we really need some more construction. I, I do like the change that they slowed that down. Uh, before, you could just craft too many things too fast. The game, once you really understand the game and you're on the level of, like, path-boosting magic items, that's... The game gets... I don't want to say more complicated, but, like, you can outpace the AI much faster. Because you, your human brain can figure those strategies out, and the AI just can't. Alright. Doing a demon pickup. Drop them off. We'll drop them off over there. She's a searching. He's going to wait here. Okay. Got all those. God, I can't wait to kill that dumb snake. TNG has been such a thorn in my side. Get him gone. That's what I want. Then we could take this throne finally. I thought we were going to have that on like turn 20. Alright, construction's almost leveled again. Do have another Dione coming in. Just got to check all my recruits. We've just had so many weird things going on. Yep, here's one that needs... Now, can you guys get Earth 2? 25% of you, and you're old, but you recruit a lot faster than those other guys. Honestly, I think we're going to have to do it, as much as I don't want to recruit those particularly. Down here, yep, set up to do that raid party. All right, let's move that forward. All right, construction complete, construction complete, thermotrogy complete. Beautiful. All right, what thermotrogy do we get from level one? Anything we want? Augury. Yeah, that's like remote site searching. That's really good, but I don't think we're going to fiddle with that. Yeah, I don't think we're going to fiddle with that. 
Carrier Eagle. Oh, that's a new one. Ritual summons a large eagle that will quickly transport a magic item to a commander in another province. Cool. Very nice. They also have a remote gem delivery one, too, now. Whispers of the Wild, Auspex. Okay, nothing, nothing super interesting there. All right, but what is interesting is we can craft new items. All right, he found a magic site. House of Embers, more fire, cool. I do find it absolutely hilarious that that guy has ended up on search duty for that long. That is such a terrible use for him, but I, I had to do it because I had to get some gems. Let's get some better info here. I would like to attack that at some point. Um, wow, we took it. Okay, whoops, I didn't, I shouldn't have. Spoilers, don't look, don't look team. All right, this is one of our attacking parties. Oh, that's nastier stuff here than what I would have expected. We're not going to see these glamour troops um, in their domain, so I'm not surprised that they're here, but more than I would have thought. They might have been coming to attack me again. Yeah, yeah. That was good, and that didn't even have end of weakness. So, happy with that. Okay. Rune. Okay, that's a sneaky boy. I don't think All right, well, fortunately for him. All right, you stay here and patrol. You come in here and try to kill him. You come there, I suppose. You know what? No. I think I'm going to send those two and see if I can put a cork on them in recruitment. And we'll send these other guys the other direction. And try to catch him over there. Get my other one recruited. Our gold is looking great now. Need to get more forts so we can just have more recruitment out. So we're going to have a fort here. We're going to have a fort here. And what I really need is one underground. Oh, when we didn't check this fight. I need to do that. The halls. Was that really just 10 troglodytes? Because that's ridiculous. All right, it was more at least. What else do you have? A light cavalry that's really super wounded for some reason. Somebody else attacked this, I think, and they failed. This light cavalry they probably captured with magic. Poison resist. All right, so sleeper. Okay. Those aren't those aren't that dangerous. And we're big enough that the troglodytes can't trample us. That's their main way of killing people. I don't think I've updated these guys' script. I see. I need to do that. Being ethereal really helps you not get trampled. So they wasted a ton of time trying to kill our little dudes. Cool. Cool, cool. Got a bunch of... Ew, that's gross. Where's that at? Need to fix that. I guess that's that's far away from our territory, so we're not going to worry too much about it. Um, a layer of a hideous troll has been found within the bones of the unfortunate travelers. Uh, gold, magic items were found. The troll itself escaped, but we got a nice cache of gems there. Beautiful. New famous hero, cool, and our siege. Okay, so underground at our new and improved. We're going to dump. We're actually going to go pretty heavy here. You should not normally do this, especially with really bad troops like this. But I just need some bulk. I need to fix our uh, scripting because we need to win. We're in it to win it. And then we're actually going to you start constructing palisades. You start constructing a temple. You don't need to scout that anymore for us. We're good. Go that way. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And actually, what, what throne was that? I didn't even double check. Silver throne. Two ascension points, two dominion spread, 200 gold per turn, and we can get silver order. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, and they can actually random into an earth. 
so they can summon our uh, Tingu without having to do anything. Oh, and they're better researchers. This is exactly what we need. This is exactly what we need. We are going to dig our heels in here, and we are never going to get dislodged. Give me some more. We are never going to let ourselves get pushed out of that. And if we do, we are coming back with a vengeance. All right, this guy, I actually don't want him involved with that god fight, so... Oh, did he get stuck in the fort? He did, okay. That's totally fine. Do a turn of research, buddy. You deserve it. And you, actually. I wonder if we break siege, if we can capture... Get their god stuck in that fight. And even if they kills him, then these guys would arrive. And then he could be killed by that. Okay, over here we have our demon priest dropping off demons. Uh, yes, let's go to him. We're not going to try to hold this territory up here. We're just trying to be annoying, essentially. So there's that. A <laughs> uh, bunch of ghosts. Mm, not so interested in that. Don't like that he has that there, though. Yeah, I think I think we did what we came for. Let's just pull back for now. Just be annoying. Just make him waste time coming and going, trying to get me out of there. Did not search this yet because I don't have nature searched. Over here, we got our new guy. He's going to lead our little raiding party. He can have 15 more. So, 5 and 10. And back to researchers. Actually, no. Give me a few of these old guys. I really want to get some end of weaknesses spread around my territory. So I have it in any major fight that needs it. She also found a magic site. A maze for plus two astral pearls. I remember now. So when you want to change gems, you have to change two astral pearls and then to the gem you want. So that's why it's expensive to switch. So astral pearls, we can turn those into earth pearls at a good rate. So that is handy. Forge me. Oh, we get new stuff too. Uh, what I need is this, a Dwarven Hammer. This will reduce the cost of all crafting we do, so we need to save up for 15 gems. Alternatively, do some alchemy. And we want astral gems into earth gems. We need 15. Actually, let's just take, use them all. Yep, use them all. There we go, we're up to 19, so now we can forge. Oh, did, he just, he's too low level. He needs to be Earth 3. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Earth 3. Earth 2. Do we have one sitting around or do I need to make somebody? Okay, he can do it, and he's going to be in a lab next turn. Okay, that's fine. We can we can survive with that. Research here. We're recruiting. All right, and for him, let's just wait. I don't want anyone to even see this guy. He's stealthed. He is going to go pick up more troops. In turn. All right. Turns are starting to take a little longer because the battles are getting more complicated. More thermaturgy, moving up the Rhine here pretty quick. So, Bonds of Fire is a good spell, but not something we want on our big guys. Yeah. Thermaturgy line is not really good for Yomi. It's nothing that I see in there at the moment. But we just need to get to that spell so we can get our increased demon spawn. Oni spawn. Really would like that. Alright. There was a battle in Silver Fangs. 
Yomi's attacking us. Oh, they found our scout. <laughs> Trying to figure out what the heck was going on on that one. Uh, they made a. They bounced off a throne. Interesting. Uh, is that worth watching? I think that is. See what they. See what happened to them. See what spells they're running. All right. So they've got some of their. That's the warrior priestess. I want to look at. Okay. So this is just their priest. Okay, so just priests, no no mages. Interesting. Yeah, no wonder you lost that going up against that many trolls. Okay, so they had some animals chaff that just died. I'm gonna put my money on the trolls in that fight. Yeah, they just they just lost the trolls. That's all there was to that. That was not a good fight on their part. They should not have gone for that. Alright, this is going into TNG. This is a this is a big one. We want this one to go off well. All right, have you taken any damage or anything? No. Not, no problems with him, highly experienced. Fatigue's high, but that's all right. Fire shield's coming up. Fire shield up. Okay, fatigue is very high. We're gonna need a minute. Give him a minute to catch his breath. He'll be all right. Ideally, we'll be below 100 by the time troops get here. Just so that we can defend ourselves. Yes, and we, we move, so we're probably okay. They, they attacked. That's not the best. And there we go. We got a, a soul uh, vortex siphon off. Getting lots of them. Look at that. Our fatigue's down to 50 and dropping. 48. This is exactly how I wanted this to go. 36, yep. Now we're down towards no penalties. Let's check. So he has a lot of harass penalty here. We're not getting our chaos power also, so we're a little weaker there. But otherwise, we're just fine. And those HP we're draining are their actual hit points. So it's not like we're just regenerating. We're taking that HP off of them. And yeah, just every little hit hurts, and it makes them start doing more morale checks. Uh, the fear is affecting that. The awe is affecting that. I see a couple people have joined. I haven't shown off the bless we're using. I'll just pop that up. So we've got Reinvigoration 1. We're running uh, awe and heroism. And it's working excellent on these guys. They're all highly experienced at this point, even after just a couple battles. And the, the awe is stacking very well with the fear, which it always has in Dominions. But it's still working here, even with the fear changes. And now that I've got the Soul Vortex up, this is just back to classic Yomi. Just giant demons with hats. That's what you need. And we're just going to chomp through these. They have no chance. Let's speed that up. I probably don't need to watch these ones anymore because the melee guys that can damage us are dead. But dang it, I worked hard on that. <laughs> I want to see them kill some people. Yeah. Good, good. So now with us there, they won't be able to do recruitment in their capital. So they're basically done. We just need to hunt their god down. And Helheim, hopefully our troops got out. And this is just PD. Yes, it is. What is here, though? Because we're going to have to fight this in the near future. Okay, so there's sacred cavalries here. They're darn wither weapons. Also, they've been summoning up some bone fiends. I'm not sure how much I care about that, really. Those are kind of dangerous. Okay. Not going to watch them kill PD. And this should be their god? Yes, it is. All right. What do we catch him with? All right, good. We did get an Oni in there. These guys might honestly kill him before my Oni even gets there, so that'd be hilarious. Death by Barbarian. Classic, classic uh, Earth Serpent uh, death. Turn one, your big bad earth serpent, and he goes into combat and some stupid barbarian cuts his head off. He does have fear, same as ours, so probably will route the barbarians. Hopefully they won't route everybody like they have been. Yep, there they go. You guys are worthless. 
but it did not make me run. Oh, is he gonna die to retreat? I would have rather killed him. Oh man, uh, right at the edge. All right, so did we get him? Oh, we did get him. We did get him. I don't know if. Yeah, we don't get to see their retreat report. I don't know if he died to retreating. I guess it doesn't say that the Master of the Dead did. But that should have killed him, because where would he have gone? Let's see, that was here. Yeah, he can't retreat underwater into somebody else's territory, so he's dead. Very, very nice. Very excited for that. Message from TNG. You killed our god. This war will not end until Yomi is annihilated. Dude, you literally started this because you found a scout. In a neutral territory you attacked. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Um, a thrifty adventure to explore. Interesting. So what do we get here? Oh, I think they're just pointing us to the ancient ruin. Less interesting. All right, well, Yomi has slain TNG's god. You deserve it. Couldn't happen to better people. Over here, we're not making any progress. So this is where we need our dumb barbarians. We need them to come and hit the walls for us. All right, these are the bodyguards for you. I didn't save his preset. All right, so cast a specific spell. We need to have, I think we're gonna change it up. We're gonna go air shield. Then we're gonna go, Personal Iron Skin, then we're going to go into Weakness and Conserve Gems, because we are broke. Alright, Bodyguards stay with him. Oni down here. Alright, way less dangerous now that he can travel with a friend. Can you move two? No, you can't. We're going to go that way. And over here, oh, we can pick up some of those guys who retreated, that's great. Did I see Unscripted? I did. Oof. Okay, um, yeah, everyone converge. <laughs> we are going to put an end to the TNG menace. All right, underground, our priest has arrived. Move them over here to pick those guys up. We have our temples built. Let's build a lab. Palisades in four months. You can research. Actually, what can you build? Let's take a look. We haven't really gone through. Shields would be nice. Horned helmet. That would be rather nice. We could give an extra attack to our Oni if we had the horned helmet. And that is pretty cheap. How many nature gems are we sitting on? 38. Do I want to wait for a hammer before we start that? Maybe. All right, we have some armors we can make. Okay, what we want, we want some boots here. I think the boots of the messenger is what I want. This would work too, some reinvigoration. Boots of the messenger though would give us a bunch more map move, which would be super helpful. We would quite enjoy that. All right, over here. Acorns can be pretty good. Bark skin amulet. Yeah. Okay. Nothing off of those that we want right now. They just don't have good paths for what we're trying to do. Um, you. Yeah. Uh, you. Move over there. Over here. I have our hero. Now, he should be able to summon in some of those ghost generals. Yes. And those cost 10 death gems. We're sitting on 255. Man, we need we need to get some more death summons. We need something better. Yeah, but for now, generals. We need, we need some leadership. Desperately need some leadership. All right. Um, Air Mage has been here. All right, so Astral has not... Still searching, that poor guy. Uh, pick these guys up. 
Yeah, this guy only can ferry 10 at a time, so I have to stay on top of this. And those are our better dudes, so I, I do just want to make sure that they get what they need. All right, and what was happening here? I think I was just shuffling these guys. I'm not sure why. Or maybe he's just late for the siege. The siege defense. And that was a pretty nasty little ball they had there. So maybe I do need to leave him here. We just pop him on research. I also see he picked up a, an item. Hit points plus 10. Acid resist plus 10. And it's heavy. Defense minus 3. Gives a lot of encumbrance. Protection 20. Is that even good? We normally have 17 with no encumbrance. I don't think that is good for him, really. Uh, stash that, please. I don't know where you looted that from, but that is not better than what you actually have. Okay, okay. Um, go see what's actually next to my, my throne that they're near. I don't like that. And over here... All of you guys back to research. You, I keep, I keep thinking I've told this guy to move. I'm not sure what's going on here. I want you to go here. Make it, make it happen. You, you really do need to do that. All right. Well, in that one. All right. Starting to feel pretty good. When T and she goes down, I'm, I want to start getting thrones. We've got one. We need four to win on these settings. And we, we're touching enough thrones to win. It's just a matter of getting there and claiming them, essentially. All right, more Thermaturgy. Three levels to go. Again, I'm just going to pop a couple there so we don't have an accident like we did last time. All right, we got a Ghost General. Let's check him out. These guys are really nice. If they were sacred, they would be a, a very good summable thug. 20 HP. They're ethereal. They've got a chill aura. Uh, they've got Spirit Sight, they've got Fear, Cold Resist, they're Amphibians. Very good all around. Decent armor coming in, has a hat, has a Bane Blade as his weapon. Great guy. Good leadership. Um, the other uh, Demon Generals that we have are also good, but we can get this guy without Fort Turns, and we're really, really struggling on Fort Turns, so... Maybe get some Shikiomi, and then we could have him go underwater. Let's get a second one. Let's do that first. Just so that we can get uh, more guys out, basically. Alright, what do we all have here? He's heading underground. He's new. Let's get our orders on him. And our helmet on him. Alright, move him back. I don't think we're going to send him to the TNG front. I think we've got that bottled up. So, if we weren't going to do that, what do we want to do? Third one and try the other underground? What is over here? Long Dead, Bakimono Shows, Spectral Mages. I think we could take that. I think we could take that. Yeah, head head down here, buddy. Uh, whoops. You down there. Alright, and over here. Searched. Move on. Nice find to get those. I I don't know if the site, the like indie mage recruitment is higher than it used to be, but it feels really good. I don't know if I just haven't played in a while. Maybe that's why or what, but it feels good the amount of mages I found. They weren't perfect. They weren't horrible, but good mix of them. Different interesting things. I'm also noticing that we're getting some spawns down here. Not a huge amount, but some. So that's interesting. I would absolutely love it if this would start spawning lots and lots of them. Remember, we do get a income increase 
from underground forts, so that'll be very good. All right, you go ahead and search. Palisade is up in three. Lonka just took their entrance. Huh, where is that on the surface? That must be this one. And that must be Lonka itself. It is. So something happened and they weren't able to get through here. Or they just decided to concentrate on the water? Huh. Either way, I don't like that you're down here near my throne. I don't like that one bit. Go away. All right, all of you guys head to TNG ASAP. You can just wait there. I do like that they killed that army though. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, dropping off more demons. Heading back. All right, we got our little raiding party ready. I want to raid these guys really bad, but I don't know how good it's going to be because I'm going to struggle to raid because I can't see where their troops are. But let's, let's give it a try. Why not? Worst thing that could happen is a bunch of Bakemono die, and somehow, somehow I'll be able to get over that. We'll see. Um... Yeah, I think it's time to get him off of search mode. He needs to get his butt moving. We need we need more combat power, so. Yeah. Another one. In fact, I think I'm to the point that I'm going to put that on repeat. Hopefully, I will be able to do that. And, oh. He also has... Yeah, let's have him forge our hammer. Rather than move out. Wait, Smasher. That's not what I wanted. Forge item. Dwarven Hammer. Good thing I caught that. I would have felt pretty pretty bad if I made the wrong thing there. Okay. Research is plugging along. They're moving up. As soon as we can get in this, this fortification, they're done. With their god down, we've definitely got that. We get this one, we get the throne by our capital, the two underground, and then we just need to find one more. We could get the one right here if we wanted, so that's another option. Found a site. Well, pestilence spreads deadly diseases. Oh, oh, I hate that. That means it's going to be all of our defensive troops here are going to be getting plagued. That's stinky. I don't like that one bit. Nothing I can do about that, though. Okay. Um, well, I think we're going to start some... Is this a plus? No. All right, well... Do we have other people sitting around? Yeah, we have other people who could do that. You. Give me a monthly ritual of Shikiomi. I'll show you those guys when they come out. They're very nice. All right. Um... Are you guys able to be led by the Demon General? Or the Ghost General? Yes, you are. Hold an attack. No. Yeah. Hold an attack. Rearmost enemies. Glorious, glorious command. <laughs> and then... Chaff... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're, this isn't going to be a battle formation. This is just going to be a traveling formation in case we need more people to take that wall down. Then you. He's dying. I don't want to give the hammer to him. Of, of course, the guy that was going to have him do it, and they've come up with the siege. Dang it. Okay, here we go. This guy can have the hammer. And then when he goes to forge the helmet, instead of costing five, it's only going to cost us three. 
That's so much better. So much better than it was. Right, keep moving up there. All right, what do you siege me with? 110 units. Uh, Cave Drake. I think we're fine here. Do we have anyone who can do? No, we don't, of course. All right, you are going to get two Earth Gems. And you are going to be on... Is that script three, script four, two? Apparently I didn't script that. Okay. We're going to cast a specific spell. We're going to do... Crystal Iron Skin. End of Weakness. Conservative. So he will have to spend a gem to boost himself to two earth, and then he'll spend a gem on the cost of the spell. But... As we saw, that is going to be vital to our victory. You know what? These guys that don't have any range, you should probably be in that group. The totally not going to sacrifice themselves group. It's a good place to be. All right. And you, I don't actually, I actually want you here. Hmm. Is there a command? What I want to know is, can I do move and attack or move and pillage? Commander, select all. No, that's not it. Unit orders, here we go. Blood hunt. Defend, break siege. Village. There's no moving patrol. I, I swear that where it was. Oh, here we go. Shift click map, raid province. Shift click map, move, control shift map, moving patrol. I think that's. Okay, so you. Shift click. I think that's it. Hopefully. I want to cut them off here because if we win the battle and we own this, we'll kill anybody who retreats automatically. They won't get to recuperate any of their troops. And I think we are going to do a breakout here. So let's get this set up. We need to be very cognizant of Valkyries. Did they say they had any here? Doesn't say it, but that's, that's what got our guy last time. So let's plan that they're here. And if they're not, we'll be pleasantly surprised. All right, so which group of guys is in the back? These, they're not going to actually be here. So we need to take that into account. All right, so you. Whoops. You. Here. Hopefully that'll hide him well enough. Maybe, maybe not. Don't think I'm going to risk this guy, but let's just set him on some spells. All right, so you, 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 and you are going to go for Break Siege. I think we can take those okay. For here, all. And you can just take them down there. <sighs> Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Yeah, I think we're going to have to have him go and deal with that. Because we can't just let them roam around willy-nilly wherever they want. We just need to get them, like, off our backs long enough to finish off T and Chi, and then we can fully focus on those guys, and it won't be nearly so bad. Okay, and our Prophet's down there. He's going to have to head up here and claim that throne. Our Priest is here, too. He's just going to move up there, pick up that Demon on the way. Um, I guess he could preach while he waits. We're waiting for that palisade to finish, and we got two months. Everything else is good to go. All right, up here. They tried to break out. Battle on T and G. Um, not even worth watching. We just defeated them there. Battle of two woods. This is going to be our PD. Yep. 
That's their somewhat of a relief for us. I'm not worried about it though. And then that, I just want to know what was here. Okay, just a little, a little tiny group. All right, we got. What are we? Okay, that's that event that's going on. Eventual crone has cursed us. We've started to destroy the walls. They're lightly damaged. Good. Okay. Next, we're good. Process. All right, we got our Shikomi. Let's check those out. Those are nice troops. Ghost Rending Claws. So they're magic. Good attack. Decent damage. They have a special Stop the Dead, which does paralyzed damage. And it's armor negating, so they are very nice. Um, low protection, but they are demons, so we can buff them with our End of Weakness spell. They are also sacred, so we can give them our Awe, which will help keep them up and running. So we are just going to have him. He's just going to manufacture those forever. We've got so many death gems. Happy to have that go on. All right, this guy, helmet. I think we're going to, yeah, geez. we got a leak. All right, let's see what else is here. So we search for sites, we search for sites. That's them just poking us again. Yeah. Two woods. We will view that battle, though. Ideally, we wipe them here. That would be my hope. Oof. Yeah, that's that's dangerous. Okay. Not the worst. Get those initial hits in. Where are we at with end in of weakness here, buddy? You have not cast into weakness. You, you need to cast into weakness. Why are you not doing that? It makes me very sad. Because you can only spend another number of gems equal to your path. So he can only spend one, and he needs one to do that. Oh shoot, that was a mistake on my part. Oh, that's, that's gonna be bad. Okay, it looks like we're gonna carry the day anyways, but that was a huge mistake. All right, well, we wiped out a decent amount. We probably have heavy losses there. Yeah. Don't really care about the Bone Tribe. They're just here for, I don't know, chaff, I suppose. Chaff that can do a little bit of killing. Our Aka Onis owning it yet again. No deaths. Those guys are really good. The Ko-Onis, we lost some, but still, I mean, the kill count was there. And had our mage worked properly, and had I scripted that right, we wouldn't have lost nearly so much. Okay, we booped them off here again. Yeah, a lot of them retreated to there. You... Need to recruit old dude down here. You forge helmet. You. Uh, let me just check their rituals. Anything good you could do? Dark knowledge. Some ogres. Ogres could be good for some sieging. Could be something. Do corpse man construction. I don't really want to spend those air gems though. I do kind of want to save. Try to get as many Tingo as we can get. Get the king. No. You're just researching. Actually, hold on. Forge. Can we do Alquils? We can do Alquils. That would really help our research. Um, that is air gems though. I do think that's probably worth it. But I need I need another hammer if I'm gonna do that. Um Yeah. Change of plans. You research. Give back the hammer. Over here, you... No, it needed to be three, didn't it? Oh, he's not in. Alright, we're going to save the gems, though, for a couple turns. I need to, I need to get the second hammer out. 
wait there. No. You you were supposed to come over here and attack, but you didn't. So that makes me a little sad. Let's just go in deep. <clears throat> and then we'll pop out, we'll take a territory, and then run away. <laughs> That's the plan with him. There. There. Are we ready to attack? No. The walls are moderately damaged. Okay, so we're getting there. Maybe maybe some ogres would be good. All right, we do have reinforcements coming up here, though. So that's all right. We'll wait for that. All right, you are back to research. Research. Search. Got a lot of unrest here. Let's um, let's get that down. Let's do a couple of patrols. And I think we're gonna take what's here, and we're actually gonna deliver that up there. And I think we're gonna grab another one. We need some more movement. Okay, we're going to chase that way. He's going to have to try to go that way. Um, yeah, more of those survived than I thought. Astral has been searched. Move down there. And he's bringing all kinds of garbage up with him. Get these guys off the board though. We're paying for them. They might as well get up here and die for us. Roll that one. All right. Searched sparkling fields, I think. No. No more sites. Okay. Battle in Inca. Oh, did we actually lose somebody there? We did. Oh, what happened? Oh, he probably, yeah, he got withered. Oh, that bless is killing me, literally. All right, so what happens here? I also see he's getting banished, spammed. Okay, so he's been regening pretty good. So fatigue's a little high. Yeah. Dang, that's not good. All right, so from you, come that way. Still gonna try to cut him off there. I need you to summon me some more ghost generals. And I think we're going to move out some of these troops. Stay behind troops, move here. They're on discipline so they, won't, they don't care what I have to say. Um, attack, rearmost, just based on the um, barbarians running ahead. And we're going to head out to we'll send these and they will be his bodyguards. Ghost General Summoning. I'm almost wondering if I want to empower him, but I guess I don't have enough earth even if I wanted to. Alright, over here. Search. Oh, they took out my temple over here. And the guy I just recruited. Ugh. So annoying. Alright. Yeah, having stealthy troops is a big advantage. It's a big advantage. It's hard to tell where they're at. Hard to tell where they're going. Alright, she's just going to have to chill for a minute here. Have them go down that way. Okay. 
Okay, we've got our fort up here. We're going to recruit a general. And I, I want some troops in here, but I guess we just do it anyways. They're going to get diseased. We'll, we'll do a batch and we'll see how bad it is. If it's really bad, I'll just stop and we'll just, I don't know, hope nobody comes over here. All right, and we were going to make a play for this. Yeah, I still think I want to attempt that. Let's actually take this for more resources. You preach. Leave those behind, please. You move up here. All right, so Shikomi, battle, battle, unexpected. Still need more time. People are leaving. Upcoming arena battle. All right. Palisade's done. Walls are severely damaged. Okay. Who could go to do the battle? That Nephilim guy is still going to be in there. And I don't, haven't had anything change that makes me suddenly believe that I would win that fight. Maybe I won't go to this one. I wouldn't mind throwing somebody at that, but I need this guy over here to do that. I need those guys down there to do that. And I need these guys here for this. So I just don't have a spare, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. I would like revenge there. But can't can't let revenge get in the way of victory. And that's what we're keeping our eye on. All right, let's roll that one. All right, tons of things happening here. So battle there, battle there. He went south, it looks like. Head down here. My defense back up. It's super annoying that they took that. What did you pick up? Pendant of Courage. Sure, you can have that. Even though you don't need it. I should trade that out to somebody. Yeah. Back to the lab. That's actually I knew you no good. You're undead, you don't care. Head that way. Under siege again by another large force, and this time I don't have my guys here. This is becoming a problem. I really need these guys to get done over here. It's becoming a major problem. I don't have a helmet currently. Um Yeah, do a turn of research. Do. Go to general. You can have the hammer briefly. I kind of wonder if I want to give him the horned helm. I think I do want to give him the horned helm. You. That just gives me an, like, an extra attack. I'm not too worried about the little bit of encumbrance or the attack uh, fatigue because he'll have Soul Vortex up. Give him our script. Man, those withering weapons. What a what a lucky bless on their part. Okay, keep searching. Nope, oh, we gotta stop here for a second because we got enemies about. All right, you still good? You still look good. Keep going. Keep going. Actually, hang on. I think we head here. And we try to get these guys broken out. Yeah, I think we do. Spells, undisciplined. Okay, so you are going to break siege, move, and move. And then that also means, oh, they're all dead. Ugh. Yikes, okay. I'm not sure we can take that. That's a large force. 
basically I let them hack at my fortification for a little bit. Nope, they're gonna get through. I do have to make an attempt. Are you guys ready to get killed? We can storm. Okay. Let's get this organized. We do not have the best leaders here either. That's not the best thing to have happen either. Okay. Um, Yeah, not, not having good leadership with these guys is going to hurt because we have a lot of cowardly units and they really need that extra morale to stay in the fight. All right, we're going to actually have the barbarians start in the back. We're going to have our little dudes here. These guys, put them like here, there, back, back. I have so much, so much tied up on this front. Really need to get this done. All right. Um, air shield, personal iron skin, end weakness. Everyone else is on the standard script, essentially. These guys are all undisciplined, so I can't tell them what to do. You guys are on stay behind troops. All right. You guys, storm castle. Okay, we need this to win, and then we could just come right into here, right into the backside, and start attacking. Hopefully that's their main army over here, and they'd have to run over here and defend themselves, or if they don't, then we will just take all their stuff. All right, you need to break siege, not defend. I think maybe that was my oops last time. Somehow I managed to turn them on that. All right, down here, you... Claim the throne. Has anyone else claimed? No, I'm going to be the first. That's good. Set up some... Zots are terrible, so hopefully nothing ever attacks there, because they will not stop that. All right. yeah. I think we are going to take all these territories, just to up, up our income a little. It's not as healthy as it was a minute ago. Okay, you can keep going. We're just going to let those guys rampage, I guess. Super annoying. Picking up troops. Stay behind troops. All here. I think you guys are actually disciplined. Yeah, so I can actually give you orders. Um, yeah, he needs to just pick up more troops. I can't, can't go with what he's got. And you are going to try to help with that siege. You're two turns out, not one turn. No, I didn't plan on you being there. Okay. Head that way. Go via this direction? No, that gets there quicker. All right, you. What is the command for pillage? I want to pillage. Uh. Control Raid Province Shift click map. I don't think that did Raid Province. Oh, you're not a raider. Oops. Okay, well, that's what's going on with that. We're going to have just attack. Okay, over here, our comedy duo out and about. Come over here. Go that way. Okay, research. Thermocharge is at five. Almost to six. Getting there. Five turns. That'll really help. Getting those extra demon spawns. Stinks that we didn't get more mountains. Uh, this would have been a totally different game if we had had some better troops. And we just only have those few down there. But it is what it is. Not, not the end of the world or anything. Okay. Do I want to move a guy out without a helmet? I think we just have to. We're at that point where things have to happen whether I like it or not. Okay. Go ahead and hit next turn on that. Pour myself some more water here. 
see if it's still warm for my tea. Trying to keep my voice going. I'm, I like to talk a lot, as you can tell, but I'm up to six hours, so it's quite a while to keep a stream of conscious talk going and going and going. But it's all right. <laughs> Got to get used to it. All right, we claimed our throne, which had those really good mages. Summoned a ghost general, summons more reinforcements. Faircliff. Now they're attacking us here with not much. We can hold that one out. That way. Two woods. That's the one we wanted to watch. Okay, let's see what happens here. We really need to see End of Weakness go off. No, this is not the end of weakness fight. Never mind. That was a TNG. This is the, the sad, desperate defense that's happening. Okay, luckily their Volkri tried to jump in on a Dione and he just ended them. That's something at least. What are you? Oh, corpse candles. Okay. Not too, too worried about that. I think we got this one. These guys carrying the day yet again. So good. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Good, good work. Alright, T and Chi. This is the one I was expecting. End of weakness. Alright, so what do they have? Not much. Gelatinous cubes could be dangerous. Our wolves will go in first. Yeah, I think this will be just fine. I'm not too worried about this fight. Did our end of weakness go off? Yes. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. You chilling back here, buddy? He's just chilling. He's tired. He's really tired. It's all right. You did your job. I don't care. Just don't die. That's that's my last request. All right. The cowards leave, but the Oni are in. Now these cubes could be really dangerous. They're size 7, so they're big enough to actually try to trample. Oh, good. We just ended them. We didn't even care. Yeah, didn't care at all. Let's go clean up these walls. Yep, yep. End of TNG. Thorn in my side for far too long. Caused the, the open wound that allowed other things to fester. The enemy temple was found and swiftly raised. Good. Good riddance. Alright, we got attacked here. That's totally fine by me. What do you got here? Enough that I actually do have to think about that. Alright, so... Question one. Can you move across there? No. Question two, can you pick up some more Earth Gems? Yes. Okay, so that's their last real army. That might be, well, I need to travel this way anyways, so. Yeah, I think all of you guys have to come here. So we need to leave somebody behind because I need a temple built. I can't recruit there this turn yet. So we get what they had. So we get the gate of spring and autumn. So we get all this income. Unfortunately, none of that is earth. And the bamboo, that's their sacred building. So nothing that's going to help us there. Um, yeah, nothing super useful, fortunately. All right, come in here to try to get rid of that, get rid of that. All 
oof, getting rather light. I think we do need to recruit. We just need more bodies in here so they can't break that wall that fast. All right, now that we've taken that, we are just going to slink off into the night. Later. All I want is them to have to spend time going to retake it, like what they're doing to me. I don't care if I actually hold it. It'd be nice if I could destroy some temples or something while I was there, I suppose. Yeah, let's get some more scouts out while I'm seeing that and thinking about it. And then the underground. I wonder if that connects. Don't like it if it does. Um, start heading that way. Preach a little bit here. Uh, better set this guy up for full, just in case. Hopefully he will never have to do anything. He will be a very happy retired general, but if he's not, all right, and I will take this guy because I believe, yeah, he's actually not undisciplined, so he can guard commander. If you could just recruit this guy, it'd be amazing. Such a good troop, but unfortunately, they're very rare. Um, I think I'm also going to leave this priest here. Just for now, at least. All right, over here. Start heading that way. We need to try to clear that guy out. Get our one. Got our gun. Yeah, I think we're done with those. I got enough out. Not too worried about astral. It'd be nice to have, but yeah. All right, give me another helmet. And you could just chill for a minute. Just wait. Actually, you can just patrol, I suppose. Here, have a few troops. Just in case there's a spy or something, we can wipe them out quick. You... Why did you stop? Don't see a reason why. I think we're going to put him back to research. I don't think I need another demon general at the moment. We're here. In fact, now that I have that other place, stop recruiting that. Go back underground. We had a better recruit mage here. We have this guy. Adept of the Silver Order of the Halls. 23 research. It will be a little higher because he'll have another path. He is expensive. He is old. Don't care. Want research. That's what that comes down to. One every four turns because we have crappy forts. It is what it is, I guess, you know, it's all there is for it. All right, and he has a couple more turns of space. Swimming men, eh. Okay, this guy, that way. Search. All right, doing pretty good here. All right, uh, Marsha kill me, got that. That over here, what, what was that one? Oh. Oh, that's south of TNG, okay. That makes way more sense. For some reason I thought that was back further, further to the west. And I was like, who are these people? How did they get here? Let's peek at that. This is kind of gonna be TNG's last hurrah, I think. This is what they have left. It's not even mostly their own troops. Fortunately, end of weakness goes off. I don't really want that for this fight. That's a waste. Uh, I have to be at labs to pick up gems. So, I got one more fight in him, and then I'll be out. These clay guys? Oh, just, yeah, these are terracotta soldiers. Okay, that's what I thought. 
little bit a little bit tougher than their standard line troops but no match you're not wounded are you oh you are you crippled oh man sucks man sorry to hear that all right out of there what did you do more wow oh geez and there's there's their god okay okay What are my odds of catching him, you think? Because I would love to kill him. That would turn off their bless, I think. I think we're going for it. Alright, what do we got here? Mm, a guy that I, whoops, did not have scripted. I'm glad I caught that. You here. Go ahead and throw those guys in. Go ahead and throw those guys. Yeah. No, I don't want anything to hurt my morale here. All right, one here. Do that in the middle. One there. Are you immune to poison? Yeah, good, good, good. That Draco Lich will probably have a poison breath or a decay breath or something. Okay. Oh, he lost his mount. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was that was painful. We lost a lot of troops on that. Good good troops. All right, let's consolidate here. I don't know if these guys can get a mount back because they're summons. I guess we can find out. All right, from here, we're gonna split up. We're gonna have the crippled guy go this direction and everyone else is gonna head that direction. This will finish off TNG hopefully, and this will get into them and start hurting them. That also sets us up for victory if we can get that thrown down below. All right, I want him I don't want him to be in that fight, but I want him to be right there. So we're going to preach for another turn and then we'll follow. All right, you. I think we're just going to stay there and keep collecting. Oh, oh we're going to go here and collect. Oh, we are here. Whoops. Come back there. That's what, I, that's what I need. Okay. Now he built us a temple. We're going to head out that way. Our unrest is too high. Um, okay. Go ahead and patrol that down. I want to get some recruit in there so I can at least get some uh, mages coming out of there. Alright, we're going to need some more info down that direction. You guys can search. Make me another helmet. So glad that we can do those out of uh, nature gems. That really helps my poor, poor earth gems to stay alive. Let's make sure you actually get your orders properly. And then head out. What are you guys mostly? I wonder if we just take a moonshot. Let's do it. I'm curious to see if he could do it now that we have Vortex. And if not, it's just one guy. We're mass producing him at this point. Because if I can take that, I can start fortifying it. I'll have two in the below, one here, and one there would be the victory. So we're getting really close. This could this could close up at any time. Which is good. My uh, poor voice, I don't know if I can do seven hours. We'll see. Alright. Tea, please still be a little bit warm at least. 
Nope. It's cold as Helheim's heart. All right. Oops, so we had a battle there. I don't know if their god was there or not. Let's see. Show me Dracolich. Yes. Now, the next thing is, can we kill him? One fire, five death. Nothing stupendous. He did have a plague breath. Okay. See how this one goes. Wolves are in. Wolves are dead. I noticed he put up flame shields. Good move. All right, he flew over here. Wiped out our demons, basically. Ah, dang. Oh, there he is. Okay, good, good. All right, so he hit us with that plague breath. Did it do anything? If it did, I already recouped it. I don't think demons are immune to plague or disease, but not hurt him. Or, or he missed. That's also very possible. He's got 80 HP. We've already had him lose an eye. A couple of our barbarians got stuck, so they were hitting him. That's pretty good. One of our Dione... Are you out? Yeah, he's out. Man, how did you fail that? 19. Coward. All right. Yash, Yashikuza? Yashikasha? Yashikazu? There we go. I got it. Yashikazu, it's up to you, man. One more hit. He's at 5 HP. 5 HP. You want to be the, the right-hand man? This is your opportunity. I guess we also have the Shikomi coming over here. And they have the Ghost Rending Claws. So I, I think we'll get it as long as we don't just full retreat. Like we just probably did. Yeah, no, he retreated. Okay. Rats. Did he die anyways, though? No, he didn't. Alright, battle over there. I don't even think we need to watch. Let's just clean it up. Although he has a second wound. Crippled and never healing. Oof. I don't think you're long for this world, man. That's what happens when you don't have a helmet and you're cursed. <laughs> the only one to get afflictions, really, though. It's probably because of the curse. Right over here, we have our six. Alright, he's moving to catch up. What do you got? Yamabushi Militia. I think we can take that. I'm almost certain we can take that. Moving in. Alright, over here... Draco Lich is here. I think we're going to pursue. That's pretty risky, but there's just so much benefit to killing him. Do I have anything ritual-wise I could lob at him? I would love to just whack him and get him dead. Um, fake castle... Terrifying flames. No, none, none of these are damage spells. What's this one do? All sites of glamour revealed. Eh. Earth gem alchemy. No more. Nope. Nothing. Nothing there. How close are we? Next turn. Okay, we got a big one next turn to have. We got plenty of fire gems. Yes, we do. Okay. You forge horned helmet. Still searching. Uh, head on down that way. Just, I really need to get more scouts out and about. We, we just don't have enough sight. It's getting to the point that I need to. I need forewarning when things are going to happen. All right, you can patrol. Yeah, still need to get that and rest down further. We can at least recruit, though. Um, are we going to grab one of those? I think we'll grab some archers for this one. 
Alright, you guys have done search there. Move over. Still looking for more Earth Gems. We're still only at plus two. That feels really bad. I'm shocked by how low that is. Okay, attempting a throne fight. Attempting a throne fight. This one, much more of a moonshot. Uh, moving down to get this one. No, wait, I'm lag behind one more turn. Yep, there's all those diseases. All right, let's uh, turn off recruitment. I don't want to just burn money into things that are going to get diseased and die. Hopefully we'll be okay here. Um, such a waste. The AI, the AI is a little overly scared of that usually in Dominions 5. I don't know if it is in 6, but just discourage them from coming over there and taking that throne. All right, we're one, two, three turns out from that, four turns from the claim. And then we'd have to get to the surface, do the second claim. Okay, so we got we got a little bit to go here. All right, um, set that one. We're under siege in two woods. How bad is that? Oops, how bad is that siege? Not too bad. Yeah, we got a moment. We got a moment. I'm gonna try to kill that god first. Okay. Yeah, I think we're all set there. Hopefully, I, I'm pretty certain the Eastern Throne will fall. The Western one, I'm not certain about. We will see. It's hard to tell. These uh, level two thrones are, they have different garrisons that I'm used to seeing there. So I don't really have a read on any of these things yet. All right. Um, something came, oh, he came back. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm willing to take that. I would absolutely love to see that dragon die. We were so close last time. All right, get them, boys. Slow that down. 130 HP. It's quite a lot. And we got a retreater. So his fear seems to be working better than ours for some reason. Feels like. Weakened, limp, lost an eye. How you doing? Still at the only at 16, but you're still here. Nope, and he's out. Dang. Again, I think we were betrayed by our own losses. And had them morale route. That's too bad. Alright. Um, throne? Okay, this is the iffy throne. Alright, what do you all have? Tons of long dead, so hopefully our fire shield goes off. A little bit of heavy cav. I'm not too worried about that. Death water mages. That could be pretty spooky. And nothing else is dangerous. So unless they have some spell that just is misery, I think we're going to get this one. All right, so got our temper flesh off. That's good. Really need our soul vortex. Okay, we're good. Yeah, fatigue back to zero. Perfect. Get that flame shield up too, buddy. Yep. Yeah. Ignore those guys. All right, we're good to go. We're totally good to go here. I think we can basically kill an unlimited amount of to of soldiers. So oh, morale's at 20. So ideally we'll have some undead come in to get killed by the fire shield. And we'll have some humans come in so that we can keep draining them to keep our fatigue all the way down. We're going to go, oops. We're going to go turbo speed. We're going to go turbo speed because I think this is going to be a long grind, but I do want to see it. Yes, this, this is what having a super combatant is all about. Wade in there and just sloths and whole piles of bones and rivers of blood. He will carry the day, hopefully. Yeah, so nice that you get that um, 
fatigue off of that vortex. If it was just the HP, we would fatigue out, but we carry the day. We could have done this a while ago. I am happy to have it. Sad that I didn't do this earlier. All right. Next. Nope, oh, that was the same one. Next. Okay, this is Independence and Royal. Okay, this is just cleaning up a, a province. We're not, not caring about that one. Strong Bay. This is the other one. If we won that first one, we almost certainly won this one. Go ahead and send those doggos in. I guess we should probably see what it is. Wish I don't care about. What are you guys? Oh, okay. These are like middle age or late age guys from. Uh, it's not Yomi anymore. It's uh, Yomon, I think. Is their name? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. My memory's not good this long. <laughs> But that's all right. They're definitely from. That's what one of the nations we turn into, essentially, once all the demons are killed. All right, and we have three of our guys this time up and running. We're gonna go in fast speed again, so it's gonna be the same outcome. These guys are a lot better um, than what we were fighting before. Uh, Nineteen katana is not bad, but human troops are not gonna finish us off like that. You have to be an elf with withering weapons or a frost giant to put any danger into us. All right, unexpected event. Unexpected event. That's worrisome. Okay. All right, so for over here, we're gonna go pretty heavy into the PD. We're gonna try to be sneaky. We're gonna try to build a palisade with our scout. Oops. Try to build a palisade with our scout. And we're going to have our super combatants move on. And I want to cause just havoc in their lands, ideally. And then from over here... I need a demon priest. And I'll have you come over and you can build the lab. Yeah, just have a bunch of those guys come with me. This is... Still haven't set that? Keep meaning to do that. Cast specific... Oh, nope. Cast specific spell. Skeletal body. Advance and cast spells. And since I'm here, I probably should organize these. Uh, that's fine. All right, let's actually have him go and him stay. I don't, the barbarians aren't very useful anymore. They're just causing route problems. I don't really want them up there to cause more problems. All right, you, what are you? You have my raid group. All right, attack current province. Yeah. Hopefully this will pull them back off of my front line over here because I'm much weaker. If not though, that's all right, we will hammer at them. They, I think, I don't think they can take us at this point, basically. And set our script on. Head out. Alright, so we did retreat off of that, so that's good. I think, I think we bounce off that again. If he's willing to throw his god in there and he's not killing me, it, all it takes is one lucky shot. One lucky shot and we got it. All right, and over here. Uh, yeah, okay, we're not going to have enough to start a palisade, so we'll do 10. Have him search. Throne of Death. Increases death by a maximum of two, so that's going to negate our growth scales. Oh, no. Here is plus two, our domain gets plus one. That's fine. It's not good for us or anything, but we can soak it. And... I can't start a palisade this turn. I could start a lab. I don't care. I need this to get finished. I need, I need my profit back up here. Hurry up. So that would be three, and this will be four. So that's victory. All I need to do is hold on to those and get my profit to go claim them, and then I'm golden. 
Right, what do you got on you? Take more barbarians. We'll just take a bunch of barbarians. Take those. 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 Alright. Uh, we want to hold and attack large enemy monsters. And you guys here. There. Kind of starting to set up a attempt at getting that dragon. Alright. Head out to the front. He is heading to the front. I think I am happy with the amount of helmets I have currently. You can go back to research. And we need to cast our new spell we got. So this was one of our big, big research goals. That's a fire spell. End of culture. This is the end of culture for the entire world as chaos will increase worldwide. Spawn rate of Oni, both from temples and under friendly domain, and from Oni generals, will be greatly increased. It is our time. We're going to overcast it by a lot because I don't want anybody else to be able to take it down. And we don't have too many ways to spin fire gems anyways. We'll go that much. 109. Don't tell the AI. Over here, get some PD. We're just establishing a border slash um, getting getting some more income over there. And we've searched there. Keep moving. Okay, that's everybody. Let's roll it. Alright, this is coming to a close here. Um, like I said, we've got the thrones that we need. We just need to get them claimed. Um, if I had taken that throne up top sooner, we'd be in a lot better shape. Unfortunately, for Yomi, I don't have access to any other Holy Threes, so it's just going to be my Prophet. And our God does not have the ability to move or teleport, so he is not going to be of any help claiming, claiming the thrones. Lazy as he is, unfortunately. Alright, um... Yomi attacking Helheim. Alright, so this is one of the northern battles. We don't need to watch that. That's a victory. Frostman. I don't recognize these because we haven't been fighting over these yet. Okay, this is the solo guy. Did I bump into anything dangerous? No. Alright. This is probably our raider? No. Another, another double. This is going after the god again. We are so going to end up getting withered at one point. This is like our third attempt. I will say bravo to these gentlemen for being so brave. So brave that they're willing to just keep going. All it takes is a lucky couple crits. He's got 162 and he's wounded. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, he's get he's spreading domain over here too and that's not helping either. Did he wither me? No, he didn't. Okay, good. I think he withered some of those barbarians. And this is actually working out pretty well. I, I like that these are spread out. Uh, he's not in the fear of that way. And maybe we can kill enough troops that he ends up retreating. Even if he has a friendly escape, there is still a small chance that he retreats and just auto-dies. So I am more than happy. This is good a setup as we probably could have gotten there. Ah, nope. Fear takes us out again. What do we get him down to? 154. Okay. No new, no new wounds, unfortunately. But we did not get withered. Alright, this guy's hanging on. Let's fast forward this. Alright, he's into it. And he actually... Okay, this is interesting. This is really interesting. So he landed behind me. So even if he breaks morale, he will attack what's directly behind him. They will not try to path around. So this has just... Unless he retreats by flying away, which he's looks like he's going to. What do we do? We must have hit him. I think we just... We really hit him. Okay. Let's see what happened there. Was that just now when he landed? Oh, that takes forever. Alright, let's see what happened here. Um, yeah, we actually hit... We hit pretty hard here. So, Dione hit... Surf Warrior. Oh no, that's a Surf Warrior. That's not him. Alright, so my other Oni actually did that damage. I just hadn't noticed. But that's super good. So we've got him crippled. 
he's limp, he's weakened, he's got a never healing wound, and he's lost an eye. So we are getting him. We are definitely getting him. Never healing wound, 20% HP reduction. Sooner or later. We still might get an attack off here before he gets a chance to fly away. That could be the end of him. Let's take that normal speed. What do you got, buddy? What do you got? You or me? Ah, oh, and he's out. Okay. That's alright. I'm willing to do those fights every day of the week. I lost nothing for that. And he's just slowly taking wounds. Slowly taking wounds. Alright, what's this one? Oh, just border cleaning. Alright, events. Just some unrest. Okay, we don't have enough men to breach this. That's not surprising. Um... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave one guy there to keep them from being able to recruit. And my other two are going to carry on. Over here, raiding party is going to melt back into the fog. He'll head that way. I'll head that way, I think. All right, over here, move up. So now we're finally hitting them in the bank. And their troops are very expensive, whereas we're only basically getting Dione and some researchers. So ours are not very expensive. So we, we are happy with these trades. Very happy with these trades. And our border is expanding slowly. Although maybe I should have watched that because we did not actually survive. What happened here? I noticed we've died twice to these. So what what is it that these guys have? Did they just get a lucky lance hit? Will they have a weird blessing? I guess they came in before we're done buffing, so maybe that's what happens. So we have our Bless. We got the Iron Skin. Looking for Temper next. We're literally going to die to chip damage? Is that what happens? Temper Flesh is up. Fire Shield is up. He didn't get Soul Vortex off. He must have got interrupted. That's what happened. And he died, right? Yeah, he died, died. Okay, well, that's alright. We are we are pumping one of those out every two turns now, so the losses are not nearly as painful as they were when we started. Alright, we need to worry about the Siege, though. As happy as I am to keep whacking that god for no reason, that's getting dangerous, that we may end up losing that, and I do not want to lose that. Alright, let's actually have you come down, and you guys go up, because I need to relieve that siege too. You guys, over here, you build palisades, you build temple. Not really a very efficient use of our guys, but... We definitely want to make sure we have this. I just don't have anyone else around yet, and around and available right now. So they get to build it. All right, underground. All right, next turn. Let's check this. All right, do we want to bring in little guys? I don't think we do. I think the little guys have caused us too many problems. Uh, too many problems when there's that few of them. So we're only going to take in the super combatants. They're going to head in. Um, they're running the right scripts, although we need to be back. Good catch there. Those were from a different setup from a different fight. All right, you hurry over here. They're going to move in. Uh, okay, um, I need to get a ghost general down here because the undead won't have this issue of getting diseased. I need to do that like right now because he's just gonna, that's just gonna continuously be a problem. Um, who do we have? We do have one up and ready. Head down, bud. And then our god casts the global spell. Where is the spells on this one? Global enchantments. End of culture. So we are the only person who has anything up. Let's see, we unlocked a couple others. Let's just check and see if there's anything of interest that we might want to do. Um, this is one of the new ones. 
Uh, scale of production is increased by two. Unrest increases. Eh. Eh. We're not really using production. It would be some money, but... Eh. Forgotten Palace. All right, we could, we could hide that we're building a fortress. I don't know how good that is, but I kind of want to do it just to see. Oh, let's pull that back up. So, range three provinces. Enchantments dispelled if we lose that. Okay, so it lasts until, until we lose it. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's give that a try. Uh, one, two, yeah, and it's in range, so what are the odds of that? We'll do that, and we'll, we'll try to hide that we're building a fortress here. This is another one of the improvements from Dom 6. You can actually see where you're targeting global spells or, like, teleports. It's so nice. So useful. All right. We will have him wait. You will have him wait. Over here. Still searching. Better check our... All right. So we're doing Conjuration 6. We get anything higher than that? We do. Uh, comma. Don't remember what that one does. If I don't remember, it's probably not super important because I, I played enough Yomi in 4 and 5. I would probably remember. These guys are pretty cool. I don't know how useful they're going to be. Then again, we are fighting a god. And I do think they have like a demon... Anti-demon magic weapon? Maybe, maybe it's anti-undead too? Nushi, Daitango are what we want. So we need to get up to Conjuration 5. Is there anything in... Why did we go up to 6 before? Is there something we specifically wanted? Not really. Spectre, I guess. Spectres are pretty good. Alright, let's say we don't do that. What would we want? Maybe some more construction? More enchantment? What are we missing here? Buff spells that I wouldn't use. Random Arch. Okay, here we go. We can get some troops out from this. Rigor Mortis could be kind of cute if we did that with Soul Vortex. Yeah, let's get some more enchantment queued up. We can come back and revisit that in a bit. All right, and you were heading here. All right, I think we probably have enough guys. This area is probably going to be safe. Just in case, though. That should be fine. Um, you guys have been searching there. I'm actually shocked how bad our gem income is. We searched so hard this game. We did a lot of searching. We wasted a lot of Dione, unfortunately, turns doing that. And we still did not get... We're still at plus three for Earth Gems. And one of those was recently. So very disappointed in that. Alright, anything else we need to do? No. These late game turns, there's just so much going on. Sometimes when you're playing like this and not one turn a day, it can be difficult to keep everything in mind. All right, Conjuration complete, more Shikomi, cast our Forgotten Palace, search for sites. All right, a whole bunch of battles. Um, I don't think we're going to do the no spoiler style because I just need to see what's going on. All right, so we got that one. I think we're going to bottle that up by sitting on, on top of it. Excuse me. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to split up so we can siege multiple things. He's going to move to here. Okay, what's going on here? We must have lost the battle and then retreated in. Let's see what happened on that one. This was us trying to relieve siege. Oh, there are gods here. They're getting serious about this one. We got our vortex up on one of them, but not the other. Okay, both got up. That tree is really in the way. And that guy runs again. We, we gotta do something about that. I think we have at least one medallion of, like, morale. 
So I'm gonna definitely get that out and running. He's trying to run, you are trying to run. And you got withered. Ugh, okay. Unexpected, unarmed, okay. How many people are you coming in with? Do we have a chance? So you're saying there's a chance. All right, you attack. What have we all got in here? I think we're okay. No, wrong, wrong squad, go there. All right, so you. Didn't we have, yeah, morale plus five. Pendant of courage. And okay, 24 protection. What if we change that out though? And we gave him a horn. So a little less protection, but it gives me another attack. I think we're gonna do that. All right, where is a fire mage that also sucks? <laughs> Okay, we did relieve this one, so that's something. Take him, we'll clear that out. Okay, unfortunately they're all dead. So, you, forge, trinket. Pendant of courage, yeah. We're gonna start, in fact, nobody else is using my hammer. Let's go ahead and give it to him. We're gonna have to crank a few of those out. Back to research for you. All right, so we have the temple, so we need a lab here next. And under underground, oh, we did have one interesting battle. Okay, so that was at Tunnels of the Lost. Figures the turn I decided not to watch them. It's the turn that all the interesting things happen. All right, so this is double Dione versus Bakimono and Long Dead. This should be a sweep. Oh, oh, they're communing up though. That's a little worrisome. Um, there's stuff they could do to me. If they just spam skeletons though, I, I literally could care less. I can kill unlimited skeletons. As long as the fire shields come up, which they do. Even if we walk up and pass out, I don't think the skeletons would ever be able to kill us. Yeah, look at that go. That's so satisfying. Fire shield is much, much better than long dead, especially on chassis that they can't do too much damage to you. Like, they, are, they got a lucky hit or two in here. Like, yeah, you know, he's been a little hit. And they can't regen because they can't steal life from the undead, but doesn't matter. Yeah, I think this one's definitely going to be ours. Let's speed this up even more. Oh, we've got to go help his buddy out. And they're crumbling, so the leadership must have panicked. Yep. Cool. Easy, easy thrown. Uh, I, from this game, I should have been more aggressive sooner. I was being too skittish with the thrones. I should have just YOLO'd some dudes in here, and I would have seen how easy it was with, with my Dione setups. As soon as I got Soul Vortex, it should have been go time. I should have had people waiting at the thrones. I should have had the Pretender ready to claim one of them and set up in a path that would be easiest to get to each one to take. So, know that for next time. All right, build Palisades. We are broke. Yes, we are. Okay, so we're going to have you guys... One of you stay. Ooh, what happened to you? Limp and battle fright. Okay, so you're the wounded guy. Yeah. Okay, you're going to continue on and start clearing. You are going to do a site search. We're waiting for you to come in and claim. So that's one turn, two turns, three turns to claim. Back on the surface. Cut under siege. Going to siege that next turn. Almost all of his places are under siege. We're getting there. We're getting there. Back at home, next guy's coming out. Orange helmet. 
give him that. Leave the demons at home. Also needs to be at the back. All right. Um, I think we need to just continue to pour more siege relief in over here. That's uh, dangerous. In fact, let's get some more ghost generals. Oh, and we had a ghost general go down below, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Come, hmm. come up here. Yeah. Really stinks that there's a disease site here. They're gonna kill those expensive researchers, but I want them. Our research has been so bad all game. Be nice to end the game with a little bit. All right. Um. Now this was setting up for a fight, right? So we needed to break siege. And you're coming in. Let's double check this. Yeah, I think this will work. A little bit different than what I was running before. Um, cast a specific spell. Now that I know he doesn't have to stay alive for end of weakness, I think we're just end of weaknessing. We just accept that he'll probably die. All I care is that before he dies, he gets end of weakness off. I'd prefer he didn't, but I can't guarantee that dragon won't hop in turn one and breathe on him. So we'll hide in. I think the dragon will go for the barbarian, so we'll hide him here. And you, I think, is going to be in the back. Oops. Not all these people are going to be in this fight. I need to get... Where's my other Dione? You. I, I want to be near where that dragon is. I want to try to kill him. I would be so happy if we killed their god too. We already got the TNG snake. Going two for two would make my day. All right. What's our turmoil? Oh yeah, their scales have even taken us because our gods here pumping that out. But our unrest is really high, so that's fine. We'll still have plenty of chaos power. All right, and is there a reason to keep you here? Yeah, I think you're going to build the palisade. So just go back into hide and wait. Roll the turn. Yeah, these are definitely starting to take longer and longer. Kind of makes me wonder what other battles are happening that I'm not seeing. I didn't do a good job of keeping all my scouts out and about like I should have. And those are some long fights too. Can't all be mine. All right, two woods. Let's see what happened there. Yeah, he's still here. All right, so it's gonna be another knockdown, drag out brawl. We do have those Shikomi. Oh, I wish. Oh, you're gonna go? Yes. Okay. A few of them turned around. I'd love to get. Oh, he's on my ghost general though. Err. Don't don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Oh, and they're just running. Oh, you cowards! What kind of ghost hunting demons are you? you Kill that leadership off. All right, and we do anything else? No, nothing new. He is. He did take a good hit there, though. Oh, oh, who got him? Who got him? Don't think it was you. I'm not sure who did. I think I think that was the kill, though. I don't think that was him flying away. We'll double check afterwards. I hope so. Be nice if they left like a corpse, but I guess that would double the amount of sprites. So we would need another like four thousand sprites. Probably not going to happen. All right, Just going to fast here. This is going to be clean up at this point. Barbarians didn't retreat though, so I guess it was just a few of the Shikomi ran. All right. That was good, good, good. Now, did we kill him? Draco Lich won. Yes. Message from Helheim. You killed our god. This war will not end until the nation of Yomi is annihilated. Cry more, jerks. 
You guys have been such a pain in my rear this whole game. I'm so glad that I got to kill you before I ascend to godhood. Really made my day. All right. Um, let's go over here. He got bounced off. Come back in and have some support. You're going to siege down there. You're going to attack her province. We're not actually going to take these castles. We don't have the siege power. We're just going to sit on top of them so they can't recruit and they don't get money. So all he's got is this little bit of territory here. And that is it. And now that we have that clear, we are also good to go on Operation Revenge. Oh, I didn't even have him help. Wow. Okay, that would have made that fight even better had he actually been in that fight and cast End of Weakness. But I did not send him out, unfortunately. So I'm going to... What's this army look like? Um, would that be worth sending? That would make that pretty unkillable. What did you pick up? A ring of water breathing. All right, well, my... My undead general... Oh, no, you're not undead. Okay, so I guess you can have that. That's fine. And I think we got another medallion made. All right, I better not see you guys retreat with a, all that going on. I am going to stay home, I think, with him and just defend. It's a nice unit. In fact, maybe not here. Maybe not from here, though. Let's head over there. A little safer. We could deploy him out if our borders get attacked. Also, restart our... Oh, nope. We have too much unrest. Alright, we're going to overspend a little bit here to get that reduction. Down below, I'm going to start Palisades. He's coming in to claim next turn. Construct a uh, temple. Uh, let's go a little higher there. Like I said, this doesn't really help, but the AI seems a little sketchy on it. And actually, that's one of those jerks, so let's go bottle him up there, too. Where does that one lead? Right there, okay. And... Okay, this was the cleanup crew. I don't want to attack them. I don't want to go to a war with them if we're not fighting. Um, come up here. I think I'm going to have those two come take this throne. That's three and four, and that would be victory. I don't even need the one that was over here. Cool to have, though. We do not share. We are greedy, greedy Oni. Anything else we need to double check here? Bell and Jerb. Helheim. Fortification. Nope. All right. And back on research. Pick up troops here. Stay back troops. Guys with no range join that group. Everyone else is their own group. And for these guys, I think we're going to reinforce that castle. And over here, building palisade. Okay, everything else is built. Let's just chill for a turn, wait for the reinforcement to come up. So if we met here, same difference. Yeah, same difference. So do some patrolling, sure. As you guys keep searching. You keep searching. He was forging a morale item. He was... Did I run out of death chips? No. He must have, Oh, I stopped to do a ghost general. Back to monthly... Monthly ghost generals? No. I think we're back to research. He's still doing Shikomis. Get that restart. That's been off for a while. Shoot, that must have been 
Jeez, that's when T and Chi attacked. I didn't turn that back on. That was a oops. I do need some of those guys. I really need them to come out with Earth 2 so I can do End of Weakness really easily. Um, it's not super duper rare, but it's not super duper common either. And I don't want Dione, who are guaranteed to be able to cast it, to be doing that because it basically puts them out of the fight. They have other things that they need to be doing. Um, just double checking, I'm not forgetting anything. I'm getting it's getting late, so I'm probably starting to play a little more sloppy, unfortunately. Alright. Claim that throw. That's what we need to happen next turn. That's the number one thing. With that Dracolich dead, I'm way less worried about Helheim now. I think we can kinda we're not gonna finish them off because I'm just not gonna siege down those castles before we win. Ooh, that's a lot of battles. But I think we can bottle them up enough to get the win. The helmet on. That also means we need to forge another helmet. We got plenty of nature gems, so I'm not gonna hammer shuffle. Um, okay. Back here, what do we got? Um That's that underground one. Just to peek, see if they have anything down here. Eh, some. I'm sure we win that. Some random event pop troops out. Okay. That. Scorpion beast, huh? Slide over there. I think we're going to split up here and close that off. Come down here with those guys. Okay, down here, we need to claim the throne. We've got our temple, build a lab. Okay, he arrived, switch over the troops to him. He can just chill. If he survives, he survives. If he dies, he dies. I don't care. We'll put put the Oni on him, I suppose. Annoying. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Way more than I probably should be that there's a disease site here. Because of course there is. I'd be shocked if it wasn't underneath something I really need to have defended well. I got some random barbarians. Uh... Magic site found. What is best in life? Barbarian clans have flocked to your standard, willing to prove themselves in battle. What do we get? Barbarian war camp. Oh boy, we can recruit the barbarians that I already hate. <laughs> Alright, well. Alright, welcome to the team. You guys have contributed. You can go sit in a castle, I guess. Alright. You guys. I've got one more charm built. Put it on. Head down towards that throne. He's got two months until that comes up. Let's up that a little more. Just in case we get a random event. That's making me a little nervous. Can preach. Don't care about the rest of that. Um, I think I'm done searching for Astral. I'm just going to have her research. Uh, did we bounce? Oh no, he was the reinforcements. Okay. Come on in here. Um, what's the monthly forge? No, not that. Need to check unit commands. Uh, monthly forge. Oh. And we are going to have him do those courage. I think we're good on that border. Him. Head that way, just in case. I don't think we'll have any issues or anything, but just to hold the front line. Searching. All right, roll turn. Hopefully my, my poor voice here, I feel it. I feel it very strongly. It needs to hold out. <laughs> We're close. Mostly just a few turns. Unless somebody else declares war on me and like ninjas something, I'm not I'm not worried. It's just a matter of doing it. Alright, 
claimed the throne. I'm expecting an event. Some extra income. Us attacking, that's what I want to see. And us sieging a bunch of things we know we're not going to finish. Alright, so. Here. Throne of Chains. Ascension points, dominion spread, decreased unrest, that's a good one. Extra order doesn't hurt us, we just took the sloth because it also didn't hurt us, so this just lessens the penalty. Misfortune does hurt, but it's whatever. More blood slaves. Seems to be a lot more blood slaves in different sites that I'm used to. Alright, but we have it claimed, so if we go up here, we've got four points out of eight. Alright, you, back to the surface. Finish building that. I think down here, I'm going to have him, I guess, research technically, but really I'm just protecting it. I want to leave a couple Dione down here in case something goes wacky and I need to have reinforcements. Actually, no. Let's have him move up. We'll do some site searching, and I'll kind of put him in this area so he can go to either fort or probably that one because this one's bottled up by him. All right, you can research. What are you? You are scout. Oh, you were building the palisades. Okay. Let's go see what's happened over here. Research. Hit that way. And this way. We have almost got him completely bottled up. This is his last fort that I know about. And then he won't be able to do any more recruiting. I will be very excited when that is the case. I am I am so totally bitter <laughs> about all the all the strife he caused me and killing my temples that were spawning my demons. He deserves it. I will say, not having Mountain temples. I guess I need temples everywhere is what I really need. So I really should probably do that just for research purposes. Let's get a couple more demon priests. I don't want to repeat that though. Um, get a couple more temples up because we don't get free spawn unless we have a temple and they wiped out all my temples earlier. So I should rebuild them. I'm kind of being lazy because we're right here at the end. That's not... Not good practice. Should always practice how you play. So, should do the right thing there. All right. I'm seeing seeing things that are not me. Oh, he pushed me off. Don't like that. We also didn't manage to take that one. Those guys will keep heading over there. You need to come here to build that. You... Guess it doesn't really matter. We don't have any mountains or anything back there. Come over here. And there. And we did take this one. I want to see this fight. So, Centania. This one. These throne battles have been super easy. Um, for level two thrones. I don't know if they've, they've obviously changed that a little bit. This, this is actually one of the harder ones, ironically. It's just a bunch of animals. What kind of mage sport do you have? Yeah, you could throw something interesting. Unfortunately for them, animals are just gonna bounce off me. All they're gonna do is feed my drain life, or my soul vortex. Or get themselves lit on fire, one of the two. Yeah, we're gonna kill like unlimited amounts of those. We don't need to watch that. Know how that's gonna turn out. Oh, Borgia. Okay. 
we're getting these barbarian spawns, I think, partly because of the end of culture going off. All right, down below. Okay, he's two turns out. He was going to do some site searching. You construct a palisade. Construct a temple. Construct a lab. Let's get ourselves really dug in here and throw in like 20 defense. All right, um, you guys, it's you did great. I'm very pleased. Head over there. You can retire and do research. Um, finish that. Uh, you take over for him, and he's going to actually go see what's going on with Wonka. They didn't do anything this game. I Very sad for them. Would have been a cool fight. Demon on demon action. All right, we're rolling. I think I'm going to just kind of fast play these. I think I've got this cinched up, and I'm just committed to finishing the game. I want to see the victory screen, even though I already know I've won. Uh, da, 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 da. They are starting to push back, though, I will say. They're definitely trying. All right, split these guys up. You go take that. Yeah, they're just there's like one army of theirs that can still do something to me, but I think it's too little too late. Especially because there's no end in sight for me. I can just make these guys forever now. I can afford it. So it's just a matter of spending the time to walk to where I need to conquer, essentially. All right, who else we got? Where are you guys? Okay, so that's our new conquer. Um, I think we are just going to patrol. And priests come up here. Build temple. Oh, these barbarians everywhere, which is going to be so annoying. There, build, temple. I do want to see how many things, whoops. I do want to see how many things start spawning. How many demons start spawning. And for, to do that, I need to have the temples rebuilt. So I will, I will micromanage that to the end here. Overall, I've been pretty happy with how Yomi are playing. They're definitely... Not the strongest. I, I would say that if I had gotten some better mountains and I had taken better care of them for the free spawn, it would have been better. But I'm happy with how it's played, especially only my, my third great game in D, uh, D6. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. Troll uh, canyons. Okay, they're still bouncing off me there. Good. 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 So this is their only castle they can recruit from. All you barbarians, head over there. In fact, let's bring that up too. I don't think they're going to get enough out to siege me. What do we have here? In fact, you two. We're just going to dogpile that and not let them get a foothold. Killing their god will be our achievement for this game. And our prophet's back on the surface. All right, heading over there. Do we have anything that I could forge... Boot-wise, to speed up his movement. Trample. She shoes, no. Giant strength, no. Check the nature magic. Bunch of movement types, some reinvigoration. Map move six, okay. We'll grab a pair of those. He can pick them up here, and I'll speed them up to get down there. I think we're just going to roll that. So excited to try out some of my favorite nations here. It's it's funny. I see all the complaining about, oh, nothing, nothing's new. Why would I buy the game? It feels different to me. It really does. Like, the mount changes, the revamped magic, the revamped blesses. I love theory crafting on those. So I probably put as much time into the pretender design as I do actually playing the game. They're all so good. All right. Um, they didn't get out. 
They did uh, take that back. This is their actual capital, so I would love to just plop here and not let them recruit from their capital so they can't get sacreds. All right, he's done there. Good job, buddy. You can slink back into the shadows, whatever you want to do. Um, build temple. Oh yeah, that's that's a decent amount. If those all spawn this turn. Yeah, okay, okay. This this is actually a mountain one too. So I would call that a good spawn. I would be very happy if I got that every turn. I'd be ecstatic if I had that. My problem would be actually getting the guys and moving them around if that was the case. I'd, I'd struggle to get enough uh, undead leadership. Let's do some out in the plains. Let's, uh, she did the boots. Okay. You could just hide. So here's Lonka. What'd they do? For some reason, they didn't go up here. Were they just bouncing off the caverns the whole time? Because this seems very doable for them. Unless this is bugged and it's not actually a land bridge. Huh. Weird. Alright, you can wait there. You can research. Oops. You can research. Uh, don't repeat that. Repeat him. You can head up there, head like over here. Alright, so next turn we will have throne number three getting claimed. Search for magic sites, search for battle. Oh, nice, another one of our special leaders. He's pretty cool, he gets regen. Um, light casting. He is a demon. Good leader. I mean, if you were on a faction that didn't have the ghost generals and the demon generals, you'd be ecstatic to get a guy like this. Be really cool. He's just kind of like, oh, okay. Well, uh, welcome to the team, buddy. Glad, glad you're working, working for the winning team. All right. Uh, claim throne. And you may also pick up your boots. And what the heck. You can have some encouragement there. All right, and then over here, still building, still patrolling. Let's check here how many demons we have this turn. 16. Okay, not bad, not bad. They're decent ones, too. All right, so here we have a temple. There. Build temple. That one there, move here. How many we spawn? A few, okay. Yeah, it's pretty noticeable. Now I am running into culture now, so that's definitely increasing it, but I think those are okay. They're not like overwhelmingly fast spawning, but they're they're decent, especially with having the end of weakness that we can do. But they are really hammering here. Here we go, I'm bo bottled back up again. Good, good. You guys do not get to come out and play again. All right, so that was the Throne of Death. That increased our death scale, so lowered the bonus we were getting on our growth. The gems are great, though. If you are playing a faction that really likes uh, death gems, which we do, we, we've been using them. We could do it harder, but you would absolutely love to get that site. That'd be so good for you. All right, we're rolling. I'm going to go for the claim and the victory. My voice is almost shot. I think if I'm going to do another one of these, I'm going to limit myself. We'll probably do like four hour streams so I don't blow out my voice. That's the last thing I need to do. All right. Um, he's still moving. Got two turns. Build temple. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Well, let's just take our victory. Pretty happy with this. It seems to have streamed relatively well. There was at least some interest, so I'm happy to see that. Um, I'm going to be making some long-form videos uh, for Dominions. I'm not 100% sure how to film and edit those. Um, 
and if I was playing a multiplayer game, which I'm, I am going to look into getting into one or two of them, I would I would just film each episode and I could talk about you know my my deep thoughts about each one. In single player, I don't know. I I I tend to ramble, which I don't know. I don't mind, but perhaps it's not the most entertaining thing. We'll we'll see how this does. See if anyone else pops in here uh, once it's not live. See if there's interest. I know there's uh, quite a few creators putting out content right now, so happy to see that. Um, I always love Dominion's content. There was a point during 5 where I think I literally watched anything and everything Dominion's 5 that had ever been put on YouTube up to that point, including things that were completely terrible. <laughs> like you couldn't even hear the audio or, or whatever. Or they had no idea what they were doing. I watched it just because I, I really like Dominion's. It just really like scratches that mythology strategy itch for me right. in that turn. And this will be, we'll start our claim here and then next turn should be victory. Skip, oh, we skipped the area. We probably should have fought that. No reason not to. Who was the victor? Oh, they both died. Perfect. <laughs> Love to see it. All right. Um, there he is. Claim the throne. Let's just take our victory. Very nice. Very happy with how this played. Um, we had some ups. We had some downs. We had some victories. We had some losses. It was good. It was really good. So there's our victory. You reign supreme. You are the Pantocrator. Your enemies are cast down, broken, dead, enslaved, or imprisoned. You are the sole author of fate. You summon the tides, dictate the seasons, give or withhold fortune and life, light up the sun at dawn and quench its fires at dusk. All move according to your will. Endless eons pass. But then, at some unknown time, there's a change. Something stirs in the void. You perceive something. Something reminiscent of an ancient longing and doubt you had thought forgotten. Perhaps... Suggestive of a sight unseen or a tune unheard? What is this thing, this longing, this faraway fleeting enigma? You lift your presence from the world, ascend from the thrones, and rush into the void, racing after that receding, beckoning something. Born on wings of absolute authority, you race further and further away, chasing that sole thing that you do not understand, still further away, leaving the world behind you, that it becomes a fleeting memory, a distant dream, a tune unheard, a sight unseen. Down on the world you left behind, old servants and enemies feel their chains loosen. Doors thought forever shut slowly creep open, and ancient things long thought dead stir. The thrones sit empty, but hungry eyes have turned their gaze upon them, sensing a new dawn. The wheel turns once again. All right, so we can view history. This is pretty cool. It just shows how people expanded. So what happened to them? They just literally jumped into the ocean and then fought over the ocean with other people. Weird. And Mervoni? No, he didn't have that. That's neutral. But his scales were there. Huh. That was... Really interesting. I wonder what happened. That was not that was not good play by Wonka at all. That start was fine. She could have got out right here. Gone to a war with them probably was what I would have done. I guess you couldn't you'd have to get to here to get over the bridge. Yeah. yeah interesting. Alright, well, uh hopefully this was enjoyable. I had fun doing it. I had to work out some technical difficulties when I was going live. I had a mic problem, but I, I know exactly what it was, and I got it fixed. Shouldn't be a problem in the future. So happy with that. Be easier to go live next time. So if you're up this late, good on you. I hope it was entertaining for you. Hope it was enjoyable or, or helped put you to sleep. You, either one's fine by me. If anyone has any ideas for future Dominion 6 content that they'd like to see, I'm happy to put stuff out. I, I definitely would consider myself a quite novice player, so I'm not going to try to put out expert guides or anything, make a fool of myself. Um, 
I might put out some strategy thoughts, though. Maybe I'll make a video about Yomi and just my thoughts on playing it, uh, single-player-wise, and maybe some thoughts on what you might try for multiplayer. I definitely wouldn't say any of that's definitive, though. Okay, well, this has been a fun stream. I hope people enjoyed. Take care, enjoy your own games, post what you're playing, I'd love to hear it, and take care.